Welcome to day three. Uh, a little bit delayed. Um, fortunately, not by too long due to some uh, technical issues. But we are here and somewhat on time. Now uh, we are doing interviews for a, a little bit longer. Um, due to these issues. But. Speaking of, winter it right away with Crash and Eidolon. How are you two doing? Yo, good. Doing all right. I exist. I am here. Also, Minka is a Nesman and uh, me. Yeah. Yo. Uh, Everyone sounds so excited. It's definitely day three of the jam. Day three, let's <laughs> oh, go. We hit our yeah. goal last night. I'm so oh, happy. Um, actually, we hit it like an hour ago. Yeah, we had to raise uh, our limit for like the fourth time in this event, which is amazing. That's really for, cool. I think 45 minutes ago, we've r reached the limit. We, we reach our goal. So yeah, now our new, new, new goal is 10k. Uh, and with that, Crash Eidolon, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. Uh, I am UEK Crash, uh, probably best known in the Mappa community for my tutorial series that like 75 to 90 percent of mappers seem to use to get into it these days. Um, I feel like I kind of help get a new generation of mappers started a little bit, which is cool. Um, and then also a bunch of maps that I made in the past, uh, Probed, which was like the, the first one that I got in game, uh, Moonshine Event, uh, more recently Double Frost, uh, and then other maps that aren't in the game, Trainsaw Laser, Wubba Wub, Stony Ridge, uh, looking at a list of maps that I've made because I don't remember all these, Overgrown, uh, yeah, a bunch of them. And then, nope. uh, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget Double Frost. <laughs> I said double frost. I said double yeah, frost. I said double frost earlier. Yeah, shore leave was a big, big project that we worked on. Then I we did like Oasis and Oasis event and Stony Ridge event, and uh, I helped a little bit with Cauldron, which got in the game. A uh, teeny tiny bit on a number of others uh, that aren't really worth mentioning me on them. So, but yeah, that's me. I exist. And uh, I'm Idolon, uh, along with Crash, a uh, former staff member of the community. Um. I'm a Source Engine mapper overall, so I've been doing Team Fortress 2 for, because uh, technically since like 2008, but really I would say since 2012, which is still a long time ago. Um, also been doing work on Portal and Half-Life 2, done a number of maps there. Um, you may know me as the creator of Byer, which is... Um, no longer available to play. <laughs> uh, I'm also the... It, it was the arena map for the Invasion update, if you're not familiar. Um, I also created MVM Steep, which is probably like my other well-known map. It's been used in a number of the Potatoes MVM events. And then more recently, uh, Snowbase is about a, a, a three-year project that I recently finished up. Um... Also, from my experience with level design, I decided to get into architecture. So I went to architecture school, and now I uh, I do that for work. I can't call myself an architect, legally speaking. I, do, I don't have my license. I, I'm not allowed to practice architecture, but I work in an architect's office, and I draw construction drawings and whatnot. Architecture-associated activities yeah my <laughs> official job title is architectural designer oh so i guess speaking of uh architecture uh how has actually going to school for architect architecture uh enhanced your ability to make maps um i i think it's done a number of things one it's just kind of given me a uh, more formal training in like how to make just like different spatial phenomena like how to i don't know just better control space and like be aware of what i'm working with just to like have a better idea of what i'm doing um and maybe more specifically it's given me more insight into realism specifically like structural realism like 
how do you actually physically put a building together? I definitely noticed that, like when you started doing mapping again, like after going to school and like doing it for a living, like your maps became much more realistic and like the support structures and like where everything was. I was like, damn, yeah, that's that dude knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's kind of funny because like p part of it is realism in terms of understanding like how buildings are actually used and the way that you might actually arrange a building. Um, but I got hung up on that after I went to school. Like I, I got stuck on that idea and I spent way too long trying to make map layouts that worked for gameplay and also like made sense in terms of like being a place that people would use. And so I had to kind of unlearn that a little bit and get back into the mindset of like trying to put gameplay first and creating spaces that don't necessarily make sense from perspective of how people in the real world might use the building but they still make sense in how they're constructed and, and there's there's suggestions of uh how people might use it but it's not really entirely clear uh crash i'm going to yeah. d um double frost this is your first tf2 map in a long time Oh, yes, what, 2015 what, was the last time I got anything officially in game that was like my major project. What prompted you to actually make this in the first place? Um, it seemed like a project uh, scale that I could handle. Uh, it was kind of like last year I started it when the the last batch of uh, Smith Smith maps got in, and I was like, I could do that. Like if I just chipped away at it for a year with the little chunk of free time here and there, because. Obviously, I have I've you know gotten a lot busier than uh, in 2015 when I was focusing full time practically on mapping on top of my job and didn't leave much time for other things. But I don't have that option anymore with you know family and all that kind of stuff. Uh, my job's gotten more serious and all that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, I just started chipping away at it uh, last year right after the Smith 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 event started and. Uh, I kind of crunched on it the last month when I was like, oh, hey, it's probably time to actually finish this. And uh, I crunched it out and I, I submitted it to the workshop on a Thursday. And on Monday, I got an email from Valve, which I think is one of the quickest turnarounds for a map getting uploaded. Yeah, I was kind of surprised about how quick that turnaround is. Yeah, same. Uh, what quirks and features uh, were there in making Double Frost, actually? Like, I know you had a lot of clipping revisements. What other things did you improve? Um, there was a number of exploits. I kind of did this actually after the release because um, I didn't I, I don't really like CTF. Honestly, it's not a mode that I'm a big fan of. But like of all the CTF maps, Double Frost is the, the closest thing I could call a favorite. Um, so I didn't really know about a number of the exploits until the map came out and they're like, Hey, this exploit still works. This exploit still works. So I went through and I fixed a bunch of those things that stock double cross still has. Like I know you could get the, uh, Intel, you could pick it up and jump underneath the bridge. And there's like this displacement that you could stand on, um, in the stock version. You can't do that anymore in my version of it. So technically I now have the superior version of double frost. I'm sorry for, uh, for taking that title. <laughs> Valve got owned. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but no, and I did. I did. Honestly, uh, there was during the crunch time. I had uh, uh, Void did a bunch of the assets for it and he was working on it and he was like just kind of crunching on his own time and he was staying up too late and he had, you know, I had actually had to get some sleep and I was like active and I had some time to work, but I had nothing I could do without the assets. So I was just kind of sitting there spinning my wheels. So I just went really stupid on Easter eggs. Um and there's there's uh, t over I think there's exactly 20 trains on the map, my little mini trains. Uh, I don't know how many saws, but I put a bunch of those on there and I put a whole big Easter egg room up top with pictures of my cats and Void's cat banana. Um, and yeah, I, I, I went a little overboard probably on the Easter eggs because I had I had like a day of free time where I was waiting for assets. Uh, speaking of that secret room, by the way, you've got a poster of Bog Wizard in there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> Yeah, so that's my band. Um, that's the the other creative project that I've been focusing on, uh, like Doom Stoner, Sludge Metal kind of stuff. Uh, it's all very nerdy. I, I continued my nerdy trend. Um, like I think it says Nerd Doom on the on the thing that I made in there. Uh, but I kind of was just curious if they would let me get away with having it in there. And I was like, I when I put Probed uh, when Probed got bought in the game uh, for the Invasion update, I put a link to my YouTube channel in a little Easter egg room. 
and like my poster that I have, you know, that's my, my Easter egg poster I put everywhere anyway. Uh, and then I put that underneath it and I was like, eh, we'll see if they let me put a, a website, you know, plugging myself on it or not. And uh, I got away with it. So I was like, maybe I could do that again with my band. So I did it. And yeah, it's in there now. <laughs> it's a little shameless, but, you know, at this point. I got no shame. <laughs> Plus, do you have anything to ask? I don't want about the point about like make fitting in like ar making architecture work for gameplay. I, I think a good example of it would be Snowbase, wouldn't it be? I think so, yeah. Um, and I, I uh, give an example of like something that's sort of structurally, structurally realistic without being necessarily actually practical. Um, the final point of the first stage is a elevator that goes up at a 45 degree angle, um, which I did partially because it looks cool and partially because it was necessary to make the two stages line up with each other. But um, the, uh, the, the area at the base of the lift like I, I, so I went through a lot of trouble to make the lift sort of function correctly, right? So I, I detailed like all these little wheel hubs that would fit into the diagonal tracks and put all this metal truss work underneath of it. And I've got like little boxes that suggest like motors going to each of the wheel hubs. And at the top of the elevator, it's like loaded from the wrong side. So then I detailed like little panels on the floor that could be lifted up out of the way. So the elevator doesn't um, run into it when it gets to the top. It, that probably doesn't make sense unless you saw a picture of it. But point being, I put a lot of thought into like making sure that this elevator was actually functional. The bottom I layer. Nerd shit. Yeah, it's it. I'm doing it kind of for my own edification to a certain degree, right? Like most people are not going to care. I don't know how much of it is going to rub off on people. Like, um, like I don't, I don't know how much actual value I'm adding to the map by thinking through all that stuff. It, it just because I find it fun. I kind of honestly feel like that makes the best art. The like really self indulgent. Like you, you're making it for yourself. You're not making it for others, and then others are like, oh. OK, I see what you did there. Like maybe it's yeah. not their thing, but they appreciate the effort and, they appreciate, and the people who are nerds in the same way can like geek out about it. Yeah. But in, anyways, the base of the elevator where people would actually like load stuff onto the elevator, that area doesn't make any sense. Like practically speaking, it's like the elevator is on top of uh, sort of like a water outtake. So like I, I also kind of suggested um, one of the things that I was interested in was was detailing the bottom area for something and and this isn't really shown anywhere on the map it's just very faintly suggested but there's water at the bottom and there's sort of like a, a water intake and then there's also a uh like a, a water where water would come out it's actually dry in the map but it's like where water would come out so you have a water going in water going out and off to the side there's also like a turbine generator room and so there's an implication of um, you've probably heard of like um, using water storage batteries. It's basically like you use electricity to pump water up a hill and then later you can turn that water back into electricity by running it down the hill through uh, turbine generators. Um, and so there's a suggestion uh, that that happens, but the outtake for the water just go straight into the side of the elevator, which does not make any sense. Yeah. I think another thing is that I remember you saying that the, the way the lift for point goes that going up does not make sense because it will clip through the concrete supports. Uh, it clips it clips a little bit of a stair. So there's like a stair that lets you get up onto the platform from the uh, the lower side, but when the elevator actually moves, it would just clip right through the stair. Yeah, so it's like those kind of things that like 
if you really think about it, it doesn't work, but it looks good. Yeah, I thought about going through the effort of like detailing like a little panel that would like flip out of the way for when the elevator would move, but I just decided that it was going to be kind of an eye catching detail in a spot that really didn't need detailing. Like I, I just thought it was uh, easier to leave it alone and just hope that nobody notices. Your mapping tutorial series has been very influential and uh, somewhat important to a lot of people. Do you think you'll ever make any more? Um, I didn't plan on it, but I I know I've I've been approached by one other person who wanted to help get a displacement tutorial video, and it's been kind of like a long demanded thing of my series. Um, so maybe we'll eventually put together a displacement tutorial, uh, just like single episode kind of thing that just goes over the basics, um, gets, gets people started on doing displacements and then shows some like tips and tricks and stuff like that. Like I usually do. Um, I feel like that would be pretty beneficial to the community in general. And a lot of people getting started, uh, I've seemed to get overwhelmed with displacements. So I think, I think that'd be really helpful. So maybe I can't promise nothing. Displacements are pretty rough, man. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those things that's just kind of a hard thing to wrap your brain around unless you, you're seeing them being made. And I think a tutorial video would be really good at doing that. Like the whole the whole series in general was just I made it because I had a hard time learning how to start mapping because everything was like text and 10 different resources. And, the, you know, the, the Valve SDK and TF2 maps tutorials that are not that greatly organized and, you know, all these different all these different places to, you know, get little bits and pieces. And uh, so I made the series that was like, this is the series I wish I had when I was starting because I'm more visual learner. I need I need to see things being done. Uh, and if I watch somebody do them, that's the best way for me to learn rather than reading it and trying to apply that to actually physically doing it. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. I remember um when I was starting out, like the very first mapping I ever did was Portal 1 mapping. That was actually how I got the TF2 is I asked for Portal for Christmas. And then my mom came back and was just like, so there was this orange box thing and it had Portal in it. So I just got that. Nice. And uh, and that's how I got started in TF2. But I really, I just wanted to play Portal. Um And in Portal 1, all of the like puzzle elements are just assembled with hammer logic in portal 2 everything's like pre-made just like the floor button is an entity you just put it down in portal 1 it's like you have a static prop for the base of the of the button and then you have a dynamic prop for the piece of the button that actually moves and then you have to have like that's tied to a or parented to a funk door and then there's a trigger on top of the button that's got a, a filter for cubes and people and it, it's it's kind of difficult and i was like 12 years old when i was doing this so i could not figure it out but i think part of that was because all of the resources were text i might have been able to figure it out if i had a video but at the same time that was 14 years ago so youtube was like barely a thing yeah even uh somewhat recently i've gone back to Crash's video on um, TF Generic Bomb because I, I was having some troubles with it and I went back to see if you said anything about it. And yeah, it's actually, uh, there's a number of times I go to my own tutorials now. I'm like, wait, shit, how do I do this thing? And I'm like, oh, wait, I, I remember I made a tutorial for that, so I'll go watch my tutorial. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's how it works. Like, I, I don't have a great memory, so it's, it's really handy to have my myself teaching me. Really, it's your own personal notebook that just that, that you, you just showed it to the internet. Yeah, I just made it public. <laughs> um, you both made maps for the invasion update. Uh, we want to talk about the update itself, but how is it now to have two maps that are in the game, technically <laughs> available, but either for a game mode that can no longer be played, or just kind of shunned down into the miscellaneous category. Oh, and before that, we've just had a $50 donation from Void. Thank you, Void. Sweet, Void. 
Um, oh, Ian. Yeah, the uh, uh, it's really weird. <laughs> it's like I, there's a number of people who I've talked to, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I make like in person who they they played TF2 for a long time, uh, but they like maybe weren't around for the invasion update or whatever. I was like, oh yeah, I made the map probed, and they're like, what map? I was like, probed. And they're like, yeah, I've never heard of that. I've never played it in my life. Like, I'm obsessed with TF2, and I've literally never seen that map. And I was like, well, it's it's there, just <laughs> despite the fact that nobody plays it anymore. So that, it kind of sucks. I've been meaning to like maybe poke them about, hey, I don't think it's that crazy. It could probably be in a regular game mode and liven up your game a bit, but I don't know. Yeah, I've had a similar experience. I, there was somebody who made a video recently that was about TF2 maps, and they were like going through all of the TF2 maps, and I don't, I don't think they were ranking them. I think it was just like trying to find the most forgotten map or something. <laughs> um, and they they like were discovering maps by doing this exercise, and they're like they're like, oh, I didn't know they, I didn't know Byer existed. Like I've never seen this map before. I didn't know this is in the game. There's like a whole new generation of people who just have no idea what that those maps are. Yeah. yeah. However, with um with graveyard, there could potentially be a resurgence. Um. I have thought about making a Halloween version of Byer. Um, I, I'm not too psyched about the idea of making a Halloween map because I I personally don't really like the Halloween event. I think Crit Pumpkins are really annoying to play around, and I think like half of the Halloween maps are just not very fun to play on. <laughs> You just have to embrace the bull. Um, yeah, well, I, I think I, I think I purely want to make an event version of Buyer just so I can make people play my map again. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I'd do it if I were you. I think, uh, I think Buyer is, in particular, an unfortunate victim of circumstance. It was a in the invasion update, so you could only play it for what was it, three weeks. Before, I don't remember. Yeah, it's like three weeks before it was removed from matchmaking, and then B, it's arena, which you can't keep for anymore. So, unlike the other arena maps, where people had, like, years to play them, uh, if you weren't playing during the invasion update, too bad, you just don't know what this map is now. Can't play it. Apparently it gets a decent amount of play as a deathmatch map on Team Fortress Classic, or Open, open Fortress. Yeah, Apparently a it's a pretty good layout for that. Someone's suggesting for buyer for the Halloween theme, just make it autumn. Uh, if I, if it's, it's a really small map, uh, if I was going to make a Halloween version of it, I'd probably just do a full new art pass. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the art pass I did on that map. Like It, it has a lot of cool individual buildings, but it's kind of messy. Uh, it's not, it is not cohesive. It just feels like a bunch of buildings in the middle of nowhere, which I guess describes a lot of TF2 maps, but it, it's still, it doesn't feel as cohesive as, as other maps. So what you're saying is you've grown in like the last six years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. I, Weird. I yeah, I think I made that like the the update itself was 2015, but we made the maps for that like at least a year in advance. Like there yeah, was a, a long time, so that was before I had any architectural training. Um, I think that would have been in my first year of college, and then the invasion ha update happened in my second year of college, which I remember because my professor knew what Team Fortress 2 was. Nice. Yeah, I actually have uh, one of my uh, employees that works in my department that I'm like the boss of. Uh, he was like super active TF2 player. He's actually the one I was thinking of when I, I mentioned talking about Probe and he had no idea what it was, but he's like just super geeked out that I, I work with TF2 stuff and he got to know ahead of time by, you know, a few days about the uh, a Double Frost getting in and he was all geeked out to, to get to have that insider information. Do you all, do, do, does anyone here know of the competitive Highlander team that I don't think exists anymore called Fastco? Uh, there was a the person name here. Is really familiar. Uh, I think Definitely. Leprechaun was the, the, Leprechaun was a person who like would hang out with TF2 Maps who was part of Fastco. Uh, anyways, 
I was roommates with the engineer of that team for a little bit. Nice. Which was kind of crazy that we both like had this mutual acquaintance. It's actually really funny to like talk to people about it um, because I feel like that a lot of the people that I talk to like, oh, yeah, that game I used to play back in the day. I'm like, yeah, I was kind of obsessed with it for like a decade and like did a ton of stuff for it and had this tutorial series and became kind of known in the community for it. And they're like, wait, what? That that game? Like (laughs) that cartoony hat game? Really? Yeah. Oh, we don't we don't sign NDAs, Mega Pie Man. They they don't do they don't even like I, I don't even know if the email said how quiet to keep it anymore. They're just like, yeah, don't talk about it. <laughs> there's no NDAs. I, I imagine there's no like contractual NDA. I doubt they could like take you to court over it. But uh I don't think you're gonna get anything in ever again if if Right, out. if you just start talking about it, yeah. Like if I if I if I tweeted about it or something, yeah, then they'd probably be uh not happy with me, but you know, a, a co-worker who's not going to tell anybody, who doesn't know anybody else in the community. And like, <laughs> those are the fun ones to spoil things for and, like, give them insider information. Oh, yeah, because they can't turn around and tell people because why <laughs> would you believe them? They don't. Yeah. Know it's like my uncle works for Valve. I totally know what's going in the update. My my boss at a, gro- at a grocery store has a map in the game. Yeah, exactly. Look what the hell yeah, are you talking about? Sure, buddy. It's actually really funny because uh, the the obscurity of like what we're doing in general, like even the people who were following me, like I was, I was kind of teasing that I was working on double double frost for like the year. I was like, OK, fine, I'll start a, a mapping project. And it be kind of kind of became a thing on like Twitter. Where I was talking about it and uh, uh, I was hinting that I was working on it. And then I was going to I knew I was going to make the video to make a joke about like it's a valve edit. And it was a big disappointment. Um and uh, I was actively working on it and loading it up in game. And anybody who had me on Steam could have seen what map I was on saying Double Frost. And I didn't even think about it for like the entire year. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I should have hit that at some point. But it never got out. So it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly, when I saw the tweet, I was like thinking, wait, are you working the Outback again? <laughs> Yeah, I definitely don't have time to like start a whole map from scratch at this point. I uh, crash. That was your first map submitted to the workshop in a long time. And after being out for so long and then having your map accepted almost instantly, uh, <laughs> what do you think of the state of the workshop at the moment? Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that's a tough question. Uh, I, like, I guess I'm not super involved to be able to know all the intricacies anymore i'm only kind of like passively paying attention um i think there's been some weird choices uh in general and i think it's kind of disappointing that valve is only doing these seasonal things that's kind of why i was like i'm like well i got all this back catalog of maps if i want anything in it's got to be you know halloween or smithsmiths at this point um and i feel like there's a lot of really cool maps on the workshop that are getting ignored Um, from a lot of different really talented people in favor of uh, a lot of samey kind of things. Uh, And like that's the mapping workshop. And I know obviously the the item workshop was uh, uh, a a mess this year. Uh, There's a lot of like harassment and all sorts of crazy stuff that ended up happening with happening with that. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I I was in voice chat with somebody who got something in the game. I won't say what they got in the game because I I don't want to put this person on blast or anything. But like it was like within five or ten minutes of the update coming out. And they're like, I've already gotten multiple death threats because a thing I made is in the game, which is just disgusting. It's extremely disappointing that that's the way people treat this as like, it's your fault that Valve offered money to put your thing in the game. Like, right. You should, you should have never make it, made it in the first place. It's just like, why? Yeah, I've seen some Steam comments that are like, uh, it's your your responsibility. You put it up on the workshop. That means that it's your fault if it gets added to the game and then the community doesn't like it. And it's like, no, 
that, that doesn't make any sense at all. That's not really how people use the map workshop. Like the map workshop originally was added as a thing um, that would make it easy for server owners to yeah. grab custom maps. Like that's one of the main purposes of the workshop. And I don't know how many servers actually do that, but I, I think it is a, useful. It's a little bit of a disconnect because it's like the item workshop is like you're submitting final items. So then people kind of get in that mindset of that's how the map workshop should be, but it's not. It's always been get a map going. Like, I, you know, in practical usage for like, I think probably most people on TF2 maps, we, we submit like pretty late in development um, yeah. because it is you only get one initial kind of starting burst of people looking at it. Like, I don't probably wouldn't submit anything to the workshop that wasn't like RC at this point. But the initial idea was to be able to have automatic updates going out to servers, automatic updates going to players. Um, and getting those maps tested. <laughs> to, so that's the whole fucking point. Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing. <laughs> oh, we yeah. I think we sweared a lot on this stream. Oh, okay, oh, fair I, enough. Fair enough. We, we, we tried to keep it good early on, but then uh, yesterday when the stream was kind of devolving, I also kind of devolved. <laughs> fair enough. So we've it's, passed it's we've, three, we've crossed the line. Hours, all filters are off. Fair enough. We're all sleep deprived. It's fine. And even even with items, um, like I don't know if I made an item and, or a hat or whatever, which I guess technically I could. I I made a radiator prop once. That's the one model like I've ever made. Um, you know, if I I made a hat and was like, nah, this isn't good enough. Put in the game, I'd probably still put it up on the workshop because I'd like people to see it. Right. And, you know, maybe maybe other people think it's better than I do because, you know, people tend to be their own worst critics a lot of the time. And so, yeah. By the way, 14-Bit has just rated us with a party of 14, including Lecodex 14 and, of course, Mr. 14-Bit. Thank you, 14-Bit. And there's just 14 all over the chat. Thank yeah. you, 14-Bit. <laughs> oh, it actually looks like... Uh... Spano Spy asked me what was my favorite map that I worked on. Um, I would say the one I'm probably the most proud of is Shore Leave, just because it was such a ridiculously huge project uh, with so many moving parts and so many like different people contributing to it. Um, but also, I really liked uh, Oasis Event that Frey and I put together. I thought I thought it turned out really cool. It's like a kind of a unique take on the Egypt aesthetic and. Uh, in general, I was just really happy with that. So some somewhere between those two. Still robbed that Oasis event isn't in. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was should have been, but you know, I mean, obviously, I'm going to think that about all of my maps. I'm I'm still salty about Stony Ridge, so I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> uh, you're also very well known, or, or I would say that your most successful map is. Chainsaw laser. How do you feel about that being your legacy? <laughs> I think it's I'm fine with it because um it was kind of it was funny at the time. Uh like some some history of the map. Uh I made that map pretty early in my mapping career, and at the time TF2 maps was uh a bit more toxic and a bit um we, we had some people in the community who were very judgmental about anything different than what was, you know, the norm at the time. Uh, and it was something I was super like adamantly like, this is not how a community should work. So uh, train saw laser was sort of the like big F you to that side of the community. And I know I took some flack right away and then it got super popular and there was just like seething about it. Um, but overall, I, I, I that aside, the the spitefulness of the the, the beginning of it, um, I'm really happy that it's made an experience that people are going to hold on to. Like I remember playing custom apps uh, of like in Counter Strike, the original like CS 1.6, and like the Rats maps, and like all those really weird maps that were out there. Um, I remember playing those still, and I had like really good times, and. Uh, I've seen a few videos of like, you know, teenagers, whatever, playing on Trainsaw Laser and just laughing their asses off and having a blast. And I know like in the future, they might say, you know, 20 years from now, I'll go, hey, remember that stupid train map for TF2? Like that was really funny. Like 
it's cool to make that kind of experience for somebody. So I'm I'm happy that it's something that's still getting played. Like even just uh, the TF Connect, they just had their uh, their pro little tournament thing, not pro, but competitive tournament. They played uh, Train Saw Laser Pro on it. So it's cool that it's still out there and it's still being appreciated. Was that, they, uh... was that pro version made by you or was that a community edit? No, that was me. Um, I released that because there was a few um, pro groups that were like, hey, we like to throw this in like on like pickup groups now and then. Uh, but there's a few things that are kind of annoying about it, like the bosses that came out and the cap time was too short. So I like I, it was basically a balance update. And, like I, I increased the capture time. Uh, I got rid of anything that was like random, random. So everything is like if you die to something, it's your fault kind of thing. Um, like uh, like I know, like, I think I got rid of the laser over the point where it, uh, it shoots the electricity out because it was kind of hard to like track. Um, and every, everything was more consistent. And I just thought it would be really funny to make this pro version of it and release it and actually like take the map a little bit seriously when it's obviously not a serious map. Crash, you mentioned Rant's map, and that reminded me of, like, there, there, on TF2 maps, there, there's, like, a recent wave of people making Instajet maps. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I had to make a whole category on the site for it. That's hilarious. I, yeah. didn't, I hadn't thought that. Yeah, I, I have a story in a similar vein to, uh, to, to Train Saw Laser. I don't have a ton of joke maps for tf2 i have koth skybox which i think had some decent reach uh it, apparently it was popular enough that somebody like copied it and like made their own remaster of it without telling me which was a little that was weird. brilliant though the the koth skybox in general was a brilliant idea i just, just wanted yeah. to say and it, it was a youtube video of it and that got a decent number of hits um i don't know exactly how many i haven't looked at the video recently but um and how, how many people do you think ever played Byer? Like, I, I don't know how many people were playing TF2 at the time um, that Invasion happened, but it, it's probably, like, in the 10,000s. Yeah, I would say, like, 20,000. Yeah. I have played it. I yeah. didn't play it much, but I did, I did get to play a few rounds on it. Yeah, I played it yeah. as well. You can probably so, just look at how many Invasion community coins... Uh, not community coins, oh, but like yeah, the, the passes. How many of those exist? And then maybe times it by three because some people didn't buy it, obviously. Well, I don't, I don't say the frame is one point five. In anyways, um, I don't have a lot of TF two comedy maps, but I have a decent number of Half Life two comedy maps. Um, and, and this this is because of my involvement with the Map Labs community. Shout out to the Map Labs community. Uh, as a community of, of hosting sort of regular Half-Life 2 mapping competitions. And I've participated in a good number of those, and I've made a number of basically shit post maps for that. And one of the ones I made in particular uh, was called Fulfillment, and it's a, a map about just having random things in supply crates that aren't supposed to be in supply crates. So, like, you start the map without any weapons, and to, like, get your crowbar, um, you have to, like, put a box at the bottom of a ledge and then Goomba stomp it to break it out of the box. And then like later on you get a gun by breaking out of a box and then you break open another box and it's got like 20 health kits in it or whatever. It just keeps getting weirder from there. And a streamer by the name of Jolly Wangcore uh, did a video on it. And I rewatched that video last night just out of curiosity because I, I, I like to go back and, and watch that every once in a while. It has almost half a million views. So I think I, I think similar to Crash, like my most popular thing was a shit post map. <laughs> Specifically a shit oh. post map that I made in about a week. Oh god. So yeah, that made me want to look up because I, I had the same experience. Uh, Musulk made a couple train saw laser videos. And looking at it right now, uh he's got th Three videos of train saw laser. One is at 1.6 million views. One is at 1.4 million, and one is at 3.2 million. That is wow. ridiculous. I did not know they were that high. I, I think <laughs> those videos may have been what introduced me to the map. Yeah, I think. I think. I think as well as it's just. Oh, that is a funny story that you mentioned, Musak, because I 
was a surfer mod for me, so I have two surfer back in the day. Oh, nice. So, like, every single time, like, after music release a video about like chainsaw laser or like some other custom maps like people flock to the server asking if the map could be played <laughs> and okay, we, we i'm we, sorry we, yeah and we were like a regular like we we weren't like a fan server we were like a actual community server for australians so like we tend to just ignore people <laughs> who do <laughs> who like do that and we stick to whatever song the game mode because we are there to play TF2, not because of maps. Ignoring Australians is generally a good idea. So wait, <laughs> oh, come, come on, there's no Zealands to play on. There's Kiwis that play on playing the server. Shout out to them. Uh, didn't, to me. Uh, didn't Valve at some point play one of your joke maps, Crash? Uh, yeah, we actually played uh, Wub 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 when I went there. We, uh, I was part of the uh, Saxy team that did Agent Gun Vulcan and I did some of the backgrounds. Uh, like Void and I did did primarily all the backgrounds for the video. Uh, so we got flown out to Seattle. I got to meet Valve. I, I hugged Jill. Uh, <laughs> I talked to Eric for a long time. I actually had like a 45 minute conversation over lunch with uh, Dave Riller, which was insane. Um, and then we played TF2 with them. And Jill was in the other room. It was actually I, I saw Jill for like 30 seconds and then they disappeared. Um, but they were in like the TF2 area and brought on a handful of my maps. And one of them was Wub Wub Wub. And the funniest experience, probably my favorite, one of my favorite moments of it. Uh, well, there's, there's two. There's one. There's a video of it. Uh, Harry caught, which was me just grinning like a complete psychopath while we were all playing Wub Wub Wub. At Shout, out to Harry. Shout out to Harry. <laughs> and, and he definitely caught that moment. My like moment of like maniacal happiness and like probably like peak my peak moment in tf2 was like that exact second that he caught right then uh but the other funniest moment uh was it was like the main vr dev that we were talking to because we hung out with like a, a bunch of random people from from valve that day and he was the one like running us through all of the vr demos and just kind of geeking us geeking out about the vr stuff and he was sitting right across from me while we were playing wub 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 i was literally face to face with this man and he was so unhappy playing that map at that moment <laughs> it was so hilarious I, I i will never forget his face it was like just perfectly like this is what my career has led me to is doing this right now because <laughs> I, I like if you think about it he was like uh you know working on peak breaking technology at the time and he's stuck in a room playing blub 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 <laughs> tf2 <laughs> Yeah, I, I bet they're working on, on the Index Pro type or something, and then it just, like, oh, someone called us over to, like, play, play TF2, and it was just like, yeah, I'm sure, and then, well, what well, 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 was, yeah. was Yeah, so it was it was definitely one of the, the funniest moments on that trip for me. I decided to do some Googling to look at video uh, view counts. And there is a separate map. I did. I was not the main mapper on this. It was a map that Star Hacker made in like 24 hours, and four other people from this community helped her out with it. Uh, and that's in a video with uh, three quarters of a million views. Is is this the and my gnome? main contribution to the map? Yeah, it was the gnome map. <laughs> uh, my main contribution to that map was a. A uh, shitty puzzle that I made like half of, and then handed off the star tacker, and she had to make it like actually work. Um, and it also got completely edited out of the video. <laughs> Shout out so to it doesn't Star. even appear in the video. But the really shitty dubstep song that I made for the map did appear in the video. So now I'm realizing that this shitty dubstep thing I made in like half an hour is probably the most popular work I've ever made. <laughs> Shout out to Star Attacker who's in chat right now. He's in there. Yes, cut the nope.vmf is what I sent her. <laughs> and so, and what it was was it was it was two like platforms on a rope pulley system, and then I made a giant brushwork pair of scissors, like <laughs> like uh poised over the cable. And then I just sent that to Star Attacker. He's like, yeah, sorry, I have to go. Um, I think he could figure out what I was going for. I, th <laughs> I think the best like, Half-Life 2 joke map that you have made is the inside job. 
Oh, yes, inside job, which it's really unfortunate for whatever reason, like every Half-Life 2 streamer just like ignored that mod. So like when I want to go back and watch a video of someone playing that map, it's this kid who's Russian and has to be like 14 year old, like 14 years old, I missed most but speaking russian i don't understand a single thing he's saying i don't know if he understands any of the english that's being spoken in that map because i that map has custom voice acting that we did subtitles for um and and like it it's important to to get what they're saying to be able to follow what's going on in the map but that that's the only video i can really find online of anyone playing that map which is unfortunate because it's probably my best half-life 2 work yeah, I played as I was. I was played as around, and I yeah. think. And, yeah. and and shout out to Yerzy as well. She was uh, sort of my my co creator with that map. She did uh, pretty much all of the like voiceover scripting. She wrote most of the script. She designed. Uh, she did a little bit of the level design, and um, just a huge help on that project. Today? Yeah. Were you gonna say anything? Uh, I was just because you were talking about Jolly Rancor earlier. I've been following him, waiting for him to get to Inside Job for the last like year and a half. He he did fulfillment uh four months ago in Ibahaz's um uh. Uh, the, fishy the, man. The, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to spoil something, that for other people. Something's fishy. Um, uh, which are both very good maps. Um, Shout but he has in the chat right now. Yeah, he hasn't played. Uh, what what was it? Was that compa companion piece for? Uh, uh companion piece two. Yeah, companion like, piece two. He didn't. I don't think Jolly Wankor played that one. Uh, Tyler McVicker, I think, also skipped that one. Like all, all of the big names that would like get that map exposure, just like didn't play that one for whatever reason. I think it had a lot of maps in it, so they were kind of avoiding it for that reason because it would take like three hours to get through everything, probably. Yeah, Jolly is doing some more half life two stuff, so maybe you can expect it sometime soon-ish. I hope so. I I can be happy with knowing that my uh some of my finest Half-Life 2 like single player level design work is that <laughs> even if <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh i'm not gonna spoil what that map is but if you know what if you know what that map is you understand why it's kind of funny because it's yeah you, you guys put a lot of effort into it and it definitely paid off it's very funny extremely high effort shit post if you are nowhere you know um anyway we have been going for almost an hour now so i'll wrap oh, this shit. up with one last question uh are you two Doing anything for the jam? No. <laughs> this right now. Uh, my goal for this jam is to clean up my apartment because I'm hosting Christmas this year. And how's that going? Uh, I cleaned the stove. That went decently. Uh, I need to get to like everything else, but the stove's clean. So in the last uh, two days, you've only cleaned the stove. Yeah, well, I've been working on Fountain a lot. Um, I, I, I haven't really been doing a very good job. Fountain is a payload map that uh, I don't, I don't want to adopt from Tyler. Yeah, it's my current, my current TF2 project. Even though I'm no longer staff, I'm still making maps for this dead game. <laughs> yeah. And with that, we gotta wrap this up. Thank you two so much for coming. Yeah, yeah thanks for having us. Yeah, thank I think you. I think it's kind of like unreal for me right now that I'm talking and doing an interview with like some uh, someone that I like. I started uh, I started mapping in 2015, and.
and then like to be here doing interview with Crash after I see like mm-hmm. all the tutorial series is kind of <laughs> insane to me right now. Well, I, I'm glad they helped you. I'm really like happy that that is a thing you feel based off something I made because I, you know, I I went into that series to have no no freaking idea what I was doing and like if you listen to the first two episodes, I'm like, okay, this tutorial started. This you know, everything is like a yeah, thousand miles an hour because yeah, I'm still stressing yeah. out about doing it myself. So I'm glad that it helped you. I'm glad that it it did what it did. I remember oh, yeah. uh, joining a... those tutorials brought me into this community. Like, I'm really glad you made those. Yeah, yeah it's it, it's kind of like nuts. Like because of that tutorial series, it kind of directly affected my path to like even like being where i am right now like i moved from hong kong to england kind of because i there i because i knew friends from tf2 maps i that that means a lot honestly to me that that means a lot that i like had that impact so thank you thank you (laughs) i had known about you i can't remember if it was because of your tutorial videos or not but i i knew the name yuri ak crash and i joined a Playtest of uh, frontline map. I've already forgotten the name. Surely you've. I joined a playtest of that, and you were in there, and I was like, kind of freaking out over this minor celebrity. That's so uh, weird to me. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 crazy in here. Like half of us in here only started mapping after like 2016. I I would have given up if it wasn't for your tutorial videos because I'm pretty sure I did try it. And give up before I watch your tutorial videos. So, fun fact on that: I tried mapping when I was God, I was probably thirteen, fourteen, somewhere around there for the original Counter Strike, and it was so difficult to get into because you know there was no tutorial series like that. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm a visual learner. Um, that I gave up, on it. <laughs> and I didn't pick it back up until you know. 2007 i was like 20 years old at that point uh for tf2 so the the fact that it it inspired somebody to keep going when i like where would i have been with it had i kept going when i was like that young um that that's cool that that it helped i learned the hard way just kind of mashing my face into a wall over and over i know it, right it, mm. it took me like a couple years before i had a portal one map that i could publish and that map did not have any puzzle mechanics in it because I couldn't figure out how to make them work. It was just flings. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I still copy and paste payload logic. I've never made that from scratch. Oh, and I never same. will. Oh, yeah, same. 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 Hell Please no. Do not make payload logic from scratch. If, whatever you do, just learn learn what they do and then never touch it again. Well, yeah, that, that's why I've had people like, you should make a payload tutorial. I was like, I'd have to learn how to make payload first. <laughs> I could explain to you how it sort of works, but I do not want to make them from scratch ever. And don't <laughs> yeah. get me started on making elevators. There's a prefab for that. Just grab that one. Do it. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I I think Crash and I should head out. Get the yeah yeah. On. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good yeah. one, guys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Me on. Thank you for coming. Uh, hello, Mache. You've come in to replace two people. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't and Crash just left. I know, I'm perfect timing then. Do Avatar as well. Okay, uh, who's up just next? Just I will... Pretty sure Mega Pie Man is the one that's next. Yo. Yes. We'll ping them now. Mr. Synthetic himself. Don't you mean the Mr. Pie person, man? No, I, I, I know. I, I know. I, the funny is I replaced his name with a map that he made. I mean, I think there's more no, other maps, but Synthetic is, yeah. Midwest is pretty good. We will all be discussing this. Just... Yeah. Hold our horses. Yeah, scrolling through all the stuff he's made on TF2 maps because he's just made so much. Yeah. I, by the way, pages. I'm currently in the process of downloading the uh, the day two VOD 
Oh yeah. Um, Fifteen and a half hours of footage. Let's go. I'm yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. That was if my no, decision, not, not yours. If no, I was I... trying. If I was trying to download the VOD through Twitch directly, it would just not work. Yeah, there's other ways of doing that. Yeah. But yeah, but the reason why it got so long because like I hopped into call at the last hour and then just I reverse interviewed Isuna. Hello. Sing two. Megapyman. Oh, hello, Megapyman. Hey, how's it going? I think your mic's kind of quiet, actually. Yeah, I've boosted him on stream. Uh, do, do I need to turn anything up on my side? Uh, you're good for me now. I have you two hundred. Yeah, I'll just turn them up. Yeah, as my, well. my mic has a. Uh, I have a tendency to peak my mic when I'm recording audio, so I usually keep it a little bit low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, welcome. Would you like to do a quick introduction of yourself? Sure. I'm uh, Mega Pie Man PhD. I make maps. I make YouTube videos that nobody watches, and I do some voice work for games like Elderborn and Viserafest. If you've ever played either of those. I have not, but they sound interesting. If you like old school first person shooter type games, check them out. Uh, you recently had not one but two maps added in the last Halloween update. Do you want to talk about those? Yes, the last Scream Fortress had both synthetic event or synthetic with an I in it and uh, PD Farm Again, which. Uh, it's it's still kind of uh, uh, surreal to think about the fact that I was actually playing on casual servers with people I don't know maps that, that I worked on. <laughs> Which, uh, it's 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 just there's something weird about filling out contracts for your own maps. Yeah, I I kind of have that experience with like a lot of the jump maps I made, a crunch getting into a jump server network and then having people play it without even knowing that I'm there and I made it. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes I, I see some people from different communities commenting about stuff that I've worked on. I'm like, holy crap, somebody actually plays that? Someone knows what that is? Yeah. yeah. Honestly, it's kind of a shame that uh, mappers don't have a good alternative to stuff like the uh, unusual cap or just community sparkle and cosmetic. Yeah, I mean, you there's can... map stamps. Yeah. Nobody really... Who cares about map stamps? But there's map stamps. You can't you can't do anything with them. Well, now someone ca really cares about map stamps. I think even in this community, that do we, like do we they... have a map stamp enthusiast? Yeah. yeah. Well, don't you like get a get a hat if you have like the most stamps or something? You, you do, buy but the you're most keep stamps in a day. In a day, oh man, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of stamps. There's yeah. Three hats that are based on, on if you do the most in a day, there's a dueling one, there's a map stamp one, and I think there's a gift giving one. Yeah. I think that's the third one. Uh I've gotten the gift giving one like twice. And the stamp one is really <laughs> easy to get. You just need to get like that one uh like envelope of stamps that gives you one of every map. Just buy that and you're like guaranteed to get the uh, stamp hat because no one buys more than one a day. That's a lot <laughs> of maps. Well, I think someone from Fav always buys like eighty-two stamps. Oh yeah, Eric. Really? Yeah, Jeez. Eric. Eric does that, I think. Well, thank you to Eric for every map that has ever gotten in the game. <laughs> Kind of weird. Uh, when I got the map stamps for my two maps, I also got a, the big envelope of like, now you just have one for everything. It's like, all right, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, um, stamps are neat. If you if you if you like a map, check out the uh, the stamps on on TF two. They're ninety nine cents a peach, a uh, peach, a piece. And uh, all the proceeds go to the people who are on the credits list that made it. 
Yeah, Valve doesn't take a cut of that, unlike key sales. So you are directly nope. supporting Mac creators. Yep. Depending have... on what you did, if, if you were part of a map, you might get 1% of that 99 cents, which doesn't seem like much, but it does add up over time. So if you want to help somebody out, go ahead and check them out. Plus, you get a cool hat. Hell yeah. Finally, Pirate Spy is real. Um, Mache, do you have any questions since you're here? I do, actually. Uh, sometimes brain's a little scared, so apologies if I accidentally asked something that's already been asked. Uh, but, uh, Pyman, you have done a fair bit of voice acting for your uh, mapping projects and possibly other projects. Uh, can you tell us about that? Uh, well, a lot of it is based just based on the fact that uh, when it comes to more outside of the box game modes that are in TF2, such as pastime and player destruction, there really aren't any official lines for that. Some people have been able to splice some stuff together, but because there aren't official lines for that, it allows you to make your own to to fit thematically with the map itself and try to make the theme the the thing feel like a more cohesive unique package which is uh i was able to do that with farmageddon i did the voice of the announcer on that uh blaholson who worked on that project did the voice of the pumpkin on that one which uh which was really neat and it, it just helps the thing feel like a full unique project uh opposed to uh i guess i guess it helps because it's 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 a scream fortress thing which already you get the kind of you get like Marasmus that shows up every now and then that kind of stuff and um what is that cursed cove cursed cove has has custom lines with with davy jones i believe but there really isn't anything stock that you can use so i just tried to uh fill in where i can and flurry wanted to do some stuff for pastime since he did a, a bunch of work on customizing pastime and trying to make that game mode play half decently and that game mode doesn't have really anything at all when it comes to to announcer lines or anything to tell people how to play the game so i did some stuff for him just uh trying to help people figure out what they're doing so they're not totally lost Uh, we were meant to have Zeus here with you, but he was unfortunately unable to make it. And yeah, he's pretty busy at the moment. Yeah, you two worked yeah. on... It was Farmageddon, wasn't it? Yes, he did do some work on, on Farmageddon. Farmageddon had a lot of people on that project, which was really, really weird. It's the first time I've done a big project like that, and it was really cool because there was a lot of really talented people on there. If uh, if I can actually bring it up here for a second, where is here we go? Let's see. On that project, there was myself. Void worked on that. Square worked on that. Duck Sync worked on that. FGD Five worked on that. Uh, Dat G Man slash Tains worked on it. Sedentary Socks worked on it. Blaholson worked on it. Fuzzy Mello worked on it, and zeus worked on it and and um yeah i think that's everybody that's everybody on the credit list uh, so what are, what are some of the things you learned uh from making from begin specifically well it's it's the big thing that i learned from farmageddon is that it's never a bad thing to start over if something isn't working and just trying to find the best way to communicate with people i've never worked on a project that big with that many people involved and even though i did the layout for it the original idea for that project wasn't mine blaholson and that g-man slash tanes i don't know which one he goes by uh they came to me with an idea and like we have this idea for a farm themed uh player destruction map which is going to be like a spaceship crashes into the farm and there'll be a tunnel underneath that people can capture stuff in and do you want to try to work on a layout with that so it was it was interesting it was a, it was quite a surprise to have somebody come to me even though because the previous year we worked on synthetic together where i went to them asking hey i'm working on this map 
you guys interested in making some stuff? They're like, sure. They came to me like, we're making some stuff. You want to work on a map? And I'm like, sure. The, uh, the, the theme of everything changed quite a bit from the original idea of the space stuff, since that seemed to be a little bit too much for the time period that we we're working in. So we changed, we had a couple ideas that we were going to werewolves for, at some point. And then eventually we came up with the, uh, the pumpkin idea and went all in on that. But a big thing was just learning how to work with a bunch of other people, how to herd cats as, as, as a way to put it. <laughs> and uh, trying to not stick to things so much that it's detrimental to the project. Something that I learned early on in mapping development is that while it's okay to like what you make, everything is subject to changing no matter how much time and effort you put into making it. And there was a point where I had, I don't know which one it was. It was a couple versions in the map just wasn't working at all. I was very afraid that I wouldn't be able to get a layout done. That would be half decent enough for everyone else's work to go in. Cause even if it's, you have the prettiest looking map with the prettiest looking assets. If nobody likes the layout of the map, nobody's going to play it. So no one's going to see all of that other stuff. So I basically at one point just deleted everything started over was able to put something together and uh the community likes it valve liked it and it was a good learning experience for just working with other people what are uh what are some other maps you've made besides the two that obviously have gone official well there's there's those two there's the normal version of synthetic with king of the hill synthetic that uh I believe it was third place in a competitive con mapping contest hosted by somebody who goes by the name Beater. If you follow RGL, um, you might recognize that name. They played that a little bit. It didn't take off massively in the competitive community, but uh, they did seem to enjoy it a lot. It's, a, it's inspired by a couple other different maps that, uh, that people seem to like. Uh, other ones that I've finished is Payload Race Rush, which I don't know if anybody recalls that 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 that, that was finished, but that that was for a the I think that was was that the, the dynamic payload con that was some payload contest that I made that one. Are you sure it's a Connect Five actually? Connect Five, that's what it was. Yes, I, one, I one of the, that was good. One of the interesting things about that map was one of the things that I that I had to fill in was trying to have the cart path that crosses over itself. And I didn't want it to just sort of be like, okay, it happens once just to fill in the tie, the, the little tile thing. And that's it. I wanted to try to make that. Well, if we're going to do it, we're going to go all in. We're going to try and make that the whole, the whole shtick. So it's a, it's a two, two stage payload race map. I only did two stages because normally you either have one stage or three stage, three stage payload race maps. The third stage is the one that seems to only matter since if you win that you win overall, you don't really get much from the advantage by the time you get to the third stage. So I just thought, well, if you win the first one, you get an advantage in the second one and that should be enough to, uh, to, to help one team or whatever to balance things out. So I decided only to do two stages for that. And uh, it was, again, it was an interesting, interesting project, a big learning experience. Main thing with every map that I've at least gotten to RC has been a massive learning experience for something. It either comes down to just the process of finishing a map uh, the process of siphoning through feedback, figuring out how to take feedback, the best way to apply things, what to ignore, what not to ignore, what are real problems, uh, trying to figure out. I'm a big fan of if something isn't working on a project, make big changes to try to actually address the issue instead of small changes that don't really do anything. Unfortunately, I see that more often than not, where a lot of people, they'll make a little small change here and a small change there, but it doesn't really address the main problem. So just trying to figure out how to identify problems, even before people play it, trying to figure out how to optimize a map so it doesn't run like crap, which uh, took a bit for me to, to, to realize. Back in the day, I used to use 
huge cube maps because I liked pretty reflections, but that makes a map file size ridiculously large. So don't do that. <laughs> uh, all right, what other projects? I don't think I have anything else finished. Payload Midwest is close to finished and that map's actually been getting a lot of i mean a lot of people talking about that one uh that did get some community play with a group from rgl who took that up for highlander which was quite surprising and that map has changed a lot in its development i believe i originally made that for a contest as well but it it, it didn't really get anywhere in it and now it's at beta 51 and uh at some point some at some point i'll be happy enough with that map to release it it's a lot of betas <laughs> yes 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 i remember is. you were like very close to having finished it and i was I, I didn't extremely like it very much. close to getting done with it but i wasn't happy with it i didn't want to release it because i wasn't happy with it even though i easily could have and it, it would have been fine but the map just wasn't playing well enough for me to push it to that point and then competitive people started t talking to me about it and give me ideas of what to do with that and i sort of changed the direction of things so the development of that map has been very interesting since i really kind of wish i would have been able to get the competitive scene people that i worked with helping me out earlier on in development so i wouldn't be at like beta 51 i might have actually finished the thing by now but uh, yeah, it got to the point where it was, it, I was pretty much going to call it done just because I didn't know what else to do with it, even though I wasn't happy with it. But then with the, with the help of those people, it's turned into something that I'm actually very happy with. It seems to play well, both casually and competitively. It's got a nice balance in the middle, which is something you don't, you don't see all that often. I never made the project with the intention of being competitive. The only map that i worked on with the intention of being competitive was the normal version of synthetic and uh when you're working on a map that to be competitive there's, there's some pressure there because you know that there's a lot of people who who they, they don't like to waste their time on projects they or, or maps that they don't like which is why the competitive community it's kind of hard to get them to play anything that they haven't played before sometimes so trying to really come up with something that works and makes enough people happy or at least have a fun time is uh, is an interesting balance to to work on. I think the next version of that map, whenever I get around to it, is going to be the release candidate that'll go onto the Steam Workshop. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I, uh, it'll finally be, it'll finally be quote unquote done until I make a Halloween version. <laughs> Uh, okay, so slight correction. Payload Race Rush was in Payload Checklist Contest, not Connect Five. Oh, that's 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 why it had the payload track crossing over another payload track. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. Connect Five was like you have to cross a line with like five things you have to do on a board, and checklist is five things you have to do on a checklist. Right, and uh, Midwest was for the Back to Basics contest which it did not get far in development before that finished because I didn't think I was actually going to enter that contest until I got an idea, like right, right when the thing was almost over. So I probably shouldn't have entered that since it didn't really get anywhere. And the, the, the last that I had for that was just, just awful. It was a big ramp into a pit. It was terrible. But uh, you live and learn. I can't say that you're... I'm pretty sure the only entry from Back to Basics who is actually committed to finishing it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember the other projects from that. It's been it's been too long to remember who made what for that project for that contest. Uh, we were just going through it yesterday. Uh, that one had Illinois uh, shithole. Hello. Hello. Shithole. Oh, Illinois um, was neat. I saw that somebody, uh, whoever made Illinois remade that recently. Rache? That's me. I'm here. Yeah. Hi. Illinois was a pretty fun map. It had some sniper sightline issues. I was kind of sad to see it, it, it fade away, but I'm glad to see that it, it's sort of back. Old game cross. I can keep working on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
the mighty power of the whole. Well, now the whole has cheese in it. Piece of Wisconsin. <laughs> Maybe one day you can help with the Halloween version. Wink. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. And or are you? You should be wrapping this up now. So the. Oh, actually, one question from Ramkin here, uh, because our fairy has not asked it. But uh, you... what is your favorite theme? My favorite theme. I really like farm. Farm slash farm industrial. It just feels TF2 to me. Uh, there are some themes out there. I mean, there's some really cool themes like um, the Soho theme is really cool. I think it does a good job for urban environments. Alpine's nice, but there's a lot of Alpine. And the spy tech is always neat if you're able to really capture what makes it feel like spy tech. And uh, there's there's some there's some cool custom ones as well with like Japan or the London theme is is really really neat. I've been wanting to mess around with that, but I just find farm theme to to work the best with what TF2 has. It works. It seems to work best with textures, prop design, everything like that. And for some reason, the farm theme has kind of fallen out of style the past couple of years. Back in the day. I used to see it all the time in custom maps, but, but you don't really see it anymore. I guess maybe it got to the point where it was like it was oversaturated and everyone wants to try something else, and now you don't see it at all. So I just, I don't know, I find it very homey. Uh, then again, I grew up in a rural area. I see farms all the time, did farm work all the time, so maybe, maybe I'm just connected to it like that. Yeah, I would understand it that way, but in, like the other way, where like I grew up in Hong Kong, so like a lot of the urban environments in Soho are. I have a lot of opinions on it. Let's just say, <laughs> not I, and they're not good. <laughs> well, TF two doesn't do urban environments all that great. Uh, it, it it wasn't really designed for it, but uh, I think for what they could do for urban environments soho works pretty well and uh, i don't think there's any other maps that are specifically in a city i know there's manhattan but manhattan's like on the outskirts of a city there's barely any city yeah. to it also yeah, soho it's... was made for promoting sleeping ducks i think yeah you can tell they did it quickly because uh tubas will uh, agree here but most of the signs are not Gibberish. translated correctly <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely gibberish. There's a lot of things you could be creatively doing with text that are not just robot, robotically translated or like mixing use of traditional and simplified Chinese. Stick to one lane, please. That map was made by 3D Ninja, and for what it is, I think they did they did they did a good job with it, at least layout wise. Not talking about the the theme and that kind of stuff, but it's kind of weird. Because that's the only time that I can think of that there's ever been a, a promotional map. TF2 did promotional items like cosmetics and even weapons for a long time, but that's the only map that came out of a promotion that, I, that I'm aware of. Got some nice assets out of it, though. Yes. Um, well, <laughs> I'm just going to shut my mouth. Eric some has donated nice to Tiltify $10. Uh, not the Eric from Valve, however, but thank you anyway, Eric. I just Eric. look if it was the Eric from Valve. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh, anyway, to wrap this up, uh, Mega Pie Man, are you making anything for the jam? I started working on something that I'm probably not going to get done, which is unfortunate. I, I too, have similar to the, the previous people you were talking to. I caught the end of that, that interview. I have been in the holiday cleaning uh, most of the time, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get the project done that I'm working on for the 72 hour thing. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it done afterwards if I don't have too many projects piled up on top of each other. I got too many projects, man. Too many ideas, not enough time. Well, me, meanwhile, I'm over here just stuck on the one project. Yeah. Well, you do it till you get it done. It's not sticking to it. It's just like I, can't, I, I'm sick of it. I just want what it done. It's been way too long, three, three years long at this point. Hey, you'll get there. 
I don't know. I opened up uh, what was that? I opened up the project file for Power Break the other day and started doing stuff on that, which hasn't been touched in like two years. Which one so, was Power Break? What was Power Break? That's the generator destruction map that I worked on with oh, Ultra yeah. Turnip and a couple other people for another 72 hour thing. That was 2019, I think. Yeah, that, so we were just looking at that the other day. It was, a, it was a while ago. Yeah, I've been yeah. needing to get back to that, but I just haven't until I'm like, all right, I'm going to sit down and try and see if I can figure something out for this. A cool idea. You should. Yeah, and thank you so much for coming, Mega Pie Man. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here. And we will uh, see if we can get you back in tomorrow when we're doing all the public interviews. All right. I'll see you guys then. Adios. See you. Have a good one. Catch you later. Great. Very nice. Next up, we've got Star Hacker. Uh, but we need them to get in chat first. They said there would be a little bit. I'm not even sure. Oh, there they are. Cool. There she is. Hi, Star. Hello. Oh, good. You were here. Um, a, a, <laughs> a hit of schedule on the first day, but you're back again. The return. I sure, I sure am. For a proper interview, and you've completed the deer. I did. I have. I made the deer. I made the deer in a surprising like turnaround yo like uh, i can show it, it here actually if if the sun hadn't gone down aka if it wasn't winter then i probably would have had it out on like the first day but i ended up having to wake up at like no nah, i didn't have to wake up too early i woke up at like 9 a.m went out to a local park and took a bunch of photos of the deer Deer. 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 Damn button chat, by the way. Yeah, I'm getting rid of him. Mr. Electric, kill him! I already got them. Nice. Yeah. Steer. I love <laughs> Mr. Electric. <laughs> <laughs> the hell meme came out of nowhere, and I, I love it. In the oh, year that God. I've been gone from TF2 maps, I've amassed an entire collection of just jokes that I can store in my brain. Yes. But... I mean, you are, you are always doing that. <laughs> Mr. Electric, send him to the Shadow Realm. Uh, we do have your idea up on the stream right now, though. Yes. Uh... Sure. Dear, dear, what else do I want to talk about for the deer? Uh, no, yeah, it, it was a super quick turnaround. I'm surprised I got it out so quick. I think this was the fastest it took me, like, ever to finish one of these projects. Because I made Cal cut out over, like, two days. Um, and I made the medic... I made the medic over a year, so... Oh, oh, yeah, that was a donation incentive, wasn't it? What happened with the medic is that it was a donation incentive. We reached it. I started work on it. Then we moved, and I hadn't, I, like, I just forgot about it for a good six months until I found it again. And it was like, oh, I need to fix this. I need to finish this. So over that weekend, I think it took me about three days of on and off work. So ultimately, uh, Deer probably took the least amount of time, mostly because I was dedicated the whole day to it. So it ended up working out really well. Oh, well, that Deer looks stunning. Um, yep. Before we go any further, uh, for those who weren't here on the first day, do you want to give a quick introduction to yourself? Oh, yes. Hi. It's weird. There's going to be people in this community that don't know who I am, and that's weird to think about, but uh, whatever. Um, hi, I'm StarTacker. I'm also Sam Ricker. I'm also StarTacker. Um, I primarily do a lot of co-op and single-player level design. I've 
I mean, I've been around TF2 maps long enough that I've made enough attempts in multiplayer level design, but I think ultimately at a point I realized that co-op and single player were more of my jam. That's why all of my TF2 maps are man versus machine maps, so. Um, I was a, uh, like Crash and like Eidolon, I am an ex-staff member. I was a server mod starting in, it had to have been like, it, it had to have been like November of 2018. And then in 2020, I got promoted to staff member. And then I retired, I think official date was January of 2021. Uh, so I've been I've been around for a while. I've been dabbling in TF2 stuff since about 2015. Uh, a lot of people might a lot of people might know me for my involvement in the man versus machine sort of circle, like with potatoes and such. And then there's going to be people who only know me for like my map lab stuff. So. Or your voice acting stuff. Well, yeah, my vo actually my voice acting stuff ends up getting wrapped up in those. <laughs> It's it's very it the past year has been very interesting in how much I've branched out into doing other things. So um because I I retired um in January and then I've sort of I've been um I've been drifting around from place to place a little bit. I've been part of uh a scrunchcraft SMP and the Sludge SMP for the past year. I've met a lot of cool folks through that. So, um, yeah, Actually, I don't know. That that's me. Speaking of the Scrunchcraft thing, uh, this is a a personal favorite of mine. But what can you tell me about Mario? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mario is a little bird, and sometimes he bites you, and um, that's. Uh, th that's it. That uh, Mario is just a little bird. He flies around and chirps. Uh, this is normal. Mario does this, and often you will see a Mario swarm. If you see a Mario swarm, then very frequently, if they become grounded, then they will charge at you and bite your feet until you die. So that's Mario. Mario's a little bird. Oh, so that's what the context is for that clip? <laughs> for... Uh -huh. Mario is a little bird, and I love him very much. Static, do you have a link to that clip? I would, I would put that up on stream if you have it. It's on my Twitch. Let me grab it. Yeah, as someone who's just been passively knowing that you have all, all this SMP stuff going on. It's just wild to me, to me, like, listening to that exact context going on. It's very interesting how over, you know, a couple of, like, the year so far, I've... It's, it's definitely weird looking back a year ago and seeing, like, just how much I've branched out since then. So... I found one of the clips. Where's the second one? It might be on my Twitter. Where is it? The thing about like you being server mod for that long and then shortly to staff is that I one of the favorite things that happened in TF2 maps was like during like when I got promoted to Gold Star or Silver Star at the time, where I think a year ago, a year before I that I joked about like, hey, if I if I ever get Silver Star, Star Attacker, you should probably just <laughs> tell me to just do it to to announce me to being Silver Star. Oh yes, I remember. Uh... I guess that's something else to talk about. I actually, uh, I'm the person that spearheaded the, the, I mean, it was called the, like the Silver Star-esque program at the time, but it became Gold Star. What the fuck is on my screen? Um, I, I started, like, I spearheaded a little bit of a Silver Star program, and 
<laughs> it's kind of funny to think about. That's where most of all of you folks started off as was through that Gold Star program, and now you're running the whole thing, so. That's my fucking speed brand. That's <laughs> been in, in, less, in less than a year, I yeah. am purple. 90% <laughs> world record. So, yeah, Wait. as you can. Is this playing audio? Uh, is it? Because I, I, I do definitely speak in it. Oh, okay, hang on. I'll, I'll make sure that this loops are you, back. Are you doing window capture or browser capture? Uh, it is not playing audio. All right, I'll play it through again. Hang on. This is much um, better with audio, I promise. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's where the primary amount of my focus has been over the year. I I feel like I'm supposed to be saying like multiple years, but it's only been a year since I retired. So, mm, you know what? Twenty 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 one has been a decade. Let's just let's just, let's just yeah be fair. yeah. Um, but uh, since then I've also been focusing a lot on Map Lab stuff. So. If you play any of like the Map Labs competitions, I know Eidolon was talking a little bit about that. Um, if you played any of my maps <laughs> during over a year, I mean, that makes me oh, smile big bite. and happy because I don't know how many people are actually playing my maps. Oh, God, but I'm sure enough people are. Yeah, I think you, you're. One of the voice actors for oh, one of those oh, maps. Oh, yes, uh, I am the primary voice actor. Oh gosh, this is two years ago. I was a primary voice actor for uh, for what was it oh, called fuck. Mule. I was the primary voice actor for Mule, and that was the sort of that was the first big voice oh, acting like me, job fandoms. that I ever had. I'm gonna call it a job because that's oh. what it was, but. When, like, I started that, that was my first time actually doing voice acting. I've considered doing it every now and then. Like, I have a little, like, a little small thing I voice here and there. Uh, Mule was my first big one. Um, my next one was a small experimental project called uh, Snowden, where I voice acted it kind of like in, in, in a similar fashion to that of a point-and-click game. Where you know you click on a door and it says, "I don't want to do that." Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come back down. Um, and then my next big voice acting thing was actually uh, back in October for Serenity. This clip is really good. I think about this clip a lot. Yeah. Also, fourteen bit in chat. This doesn't look like TF2. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, okay, I'm gonna be real. I I haven't since I retired. I think the last time I like actually played a lot of tf2 was for uh the expedition a tf2 maps april fool's game day almost a year ago <laughs> i mean yeah and then more recently it was super frost and then the jam yeah i i i've got like usually what i do nowadays is that i kind of sit in the middle of this like empty void and every now and then i poke my head out and it's like that was the plan for the deer and then i got invited to be on an interview and i said oh no i gotta be like active now like it will be weird otherwise <laughs> <laughs> i did i did force you to come back a little bit to update crown a couple weeks you ago did. oh yeah you did um oh yeah crown I keep forgetting about Crown, honestly. Crown is probably, like, the best TF2 map that I've ever made. Uh, honestly, of, like, just a level of detail and level of gameplay. It's probably the best map that I've ever made for TF2. Um, the issue is, I hadn't touched it in a year, and then I got a DM from Suna saying, Hey, it's broken. I, I just sort of sat there and I thought to myself, how? Why? There, the, there was a bug on the map where a fence for gate A opens the wrong way, and it's been there since A1, and I've never actually had the opportunity to see that gate move. So. Oh no. Our so I got, 
I got reawakened then when it was going up on the featured, and now I've just been like, oh well, I guess I will keep a, I will orbit around it and keep an eye on it. But Suna tried to out from the fort just fix round. Suna, like, Suna like choke slammed me back into TF2 maps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's where I am now. Yeah, we were we were looking to feature some stuff, and we went through a, a few of your MVM maps. <laughs> we we de featured a couple because you yeah. you went through and cleaned up my awful highlight reel that I oh. made last year, and it was like, oh dear, we haven't touched this in a, like two years. We need something now, and it was like. I was the only one that really felt motivated enough to do it, if I remember correctly. So it was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, look at maps and hit like highlight on them if I really think they're good. And it's very funny looking back on that now, and it's like fifty percent of it is still there, but it's a very better like tailored list now. So yeah, I think for this year we did a like a whole featured list game day and all. Yeah. For like trying to get ma people to think about what maps should be, at should be added on featured. Yeah, we um, when I was looking at what's being featured, I did look back at your list, and I didn't unfeature a lot of those. Someone else had done it. <laughs> I, I don't know who. I only <laughs> I only did like a couple more, and I think Bruges is still there. Um, is but... Bruges? Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, your kind of frontline one. I, I you featured that one. The front is yeah. good, and then it's just kind of barren the rest of the way through. <laughs> yeah, Akira and Autumn. No, I'm not. I'm not crying over those not being highlighted. Oh, I think I've definitely. Different. There's definitely been the past year. There's definitely been like an improvement in mostly level of detail because I, I feel like for a long time i i had a good idea of how to how to make good looking maps but i wasn't really able to take it like that extra step that it needed to and i that that did put like akira and autumnal in a weird situation where they're definitely less detailed than what would normally be expected I think I could definitely do better nowadays, but as they are right now, they're good learning points for me to like look back on to compare where I was. So. Yeah, I think it's good to just look back on what you did, what you did time from time again. It's like we just did that yesterday with Suna. <laughs> yeah. Maybe for a little bit too long, but we did it. Yeah, I was expecting to go through everything in like uh an hour. But it took like three. <laughs> uh I've got I've got <laughs> tons of demos from tons of previous works that I've done. And every ten now and then I'll look back on one of them. And they all date to like 2019, 2020, and it's like, oh dear, this was me at one point? Uh oh, wait, I just did something bad. Hold on. Sorry, I just moved my tactical intervention folder into a completely different game folder. <laughs> oh, that is I'm trying to get to my Team Fortress 2 file. And then I just clicked on tactical intervention and threw it into a different game. Um, yeah, that could be bad. Yeah, I've got. Oh, that reminds me, I've got like, I I used to be really big in um, playtesting, like for TF2 maps and such. And I did that for a long time. And I know I did that for a long time because I never actually cleared out any of my maps folder. So I have a reasonable size archive of them. And when I say reasonable size, I've got about 60 gigabytes of maps for about 1000 maps in total. Oh, yeah, mine download is my back my tf2 back, back backup is like 50 gigabytes or something 
Yeah, it's very fun to look at TF2 and see like, oh yeah, this game's uh, 100 gigabytes, and it's like, oh, I wonder where all that's going into. I wonder, I wonder where, I wonder how, how did that happen? Okay, let me look. So, yeah, I'm looking my at my yeah. right now. 120 gigabytes. Mine is actually just 60 in total, but 25 of them are just gem maps. <laughs> I do have another question for Star, but first of all, um, we didn't have another interview lined up right after Star, but I have the date wrong. Their interview is actually set for tomorrow. Uh oh. So, uh oh. We do have a we do have a free slot for an interview. Uh, hmm. So, Nesman, I'm going to interview you instead. Oh, uh, all right. Wow. Oh. All right. Uh, but on to Star, uh, we did bring up, uh, Gnome More Heroes earlier. Uh, yes! Oh, But do you want to talk God. about that now? Um. Actually, we do have a bit of time. I could, I could boot it up. No More Heroes. Okay. I need to explain a little bit of context for No More Heroes. No More Heroes is my first ever both general Half-Life 2 project that I ever finished and my first Map Labs entry ever. I I saw, like, I've been, well, I was watching around Map Labs in late 2019, and I was seeing if anything really caught my eye. And then they announced their GNOME competition. And the whole point of GNOME was to make a map about gnomes. So, cool, great, can do that. I have 24 hours to make it. So, I spent about the first, I spent the first, like, five hours mostly getting everyone that I wanted for the project. It was me, I, I picked up Eidolon, I picked up Pont, I picked up Yerzy, and I picked up Wilson. And so, we are to date, we are still to date like the most contributors to a mainline entry in map labs ever for no more heroes. Um, so I had 24 hours to make it. Uh, I spent five, about five hours on it, working on it. Uh, I got, I got an awesome VMF from Eidolon called cut the nope. And Eidolon already talked about this, but it's, it was just a, it's, it's like a scissors puzzle, and it's on a pulley system. It's, it's weird. Um, so I spent that, I then went to work, uh, I then went to work at my part-time retail job. When I got home, everything, every moment since I got home, uh, is a complete blur. All I remember was, I asked Pont, can you make like a little beginning area? And that's what uh, Suna is walking into now, is the area Pont made, which is also one of the better looking areas in the map. <laughs> um, I asked Pont to do this. I got the puzzle map from Eidolon. Uh, Yerzy was going to make particles. And what I had asked Eidolon and Wilson to do was to also make music. And so there is a No More Heroes soundtrack. And over the next... I started at 8 p.m. The contest ended at like 10 a.m. Or no, it started, it ended earlier at like 8 a.m. I spent the next like 14 to 16 hours of my life uh, just working on this map. I didn't, like, sleep. I didn't take a moment off of it. Um, I remember recording, like, little hourly devlogs, and you can hear the, like, you can hear my voice decomposing over time. I literally spent 16 hours. I pulled an all-nighter for this. I remember everyone else on the team going to bed before I did. And I was there for like 12 hours alone in my dark room making Gnome map. 
So this is the famous cut the nope puzzle. This this room ruled. It's probably the most gameplay of any of the sections of this. <laughs> but, uh, but other so no more heroes ultimately placed a uh, second in the contest half a point behind the first place there's a very funny uh, little thing about this room and you can see that the elevator is still dev textures uh <laughs> That's because how Source does physics is that it actually takes material into account. So if you have a funk fizz box, and you say you have one that is made of a metal texture and one that is made of a concrete texture, the concrete one will be heavier. So dev texture is... Um, dev texture is unspecified, and so it defaults to concrete. Uh oh, you're you're uh. Oh no! Here's the fun part of a puzzle. Uh oh. Well, I'll try again. That's my favorite line in the entire mod, mostly because it's the only line in the entire mod. Uh, there is a button. I'm gonna tell you right now that you need to watch out for on the shoot. Fail to manage your gnomes. Fail to manage your gnomes is my favorite line in the entire mod. Um, so we play second. The really, so when I went to detail this, Idolon detailed this room as he had also made the gameplay for it. Uh, the issue is Idolon changed the the, the elevator from concrete to metal, you know, making it make sense. The issue is, this actually broke the puzzle because now the weight of the elevator had changed, and so the entire puzzle was ruined. Note, this is at 4 a.m. I haven't had a single moment of sleep. The contest ends in like four hours. I still have a lot to do. I decided in that moment, I'm gonna make it dev texture and I'm going to move on. So that's why it's still dev texture. You didn't figure it out after a fact until like the contest was over. Yes, I I I think I kind of like knew what was going on, but I realized at the time I don't have the time to deal with this. How do I manage these gnomes? Uh you hit the button again. You see Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That part of a puzzle, I can't. I think I came up with that part of a puzzle on my own, and I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of this sort of mechanic to the puzzle because it actually makes you think a little bit. Um. Th so that's this section. This section is probably the best of them all. We well, haven't gotten to the grand finale. Yeah. Oh yeah, grand finale. Grand finale is pretty good. I just mow and self think of the next two gameplay sections, which is me sleep deprived trying to figure out something. Actually, remember, while I was making this and trying to figure out gameplay, me and Yerzy were talking about uh, Titanfall 2's gameplay philosophy. And I actually, uh, the, the whole philosophy of making very quick and dirty little gameplay sections that don't really need to be connected at all and figuring them out as you go. And so that's what the entirety of this is. Yeah, so like Titanfall 2, a lot of the single player stuff was just made in like a lot of game jam scenarios yeah. where like level design jams where it's just like stuff are banged, banged out quickly. So now that you've completed the laser puzzle, let me tell you something. The laser puzzle doesn't work. What? The gnome gets vaporized by the laser, the player does not. Oh. But you can see the, uh, the awesome particles. That gnome is physics, by the way. And while uh, Tyler McVicker of, Ma of Valve News Network was playing this game, the gnome got stuck as it was firing and broke the mod. And I was very upset about that. But... This section is just straight up combat. I asked, uh, 
Eidolon asked me if he could make some, like, shitty-ass music for this area, and I said yes, under the condition that I could immediately fade it out as soon as the combat section ended. And it's probably- it's ended up being extremely funny. So you literally just go through this small little combat sequence with a pygmy little pistol, and as soon as you kill the last Metro Cop, uh, the music just ends. <laughs> and I feel like that was probably the funniest joke in the entire, like, map. I really like that first combine who just has one HP. Uh, that's actually Half-Life 2's stealth mechanic. What? Are you serious? Are you... It, combine me? soldiers and Metro Cops will always be killed in one shot onto the head if you're in stealth. If they don't know you're there. Huh. Which is what I had purposely set up there, because I thought it was funny. But only you only really get to like have this stealth experience twice in Half-Life 2, but it is there, and I like to put it into my maps. You can... In the explosion, you can see the particles yours he made. Yeah. Oh, this one song is probably playing now. Um, I fucked it up, and it cuts out way too early, but this song is awesome. Is that on Wilson's channel? This is Wilson's. So here's the funny thing. Wilson's, uh, like, the entire OST for No One Heroes, which is like seven songs long, like, we actually put together music for this, is on YouTube. Um, I guess while we're doing boss i can mention oh yeah uh, eidolon detailed this arena and he did a banger job on it it looks really good you can actually uh there some of the props are sideways trains and you can see some gnomes and some of the citadel pods but um so a jolly wing Corps played this map and that video of him playing it now has like 700 50,000 views like it's a lot it's almost a million and I kind of realized in that moment this map which I made in 24 hours as a joke while sleep deprived when I couldn't even remember half of it uh, is probably my most popular <laughs> work ever Which is weird to think about. I actually noticed this when I was looking at the OST for No More Heroes, and there was like 10,000 views on it, and it was like, huh? What? Why? And I looked around, and it was like, oh, now I know. Oh yeah, this was, this was the funniest bit, where I just put a huge rocket model into the gnome and it doesn't even really look good but explosive gnomes I don't really remember oh yeah it shoots out a bunch of grenades uh I did that because I wasn't I didn't know how to do rockets so I just had a bunch of grenades explode out of them I, to note I now know how to do rockets so I don't think rockets would have fit this arena that well either. No more heroes two electric boogaloo. We always joke about that. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I would, like we always joke about it. Like hard. Also, it's no more heroes hard. is misspelled. I know it's misspelled. I didn't know in the moment. I dedicate myself to keeping it as the misspell. There is no e. Except for in the gnome. Yeah, but, uh, it's for the gnome. But, um, yeah. So that's probably my most popular map of all time. And I think about that a lot. And I think to myself, oh, dear, this is my legacy? <laughs> Ultimately, I don't think... I mean, it's not the thing that I get stopped in the street for. So I'm not too worried about it. But it's always fun to think about it. It's like... Oh, this is what most people, like, I, I often think about uh, what someone who doesn't really know me thinks of me as, who only sees me through my work. And I have to think about, oh, there's probably, like, 700,000 people out there who only know me for No More Heroes and nothing else. Is that 
Sam Startek Arika, author of No More Heroes. <laughs> no, no, no. Sarch. It's, it's Sam Star Tracker Ricker. Ah, uh, yes, I'm That's sorry, Star yeah. Tracker. It's always Star Tracker. It's always Star Tracker. Star Star Tracker. No, no. I put my hands. I I put my face in my hands and I scream. But uh, I think that's it. I don't know if I really have anything else. I wasn't expecting the live gameplay of No More Heroes, my greatest work ever. I mean, I changed my name from Sandwhip to Sooner because people kept calling me Sandwich. And then, so, and then we realized Sooner is an anagram for a certain underword. I I wanted to make. I actually was thinking a little bit like about a week ago if i wanted to change my name to something else and i was thinking of a name static but the issue is is that that's a super generic username and i wouldn't be able to register it anywhere also so starbacker yeah. is just fine also i know like some, someone that goes by with the hand of like static animals yeah car that was a car but i think that's it i think that's all i have uh, yeah, but No More Heroes is, is pretty good. Uh, what can you tell us about your time in MVM? Oh, yes. Uh, that's probably the thing that most people actually know me for. Um, I started doing work for Potatoes MVM in about mid-2019, when they put out a call for uh, pre-judges for their Madness vs. Machine campaign. Uh, at the time, I had already, like, play-tested a few. Like, I, I had already helped out with their judging sessions, so I got picked up pretty quickly. Um, I got brought on with a few other folks. Um, some of them are still with Potatoes, some of them aren't. I can't say... Uh, Madness vs. Machines itself was, uh, was, um, too, uh, good of an experience. Um, I'm very happy with what we put out. I feel, I feel like we put something out that a lot of people enjoyed. There was just a lot of internal conflicts that ultimately ended up in, like, multiple staff reshuffles. So, Potatoes is something completely different. Um... In 2020, I joined back on for uh, Operation Digital Directive, which was a huge project for us. It took it took like eight months from like inception to completion, and we worked with. At the time, it was just going to be a solo venture, but then we actually started work with creators, uh, creators.tf, and. The digital directive came out of that and i think i think that was a good time i think a lot of people had it, it was definitely a very experimental operation where it was like okay we have we have two different tours as it were where like here's the first half of it where it's like mostly normal here's the other half where it's completely insane like i'm i'm talking like here here's the mission where I where one of our creators put a dispenser in the like the shape of a stick man and that's a robot. I, I swear I have a screenshot of that. But that's what uh that's what I primarily worked on. Um otherwise I a lot of what I did for uh potatoes was a lot of internal things. So not really things that I feel like I could talk about, but uh, for for a good number of years, I was part of that. That's where all of my finished TF2 maps come from. If you ever played Brook, Book, Akir, Autumn Null, uh, Null, Crown, and Bloodlust, that's a lot of words, but if you ever played any of those, those were mine. Uh, I hope you had a good time on them, but um, I, th I think that's it. I don't really... I don't have much from Potatoes because it is mixed in with a few like bad things that happened that I don't like to recall too well, so whatever. Uh, does anyone in the chat have questions for Star? 
And while they take a moment to think, uh, does anyone here have any questions for Star? I do not. Do you have any plans to refer this chandelier? Huh? What was that? Uh, do you have any plans to refer this like your cough map ever? Oh, the cough map from like 2018! <laughs> oh, Child and I. I yeah, that's the name. I Child and I. Oh, ah, Child and I is uh, uh, so Child and I has a really weird name because it's a combination of an like the last name of an architect and a moon from Jupiter. Like it's Chaldean and then Denise, and so I did Child and I, and that's why it's so weird. <laughs> um. I yeah. put out child and eyes in like my little map pack of little like maps that people can work on. Anyone is free actually for child and eyes. Anyone's free to pick that up and work on it if they want. They don't really have to ask me for permission anymore. And I'm not too interested in the project anymore. And, uh, it was fun to touch up on again. Um, it's got problems. I try, I was thinking of doing a major rework of it, but uh, motivation kept me away from doing that. Yeah, so that brings up a very good thing to talk about, like adoptions, map adoptions. I think I've talked about it, I think I mentioned it a bit earlier with Eidolon, with like how people adopt maps from each other with found being adopted from Tyler. People can just, sometimes people can just put out maps that they don't that they no longer think they, they could work on anymore. And yeah, you, I think people should do that more. That is actually where Brook and um, uh, Crown came from. Brook and Crown were actually started by fellow level designer of uh, Knight. Some people know him as Dale. Most pe uh, Some people know him as Knight. I actually got Brook and Crown through him, and I continued that work. Uh, so that's like my most popular maps. Uh, like that's those are my most popular maps. So I think you can you can find a lot of good by looking through like these little these little projects that people have left behind. And you know it's it's always fun to look through and see like oh I know what you were trying to do here like oh I know what was what you were trying to do and I can make this work or and such. So, orphan like picking up orphan maps is actually like that helped me out a lot because the big f problem I was having having with TF2 mapping was uh, layouting, and I really wanted to get to the detail aspect of it. And so having those two maps that I could having Brug that I could pick up and detail while doing just a little bit of gameplay work actually helped out a lot because it just helped me to practice. MC, MC laughed in chat asks, what about single player level design do you think that makes it more enjoyable for you? That makes it more enjoyable for me? I think a little bit of it is that it's a lot more freestyle. I can come up with uh, I can come up with a lot of like really weird gameplay concepts that would really only work in a single player like environment. A lot of, like, a few of my maps have been very story-based. Uh, Serenity is, like, my, is one where I try to focus a little bit more on story. And that's what kind of, like, had me a little bit sold more because I could explore, like, an idea or a story in my head that I could have weird gameplay for and have an excuse for it. The other reason why it works really well is because I can do... I can do a lot of weird things without having to worry about uh, uh, crossing it over 24 players. I only have to worry about one player. In a way, it's easier, but it's also just easier for me because I can be a little bit... I feel like I'm a little bit more free doing it. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> I, I hope it is. It's a very like it, it's a very weird decision that I've made where it's like I want to focus primarily on co-op and single player design. 
No, I don't think it's like that weird. It's just like there's plenty of like. If there's any, anyway, I would say like. I feel like, in in like, the video game. Like having single player campaigns are not the most common thing. So like, I think it'll be good to just have stuff it's, like that. It's fun to. What I found is that it's fun to branch out and to try something you haven't done before. That was me before I did a lot of single player design. Is that I hadn't really put my mind into it. You know, I've I've always been like toying around with Half Life Two ideas, but never anything that was really concrete. When I actually sat down and like worked on it and like punched it out for a few hours and then a few days and then a few weeks and months and you know this goes on, but once you get like a rhythm of what you really want to do, you'll you'll get into that rhythm pretty well and pretty good. Overlord lettuce says in chat. <laughs> no question. I just want to say that as a Belgian, the way you pronounce brug is blasphemous. Cool man, so I. I pronounce it Brug because I've already been burned on this before when I was making the map because I pronounce it like Brug, like Brug, and I got told that was wrong. And it was like, oh, okay, how, how do you do it? And I heard someone, I heard someone say it and it was Brug with like an H rather than a G. And it was like, okay, I'm going to accept this at face value. Uh, it was the same kind of way with Akir, actually. Because, I mean, a lot of people pronounce it Akir, but it's whatever. I like to... Every now and then I toy with something that's outside my uh, my language. I'm I'm affluent in English, so... Every now and then I'll, I'll go beyond that. It just has a little experiment of, like, what can I get right? What can I learn from this? Because I learned a bit from Brug, and I learned a bit from Akir. I actually got feedback from someone who lives in Iceland about uh, some of the spelling, and I'm super grateful for them for that. Yeah, I I personally helped with Freya for, like, one of the, one of the text props, one of the sign props that, that she was working on for, like, her detailing for csgo map so like yeah, yeah that, that that part is like very fun to like do yeah it's always i always try to whenever i start a new project i kind of think to myself what do i want to challenge myself with what do i want to explore that i haven't really in the past Speaking and... of new projects and exploring there is a little under 21 hours left Will you make a second item for the jam? Oh, um, oh, ugh, oh, um, so here's the thing. Each cutout costs me at best around 30 to $50 each. At worst, medic cutout took, costed like $100 because all of my sister's paint expired and we had to get new paint. And... I don't think I will make another um, item. If I do, it has to be really small. It has to be like really small because it takes a lot of time to set everything up, do it. It takes like deer took three people to make. It was me, my sister and my dad. And because we had to set up, we had to set up like woodworking, like cutting. We had to set up saw blades and jigsaws and such. And we had to set up paint and it took a while. Um, it would have to be something small. It wouldn't have to be anything like extravagant. If anything, it would be like another cow. The issue is I don't want to make another cow. Um, this, make this doesn't make have to be a cutout, by the way. Maybe what I'll make is another one of the oral esque maps. Like when I tried to oh, make yes. when I when I made uh like maps like Perile and Vono Dietli and Oral. Uh all of those are meant to be like extremely experimental maps made under like a time constraint. Vono Dietli was okay, Perile was garbage. So uh Maybe I'll make one of those maps again, because those are fun, but uh, it would definitely have to be something that I'm like, that I want to do, so.
Maybe yeah. I will. Maybe I will make like a very quick map to put out. Another yeah. hypothermia. Let's go. Speaking of, okay, you... so oh god, hypothermia. I remember hypothermia. Yeah, wasn't it for a contest or something, or is it for jam? I'm trying to find hypothermia so I can answer that. Where is hypothermia? I. Oh, here it is. It's the. It's got the cow. Oh, here it is. I can very much tell because on the overview it says 72 hours. Just give me the two. So hypothermia I made in two hours, and it ended up being an okay map. Oh, speaking of making things in two hours, I, I rediscovered this uh, yesterday. Do you remember the April Fool's uh, MVM contest last year? Uh, last year, like Guardian Dynamica? No, no, the MVM uh, contest last year, April Fool's. Oh, yeah, that side won. You kind of won by default. I remember, uh, were you, were you one of the hosts for that, or the host? I was the host. I've been actually running, since 2019, I've been running all of the April Fool's game days. I'm actually going to do 2021, or uh, 2022. I'm going to be doing April Fool's game day again. I already have, like, graphics set up for it. Nice. Uh, I guess this is a sneak peek. This is a preview. Uh, I'm not going to announce it yet because it's still the jam. And, like, I'm probably going to announce it in, like, January or something. But April Fool's will return. But, uh, yes, I remember last year's, like, MVM section of the April Fool's contest. But, uh, yeah, because you mentioned making hypothermia in two hours. I sent you a mission that you, I made in two hours. You, yeah, you sent me a mission that you made in two hours for your work in progress production map. So oh, no, I think it was working. It was work in pro progress at the time. I always thought that was fun. It's work in progress again. I'm. I've gone back to it. <laughs> like almost two years later. Yeah. It's just. Casually remake it again. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah. Uh, any other questions from anyone? Any else from chat? If you don't say anything, I'm about to disappear into a void where I'll never be seen again. Well, it's true. So do it. We're gonna see you again in I'm, April. Yeah, I'm very natural at doing that. I love to disappear. You hibernate until April Fools, and then you get really active for like two weeks, and then <laughs> and then I and then I go dormant again. again, doing something else. That kind of, that just kind of reminds me of me just drifting in and out of like voice chats a lot. <laughs> I, I drift everywhere. I I called myself a drifter at the beginning of this interview, and I will call myself that again. But I've just I go from place to place a lot. I'm everywhere, but I'm also nowhere. I think that's yeah. that's all everyone has. So with that, I gotta thank you for coming in. Hey, thank you for bringing me on. Thank you for always making these high quality uh, IRL cutouts. <laughs> it was good to see. Eventually, all nine of the classes will be there. Oh, one Eventually. day. Eventually, and there'll be one-to-one -one scale someday. Is that a threat? Yeah. Eventually, and, we'll a... and there will be a bigger cow. You should this have a little uh, pressure sensor on them in a voice box, so when you shoot them, they go, ow! And a little hit <laughs> particle appears by the hit, you know, you can do that. I can you do shoot, that. You shoot them and they go, ma'am. <laughs> no wonder the medic won. Um, <laughs> I think that's, that's it, Ben. Yeah. Um, well. I'm, I'm going to go do what I said I was going to do and disappear into a void. Uh, thanks for having me on. Bye-bye. Pleasure having you. Oh, oh no, I didn't get to say it. Gone. gone. Well, we'll Sad. see them again in, uh, like, four months. Until then, uh, don't try and contact them. They won't respond. And we do have about 
10 minutes for me to interview Nisman. Nisman, who are you? That's a good question. I wish I knew. Okay, what have you made? So, okay, I, I'm Nesman. I'm senior staff at TF2 Maps. I joined back in mid-2016, 2015 era. Uh, I started playing this game in 2013 when it went free-to-play. Uh, so I've, I've been around for a little bit, but I haven't been around from the start. Uh, I've made a couple of maps. Uh, my most notable is probably Rumford, uh, followed by Laborde. Uh, all the others are okay, but they're not that great. And you are also a volunteer firefighter. Yeah, I do that too. I drive fire trucks occasionally. Very noble. Yes. So, quite fun and terrifying at the same time. We're going, we're going rapid fire here. Uh, but it's just occurred to me, I don't actually have any other questions. Oh. Okay, oh, I have oh. some. Yeah. So, Rumford. What about it? Rumford okay. was second place in Rosa Free contest, right? Correct. What can, what can you tell us about Rumford? So, Rumford... Uh is a three point not your traditional four point payload map with a uh alpine theme to it uh it is based actually in the state i live in which is maine up north in the woods uh in a town called rumford actually so that's why it's called rumford uh which has a paper mill so naturally i gave the map a paper mill theme uh, in the middle of the woods and it i stopped working on the board to actually make that map because i had the idea of oh i want to have an area where the train goes over uh like an out of bounds train goes over your playing area so i started with the courtyard and then kind of went from there and i didn't really have a plan i had like one sketch which was literally a line that i'm like all right this is the base path of the cart that's the base of the train. The arrows are the flanks and stuff. And yep, all right, onto it. Uh, do you want to talk about the hoodoo arc? Yeah, I don't know why people thought it was hoodoo, but everyone was has been calling it hoodoo uh, stage three because don't. point one, I guess, resembles hoodoo. Even though I literally didn't open hoodoo once while making that map, I, I think I opened. Uh, more community maps uh while looking for inspiration than any valve maps so I, i'm still kind of like okay i guess it's hoodoo or hoodoo um, is a community map too, though. yeah that's what i was gonna say yeah yeah but yeah i don't get that comparison yeah. either we're playing hoodoo like recently it is, it is not stage free it's like one specific <laughs> area yeah if anything it feels more like stage one of hoodoo so like yeah i don't get that comparison i mean i guess it can play like hoodoo sometimes but it, uh, realistically it it doesn't so so yeah from rumford technically did so Rumper has three points, but it has a turntable that acts as... Oh, uh, like, yeah. When I was designing the map originally, I was kind of like, you know what? I'm going to make this three points, but I'm going to add a turntable. So it basically is four points, but isn't. Like, my whole, my whole uh, jive to create this map was like, I'm going to piss a lot of people off by making this four points, but actually three points. It doesn't play like that whatsoever. There's a turntable in, inside, for those of you who haven't played the map, right after B, which acts as a delay mechanic, similar to Barn Blitz's uh, turntable choke right before uh, B point, except mine's right before last.
Speaking you also of lust, mentioned, uh, what was you Lost mentioned... inspired by? Uh, inside of a paper mill. That's all? Yeah. I'm not kidding, that's literally this. what it was based off of. I need to uh, tweak the theme to add more paper mill stuff, because right now, uh, the main complaint with the theme is it doesn't look like a paper mill enough, and I'm kind of like, yeah, you're right. Do I know what to add? No. But I'll figure it out. So, Laborg. Yeah. That uh, that map was my second payload map, uh, which I started it during. I started it like a week before they announced the payload contest, so I was pissed I couldn't use it. Uh, payload checklist. Yeah. So I was kind of like, man, that sucks. Whatever. So I kept making it. Uh, I've made thirty six iterations, uh, or no numerical iterations. There have been alpha iterations as well so like your a12b's your a12c's so in total i have made 48 iterations of that map and it's still an alpha and i'm still working on it because i i started to or i dropped working on that map to work on rumford and rumford's pretty much finished now other than you know minor theme tweaks and uh some more details i'm going to add like particles and all that fun stuff so rumford Actually, I based it off of Operandi, which Mache originally made, because I was playing their map uh, in a playtest, and I'm like, man, this Alpine theme kind of slaps. I'm going to do this. Yo. Oh, well, then you made the map snowy most recently. Yeah, no, I which mean... Which I think is probably a good call, yeah. to be honest. It, uh, Nisman, you know what you've done from that? What? Because I now own... um. Operandi. Yeah, when you want right. to finish that. Uh, eventually. I've got several things on my plate now, uh, <laughs> but it's been on the back burner for a while. I had been Are making it snowy themed. <laughs> and oh, now it's going to be something God. else, I guess. Oh, Hell yeah. After the past two years, we're going to have a rush of snow themed maps because that's all that Valve seems to be adding for actually normal maps now. Well, I don't, well you never know. I'll just. I on. want to have Rumford on the workshop uh, like by January or February just in case they do something for summer, but I doubt they will. Fingers crossed that something does happen for summer and sets precedent that maybe they will pick maps with no specific theme i just oh. wish they would do like uh csgo's um thing where they rotate maps out so you don't have like a hundred map well, there are over a hundred maps in the game so you don't have like a huge list to choose from because honestly when Hall halloween comes around it's uh kind of overwhelming to look at the queue list and i'm like man i gotta uncheck a lot of things yeah i think like it would help with like getting the maps that don't, don't get played well played and that much oh like yeah like attention. snowplow should totally be up in attack defense or control points yeah i don't it, yeah i don't know what people are confused about like the actual map it's it's snowplow is a attack defend with a train and then people think it's payload Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. That whole map was a whole different uh, issue. Without yeah, that's that, that's a completely different conversation. Is, that is a long story for another day. I don't know what else you guys got. So yeah, have you made anything for the jam? Uh, I haven't had time to do it because I've been doing the stream the whole time. Are you happy? Uh, but it, pretty much, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm working on it as well. I'm working on mine, like trying to rush it right now. I've been trying to make a, a three point attack defense map, but I literally only have blue spawn, first courtyard, and the first point. Nothing else. I might just submit it anyways, unfinished, just so I can get the medal, but I'd rather not. Yeah, I did that for one, one, 2018 with co-led. It's not even 
Make it one point AD. Yeah, I could make it one point AD just for shits and giggles. That is, I mean, people don't often try that. You could do it. It'd be interesting. I don't think, um, because I based first off a mountain lab, which I like mountain lab. So like, I I don't think mountain labs first would make a great last. Could try, but I'd rather do the three points like I wanted to because I kind of have a cool idea for it. You know, you start outside, go into a mountain, and then you come outside of the mountain to like a, a smaller base or something. Maybe a helicopter pad. I don't know. I haven't decided on it yet. Anything else? Any final questions here? Any, anyone from chat want to ha have questions? How, how, maybe something like how, what board is the board in that Labrador? Favorite theme. Uh oh. Ooh. That's difficult because I, I love Alpine, but at the same time, Snowy Alpine is also really good. I haven't tried like a farm themed map, like an industrial farm. That could be cool to do. You feel about desert in general? Yeah, desert's fine. I don't live near a desert, so I don't know what it looks like, so I can't really, you know, make a good desert from experience. I mean, neither. You live in New Zealand. Don't they have deserts over there? No. Australia has desert, but not with New Zealand. We've got forests, which is why mm -hmm. kind of one of the reasons I want to do like a cool jungle themed map but i tft doesn't work very well with like high density stuff so like actually making a proper jungle map is is difficult because it's you need to try and get that density yeah i don't know yeah. i'm torn between like alpine themed stuff or like i want to try desert because you can do you can make some really nice desert looking stuff yeah uh like Dust Bowl is very pretty. Anyway, I think now we are out of time. I am certainly uh, about to be out of time. So that's going to be all we have uh, for now. The stream will be back later, if I'm lucky, at exactly 14 hours, 14 minutes, and 40 seconds left. Uh, because I'm going to throw this stream over to 14-bit in a moment. I'm not sure what he's actually doing. Um, We're going to surprise him with like 30 people just showing up, so... Almost yeah. 40. Um, but I will organize this raid in just a moment. But... Uh, um, when we come that's back, we will we'll, we will be doing Jackbox. Yo, yeah. Nesman, I think, I think it, I think I, we, I think I want to just. Would you clarify how you how you pronounce Laborde? Laborde. It's Laborde. It's, it's not Laborde. Laborde. No, it's Laborde. Laborde. So Laborde is German for laboratory. Yeah, it's literally German for laboratory. I have no idea how the Germans pronounce it. I'm not fucking fluent in German. Uh, but it's Laborde, not Labrador. A Laborde. I don't know why people call it Labrador. It's, it looks similar smelling. It's not that similar. I mean, kind of. But not like a ton. Anyway, yeah. I accidentally cancelled that raid. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start this raid up now. And I'll send everyone over in just a moment. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to hit the BRB screen where you can see some of the things that people have been working on. And we'll be back in roughly six hours. Maybe not me, because it's 3 a.m. by then. Yeah, but uh, I'll be back, and we'll have Jackbox. A lot of fun. Bureau involvement, very cool.
Let's um, see if I can make it. Yeah. I'll see you then. No, I'm literally still drawing. Soon are we live yet? We are. Hello, Soon everyone. Are we live yet? Yes, are we live? we're live. Hell we yeah. are here. We're playing Jackbox. Awesome. We're what live. Oh, oh, I should mute the stream. Hold on. Wait, Where's the room code? Uh, I told you what the room code is. It's I have a bad memory. We can't say it Alex, now. Alex, this send is your fault. Send, send it to me. I don't know what you it is. Know. I told what you, you mean, what it was. You should have uh, listened and then put it in. I was, I was oh, trying Alex, I got to make tricks. Just guess every room code until you get the right one. I'm putting in dog. But it is while we're using this. What? Wait, hang on. I have an idea. Wait, I found it. I found, no, Nevin sent it to me. We're good. We're oh, okay, good. good, good, good. Okay. Anyway. Uh, it's taking me so long because out, I decided to make the stupid mistake of filling I'm going in to the hair. Discord here. Um, hello, everyone. We're playing Jackbox. Uh, you are able to participate. Um, if you would like to play, hop into the 72 hour uh, voice chat on TFT Maps, and I can drag you into the studio. Um, and then I'll let you know what the room code is. And you can get in. Uh, everyone else, you'll be in the audience. Anyway, I'll put just go back on now because Nissman's trying to be donations. Uh, magnetic metal, not metal. Uh, five ninety nine from Earl. Happy jamming, everyone. Happy jamming to you. Five dollars from Zila. Five dollars from Ethan. Love this game so much. Five dollars from Mr. Cowie. Eight dollars from Master Dizzy. Much love to y'all. Ten dollars from Sethy Logical. Two hearts. Five dollars from Zarnos. Five dollars from uh, Gadonwa. I said that right. If I didn't, I'm so sorry. We got it right. What other big ones did we have recently? According to Twitch, I am Mache the Fur. Okay. <laughs> $20 from Game Bun. Happy holidays. Ooh. Ooh. $10 from Eric. Smith. No, I wish it was. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Hello, crazy. Nothing um, I'm going to read. If you want to join in, in on this, no, um, Alex. Alex, I'm just being normal. I'm like two hour, two hour, seventy two hour jam voice chat, and we can drag you into the Even studio. Alex gets in and you can participate. Four more people. <laughs> Bro, there's so much room. Four more denizens. What in the world? This thing Grim is like, gremlins. we need your Twitch, we need your everything. We need your credit card. It's like asking for- Let me <laughs> in! <laughs> can you please scan your verification cam? You need oh, to- you have to- Oh, there they are. There you go. Okay. It, how do- what the fuck? You have to submit both. Frames for some animation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the room code on. Oh my god, it's giving me like a how-to tutorial on how to play Jackbox. Just skip, just skip. I did. <laughs> now if you fool, now you'll never learn how to animate. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna draw a rat. That's... Rats are good. That's a good choice. Good choice. Rats off to ya. I drew dragon. Except she's orange this time. <laughs> I think I'm in. I drew fur, of course. You got a smiley face, and what's the second thing you drew, Alex? A rat. I think it's a rat <laughs> with a paper hat. Yeah. Oh. Yay! Rat. <laughs> yeah, y'all oh, like, can see why mine took a while. <laughs> I'm gonna start as soon as I finish eating the sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Important. 
Very important. Loud subway. All right, but uh, <laughs> that could so be many long. things. Exactly. Do you guys have footlongs uh, in countries that don't use the American system? Yeah, it's still cool to put long. What the fuck? How do you measure it? Football. I mean, they, do you have a With meter stick in your house, Nessman? A meter is not a foot. Yeah, no, but do you have a meter stick in your house? No. Okay, well, this analogy doesn't work anymore. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> I was gonna say, they could still just have rulers. Like, I still have, like, three meter sticks in my houses. Houses? Why do I own multiple house? House. House. Okay, but imagine a meter long. I need it. Uh, how? And don't- I mean, besides slowly being the answer. No, I- I eat a lot of food. I take like two bites of food and I'm just like, most of is like, alright, I'm good. I'm about to go for 48 hours. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm realizing I haven't had like a restaurant sandwich in like a couple years and now I'm really craving one. Uh, aren't like half of the subway things like meats and breads not considered meats and breads? They're like sugar or something. Yeah. Something. It doesn't even have to be subway, but like some sort of like sub place. Anyway, uh, let's get started because I've finished my sandwich. Awesome. Yo. I'm gonna animate a sandwich now. Yo. Well, I think there's prompts, right? This is <laughs> da, 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 I'll make it work. Animate. Before we begin, let me impart some wisdom. Psych! Let's play! This is a one round game. Let's do this. I'll put out a last call for Jackers. Check your device for the title of your animation. It might be something unusual, like Muddy Swamp. Oh, or we're going. Fix of restitution. Your job is to draw an animation that fits your prompt. You'll get points for each player that guesses your what? prompt correctly. You're smart. You got it. Oh, wow. I... Who... This timer's going to end prematurely on me. It's going to throw me off so bad. I have no idea how to draw this. It's never too late to join the audience. Go to jackbox.tv and enter the room code. Whoever guesses this, I'm so sorry. Even bothering with like <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Oh, sooner you know what I should have done? I should have announced uh, the stream on Steam. You can still do that. Yeah. You can still do that, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Halfway through, please advance. I'm gonna announce it at Black frame. Wonder. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just kidding, it's me. <laughs> I think I did it.
Hey, who are we still waiting for? Three people. Ah, uh, okay. I <laughs> you got up so close to my screen in order to like see the last frame. Colors on my second monitor trash. I'm sweating bullets knowing I can't undo any mistakes I make. Yeah, that, that's honestly the hardest part. <laughs> You're drawing with a pen right now. <laughs> Nobody animates with the a pen. The animations are in. Let's check them out. My muscle memory is bound to hover over Control Z. Think about what this animation could be right. called and write it on your device. Oh, what? <laughs> Alright, guys, it's Drawful. Uh, Magic Bucket, this is Drawful Animate in the Jackbox Party Pack 9. Oh my gosh, I've just realized that the uh, the code is blocked I mean, on screen right now. Hang on, let me move this. Oh my gosh, that dog has a lot of legs. There we go, that's a bit better. Why does the TV remote look like a Wii remote? <laughs> Oh, you moved the bar down. Check these out and pick the one that you think is right. Oh, wow. Mm. I like the implications of Big Brother. And just to replace all the channels in the United States with Amogus. Everywhere you go. Okay, here's what happened. Wait, I didn't get to award any. Oh. Oh, uh, oops. Fuck. <laughs> Who would advertise a monger on TV? Oh my god. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Wait. What? In my defense, how are you supposed to define what? one channel when you have two frames? Yeah, that's raw. Yeah. Right. Think of a good title and I got write it heading down. points. On the very Cars. first prompt, and we're already at Mogus. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell what's happening in this image. <laughs> now we may be playing the other party packs, depending on I think they're uh, all just having a good how much time, time we end up here. I can't tell if they're eating something or if they have like their beards are falling beards. off. <laughs> it's early onset baldness, but only in the area around your mouth where the beards grow. And it's all happening at once. It just falls off. <laughs> I wish I, that I wish I had exactly that happen. They're all collectively shaving at well, once. Well, this is what the group came up with. The boys. <laughs> the boys. The, 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 the Amazon TV series. The boys. Peer pressure to grow a beard. I mean, the boys just like hanging out. Beard donations. Boy, I am psyched for hey. these reveals. <laughs> Three sussy boys. <laughs> we already had the sus. Everything will now be sus. What kind of sauce? No. Uh, what kind what of sauce do you balanced. like on your sandwiches? Mayonnaise, mustard, ranch. Ranch it up. Uh, you guys ranch. Like I'm missing good chicken. I Chicken bacon ranch milk. Ooh. The boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. <laughs> oh, you got audience points. I got the audience, audience points. Yo. There's no oh, way. No. no. Yes. <laughs> Two in a row, oh. baby. I pure swear to God, it's peer pressure. It is. Oh my God. Serious? That is ridiculous. You are cheating, Suna. <laughs> I might be. How? Hacked into the mainframe. Enter your title now. 
<laughs> That's a great question. What is it? <laughs> Speed the animation up. <laughs> I will. Oh. Keep forgetting that most of this is just writing, and occasionally we get to draw. Uh, we have a couple actual artists here, and then Correct. Alex. I am yeah. not an artist. Are you kidding me? I'm looking at a masterpiece. <laughs> it's crushing all, it's all the blue Skittles. Just, <laughs> like, just hog them all. Wait, they're blue Skittles? The blue what Skittles. Spread, I think they're blue hey, Skittles. What I could say blue M&Ms. What flavor is blue? Banana. <laughs> <laughs> that last one is so specific. It's like... Detailed. Oddly specific. These all say the same thing in slightly different ways. <laughs> the only one that's different is hot candle. Okay, this is stressful. I want to trust my gut, okay, but I, I, I don't trust. I don't trust anything right now. I don't I do either. Trust. <laughs> when I was typing mine, I got the yours is close to the real answer. Ah. Fuck. No wonder. Yeah. So I did type exactly what someone else typed. Oh, Damn. so many things. Sorry, hon. Uh, okay, so oh, I can I can imagine what it is then. Oh, <laughs> you got him. Got him. Got him. I almost thought it was that one. What? Wait, that felt too what? specific. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> too specific. Yes. Dude, I- it was so specific, I was like, no one's gonna be that specific for an answer. Yeah. I- I can think of some people here that might be. I can't even metagame the game, because the game's metagaming me. Yeah. Oh. Yo! <laughs> I just threw away all my chances at points for a joke. <laughs> I, I didn't even Wait. think about it, I was just instantly typing. For anyone who's joining us late in the audience, uh, you might be noticing our reactions are delayed by about four seconds. Uh, that's because we're we're watching it on Twitch, so there's a bit of uh, encoding latency. I'm th I'm telling you, this is why you should like screen share it. Yeah. So we have less latency. I I'll, have, I'll do screen share. Better audience. Do it for the kids. I have to well, open like another to... screen now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it means we won't have to mute the game. Well, I mean, I can just cover Discord with this new screen. This is what we're working with. Go. Oh shit, I'm supposed to be doing something. Come out. When do the medals come out? When do the medals come out, though? Never. It is in the forum post. Now. Yeah, but I'm gonna ask oh, anyway. The J am. Voted for what? <laughs> Let's find out. The J The J That has to be worse than Nesman. Oh, wait, no. Because it actually spelled right. Oh. No. <laughs> yes. Yes. Alex, how are you so good at lying? I don't know. I'm just Am. <laughs> Dream hype? No. Stream Bruh. hype. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's a new holiday for Inside Kids. What, is, uh -huh. what does Inside go. Kids mean? It was? Wow. Oh my God. Get pranked. S Suna and Alex are cheating. <laughs> I'm just here. Yeah. I'm winning. I'm just vibing. Okay, That's I'm just vibing. Similar in what is this? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, 
Hallo. Hi, ich bin. Jo. Hallo. Spark, wake up. Ready to game. Alright, Goblin, Goblin, Goblin. Not a Goblin, Goblin. Not a Goblin. Here's what we're working with. We got four out of six Goblins. <laughs> This one is so oddly specific. Oh. They're all oddly specific. Alrighty, let's see what you did. I feel like such a fool anytime I go for the wrong answer. Oh, I'm about to feel Same. like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel a little silly? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the the, the damn the end. <laughs> no. No. I, this one's wrong, isn't it? Oh my god! I succeeded at what? <laughs> no. Yikes. Okay, I can see the dizzy now, but what did he succeed? I don't know how to make a go. I don't know how to like display a goblin succeeding. Uh, draw it's a like, trophy. It's like not only I, do you have to tune in to like what things the Jackbox team would have written, but you also have to tune into their humor. Is that Rick Sanchez and the bear from Five Nights at Freddy's? Rick Sanchez? Oh, it's Rick from Pawn Stars! Oh! <laughs> from Pawn <Point> Stars? <laughs> Actually. But what are they holding? Is that a vape? I think those are legs. I can't tell. I like the bear's eyeshadow. It is very well done. Although when in this frame with their eyes are like closed, it, gets, it looks like just like dark sockets where the eyeball is supposed to go. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween. Pawn shop buys my legs. These are your choices. Some of them are good. I want to see what Double Down does, even though I'm definitely wrong. I think it means you get more points if you get. But do I lose more points? Probably. Or does it give the person more <clears throat> points if the, I? It gives it. them more points, probably. Oh, someone's about to get a nice charity donation for me. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I just click the first thing. Uh. By the way, this one's mine. I didn't pick it because I, I didn't know what predominant meant. <laughs> That's I supposed to be that. me. <laughs> Selling my No. That's supposed to be me. Oh, what? The audience oh. wins. That's drawful, baby. I'm glad I recognized it was Rick from Pawn Stars, though. Best I can do is $20. Wow, I'm so tiny. Ugh, I did it. Preaches. Alex, the rat. No one oh. likes this, Nesman. Sorry. <gasps> ah! Alright. I'm gonna quickly hit to the BRB screen uh, before we move on to the next game, but it'll just be for a moment.
fucking hell. That is wild. Oops, wrong screen. Oh, I can't wait till we get to the review part of everything. It's my favorite part of the jam. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, by the way, if anyone wants to, to go through everyone's join, and stuff, oh, up into the normal 72 hour tomorrow, jam. Oh, That'll there you fun. are. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we are. Mind. So we might do it then, too. Uh, but yeah, hop into the normal simple like hour jam. I need the stream, uh, PC, uh, and we'll which stream open anymore yeah. if we got the screen share open. I have it open because I have to moderate chat. Hey, radar hit. Greetings. Uh, the room code is... If you're ready to put it in, uh, you need to be logged in through Twitch. Uh, through Twitch? Oh, I Hold on just a moment. I need to turn to you up. That. Yeah, yes. Turn my microphone, it. my uh, my mic sensitivity is weird. I don't think I've heard your voice before. I have not yeah. either. It's a very lovely voice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's a pogger's voice. <laughs> it's very soft and friendly sounding. Oh, nice. Nice, man. There we go. Uh, looks like okay. Zyth and I'm... Ali finished the 72 hour entry. I, oh, did they actually? I am, no. I am, nice. I, I am logged in now. Nice. Okay. The room code is GBXP. Wait, your brain XP. Why did you. Oh, phew. See? Yeah, yeah, there we nice. go. I mean, the stream's on a delay, so they'll hear it first. We can send encoded messages into the future. I could also just disable my microphone as well. Uh, but whatever. You honestly, I mean, you could just show the code without saying it out loud. How does this work? To this sacred mountaintop, seeking answers from the all knowing wheel of enormous proportions. Oh, I played this. Is this a trivia game? Any one question that torments your very soul. Should you be chosen, your longing for truth will be satisfied, and your life forever changed. Spooky. <laughs> Why do I feel like multiple people did the same joke? I put a very... I, I did a very specific joke. <laughs> I've never played this game. I have no idea what's about to happen. Oh, you're in for a ride. Oh, here we go. I've played all the party packs. So it's, it's wild. I've like Jackbox like maybe three times before. Jackbox yeah, this, one, this one's quite silly. Fuck. Alex? If you can't oh, come I'm up here. with a good uh, question, we'll get you something random. Better than nothing, right? Oh, I spelled it wrong, whatever. Excellent. Oops. The wheel of so, enormous well, now know which one's yours. will see you now. Hello, oh, we it. The waitress at Applebee's is. told you I possessed infinite wisdom, but you'll only What's find two parties if you win at my trivia What's game. What's an apple? You're going to take Bees? turns spinning me. And you get points if I land on your slice. Earn 20,000 points, and you'll be able to spin the winner wheel. But not just anyone can spin me. You have to prove yourself first! What? No, I don't. You oh, have good. the chance to win points thanks to these two slices. A pizza? But your odds increase when you have more of them. So we're gonna earn some by doing trivia. Starting oh, right now. Oh, trivia. I'm not very good at trivia. Oh, is that no. One? Yeah, it is. What are the official Pokemon types? There's like what? a bunch Just of them. Tap on the ones what? that fit the prompt. <laughs> okay. And hey, if you're in the audience, vote for the player you think will do best. If the majority of you pick the best player, you'll earn a special slice of your own. Where are we going in the grounds? Oh, we're going out of the ground, I see. We what? This one's fairly you easy, I think. All of the ones that are correct. Select all correct uh, answers. 
I Welcome think to the so. SATs. I'm realizing now that my question doesn't work the way this is set up. <laughs> oh no. Hey, no, it'll just be a cryptic answer. Fuck. I'm this now minute, really hoping... man was Googling I, Pokemon I, types. I, I know, I don't, I've never Wait, played Pokemon. Wait, how do I submit? I can, tell you, I can tell you one thing. It's definitely it's not caffeine. You gotta go. You gotta go yeah. right now. Just pick uh, random. Enough that I might fucking be. did. I love grandparent Pokemon. Well. <laughs> oh, please. What did so I miss? We were looking for. There's a button down How did you compare? Yes. Oh, I did amazing. Everyone that answered <laughs> got them all. <laughs> <laughs> nice guess, audience. You get a slice. Audience gets slices. You... Good job, audience. How can you be smart like that? Take a slice. You're welcome. I so. We're gamers here. Let's keep up this momentum with question two. Which of these are soccer positions? Oh, Jesus what? Christ. Oh, I fucking heard it. <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. Tight end. Need football no. Positions. Sorry, rest of the world. America. Tight end. Standing. Tap the answers that fit and totally go. I don't think these don't. are real words. I don't know these. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, the short stop TF2. Uh, I don't go outside. Oh, okay, okay. My browser oh, was too zoomed in, why I asked so I didn't have a submit button. Instead of making you joust while riding tigers, I didn't realize there was a sure submit have. button at the bottom. Yeah, it was, it was not showing on my browser. Yeah, like I didn't know there was a rock type either in that last one. It was, I had to scroll. I, d d uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad I played soccer. I'm just I'm guessing. Peter. I, took a, I took a guess based on knowing that Mario Magic. Super Strikers Magic. exists. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I've oh, never played it, I just know it exists. I know a good handful. Good job! Provided you I feel like I got this. too wrong. But is that what you oh. said? Oh. That's a lot. What? Damn. Wait. I thought some of those really? were the only things so I didn't pick so. poorly. Nice Never job. been. What oh, happened? No, um. You're making your parents. Yeah, Jackbox doesn't doors. know shit. Total Striker is a, a position. Is. A boom. It depends on you your think layout, I didn't really. Your high score. Then think again. Depends on map you're playing soccer on. Yeah, it depends if you're running three four three. If you're running four four two. Okay, last I completely question guessed round. that. You're yeah. gonna type answers for this one. <laughs> oh boy. What I was gonna say, don't each, forget to wipe. syllable common words only. Do we have to type as many as we can? There are yeah. 11 correct answers. Try to name them all before time runs out. This word makes your whites whiter. Oh my god, I hate English. I don't... Mm. Bitch. <laughs> Y'all are just like typing things. I don't things. know. I... Oh wait. Okay. Those oh. answers in. Type quick. Dang. Oh, I just thought of two right at the end. Oh well. Here are the irrefutable right answers. Leech, oh. screech, eat, no one got speech. Else, you so many bees. Oh dang. I forgot there was two beaches. Oh, who else thought of beach? I'm sad. I was proud of that one. <laughs> I didn't think to go for multiple I I got words it. of the same one. My decision yeah. is you. Me too. The time has come. Like I've partially got an advantage from yeah, being nice. on keyboard. Maybe you've heard of the power slice. It gives you power to spin me. Oh, and the spinning. Oh. Let's go do that. Oh. I'm spookied. So what about those questions we asked? Yeah. Look at yeah. Here. They come into play at the, at the very end. and score you some points. Choose the slots on my face to socket your slices. Something about the way this but guy says this. slice. You share the points with everyone who it's shares just... a slot with you. Makes me want to eat him. 
like the slices. But what about the Fuck. audience, right? They have two slices this round to stir up trouble. It's trouble? Oh shit, I only submitted two, not four. Oops. Nice job. I think I... Economical. Oh. You're gonna take turns spinning me. And I've decided that you Yo. will go first. All right. Don't screw up. Swipe the wheel on your device to spin. What did you get the power slice do? If that's more your thing. <laughs> You've got a power slice on the board. What does that mean? Go, just spin, go. Uh, you get more power slices every spin that it doesn't land on the power slice. It's fun to and share points. Wow. Like it, it spreads across the wheel. Uh, as, as soon as that happened, Skyfox donated ten dollars to Tilt Thank one. you, Skyfox. No oh. spinner. I'm not dizzy. I promise you. How about yes. that? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you spinner. paid yourself. <laughs> I did. Spinner, more like a winner. Hey, give Yo. me some points, please. Slowing down. Ask nicely. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, multiple winners get to be happy. Chicken. 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 Oh, okay. Chicken. <laughs> Your spins have filled up my spin meter. And so we've come to this one last At least I'm not doing as bad as Nesman now. Make oh, this one no count, pressure. Last spinner. I mean, you get a few points down there. Down I get a crumb of points. A slice that gives you hey. points? Who comes up with this? Yo, stuff? that's a lot of points. A full slice. Sharpen. Wow. I'm high I'm in the lead. On a different axis. What? Oh, looks like I can double as a scoreboard. Isn't that unusual? You need at least 20,000 points this to win. This is weird. There's a lot of points. I would yeah. love some more points. I wish right. I could double as a scoreboard. You know what would be crazy? 1,800, let's go. I two new slices, just because. Slices. Thanks. Wait, I'm vegetarian. Can you take I'd these like back? I'd like to introduce you to question one. No. No. What colors are in a 12 pack of Crayola crayons? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, easy. Oh, God. Like, oh, easy. Or... Easy. Tap the answers that fit the prompt. Makes sense to me. This is really easy. Watch, I say it's easy and I don't get any right. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> don't, don't ask. I don't know. I have not seen one of these. In uh, uh, it's been a long time since I've used Korean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw that there were 12 now answers and nearly put all 12. <laughs> no. Yellow Low green. score. Oh, bullshit. Yellow green is the color. It but it's not color. in it. But it is. Um, they probably put green, green, green yellow in there. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's that's what they get here. Imagine a second question. Let's call it question two. This game is. Oh, you need to scam. answer this question. <laughs> oh, great math. What is the seating capacity of the Royal oh, Albert I don't Hall think that's math. <laughs> what? what? Well, thank All goodness right, it is math. Answer with the keypad on your device and then tap submit. The player closest to the answer is who you want to be. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where this is. I don't even know what the fuck it is. Uh, I don't know, maybe in London? <laughs> nah, it's probably in uh, like, Germany. Canada, London. Yeah, Canada, London. Go with that. So or London, Canada. Were, but the correct answer is... <laughs> nice, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I had a feeling I was gonna oh. be off by a lot. <laughs> I'm oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. How can that be? Oh. Yeah, the six nine six nine's got points. One test Let's isn't go. enough. Woo! Get for in doubt sixty nine. I'm gaming. Question three. Those years of watching Jeopardy are, are totally failing me. <laughs> How many answers will you get on this one? Which substance is more expensive 
per cocaine. Cocaine. Okay. <laughs> many. Tap as many correct answers as you oh. can before time runs out. Mm. What? Uh oh. Oh my god. Tap a few more before time runs out. <laughs> I can't get anything right. Oh. And Why am I so bad at 50 50? God oh damn my it. god. I got third. I got oh. four. Ooh, I got two. Oh, I this was off the mark this that. time. You did again? get two. Oh no. Good job, the Nespins. You. Oh, now I'm in the last. Can I get some pity? <laughs> Big scary wheel. Hey, your pizza's here. The answer hey, you see is here. just a few spins Ow, away. My nose. Ow. What the dog? Just my own nose. <laughs> Would it be weird if I had a set of bushes trimmed in your likeness? Asking for a friend. Well, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the slot with arrows gives points to you if you're next to it. If you all crowd around it, the pot will be spread thin. Yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna put all my points next to it. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Oh, you can stack your slices on top of each other. Oh! Yeah. Oh yeah, get yeah. two more points. I did not know that. That's ballsy. <laughs> oh, I got two slices that are just mine. The first spin of the round goes to you. Ooh. The entirety of TF2 maps. Oh, three slices that are just mine. <laughs> TF2 maps lend your power the to the wheel. Grandkids about. That's fun for everyone. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh. It's Until the two people with the best points. Oh. <laughs> I got cocked on that one. Will Sad. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. Mm. I just realized I was watching the Twitch stream and it's not. What happens if no one gets to twenty thousand? Oh, yo, did I get points? We get there eventually. Uh, I think you. Oh, have it doesn't let you spin it in the opposite eventually. direction. No, I'm saying, what if no one gets to oh, twenty thousand? We got to. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. You gain points of Points only you. go up. They don't go down. If you don't Ooh. go to, 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 I don't know, you go to jail. I'm saying the jail. points. I'm saying if the points are spread out too thin, and at the end of the, the last of spin, is about uh, that one has twenty thousand. Well, That's then you do I'm another round. About. Hell yeah! You split the sun the god with on a slice uh, next to this comes one. to your house, takes you to jail. Oh, you like Ooh, literally spin. split Let's the on a high note. I see. Give it to me. Give me these points. Like it's your last Give me around. these points. Fingers Give crossed. Lock on wood. I don't want the points. Oh. No. I don't come on, come on, come on. Yo, let's go. Are you kidding? I have so slice. many of those. Oh my god. <laughs> Six, nine, three, nine. It was so oh close. Oh, you beat me. Oh, I feel limber like a lynx or some other mountain dwelling cat. Spin what? me as many times as you can. I'm bursting with points. <laughs> Wheels of freight. Wheel. Why are there so many oh. spin slices? No. What? Yes. This just keeps spinning. Yo. Yo. It's cool. I guess you could just not spin it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Quirky. You have to get to 20,000. You're not going to get there. I've never seen this oh, game so this there. Before. He got there. Oh no, he didn't. Almost. Almost. One more. We're getting there. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Okay, he then. just barely Let's got just it. Let's continue at a more mild pace. Oh, you cock. <laughs> With that point total, you can finally spin the winner wheel. What if you don't win though? That'd I'm be kind of funny. Oh, that'd be pretty funny. Slices, then you win. This but one takes too skull, long. The game continues. Oh, okay, you can so I'm win still in right now. Fuck it up. Give us a no, snake. I wanted to like eject you out of the game instantly. That would be hilarious. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh this game sucks. Throw it away. Throw it in the trash. Now, what was your and question? So your finally time Nesman is bestman. Alright, let's hope question. you ask something cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, finally. The truth. 
He's just gonna say, I don't know. I've been wondering. Crash. Oh, this take is a inspiring result. Hold I see now, it's all it's all so dear, clear. Little one. That's so oh. true. If you take a nap, just dream about your map. I want someone to put in the question, just FB quit this. I put the, I put the question, okay, but when do metals drop? Oh. Oh. Wait, everyone's oh, once again, oh, yeah, we'll get everyone's questions. Oh, don't look at my question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do we do with middles coming out? Wait. Chicken. Is there oh, a way to, like, my question just go through. like that? Or is it part of the joke, you know? How is he right? Who is truly <laughs> among <laughs> us? Who is truly among us? Who is truly among us? My I my question was like, what's Rumford? But I spelled Rumford wrong. Wait, what? What, what? what is Rumford? Rumford. Oh, yeah, I just yeah, got disconnected. You drag your name. Uh... Oh. I'm jealous of the D20. That's like a good one. Or is that a t That might be a D... That doesn't look like a D20. This looks like a paper hat. So I'm gonna use that. D12, maybe? It just doesn't... Doesn't want to let me, uh... Oh, Thank you, now it does. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Work. Let's in. All right. This is the one you make shit up other people's words, right? Yeah. Welcome, potential hires. We're thrilled you I love for this, this character design. Employment opportunity. Oh, you capitalism. Guess, I'm the boss <laughs> around here, but I like to think of myself more as a buddy. Specifically, the water buddy. cooler. Water? Hydration. Okay. Someone will get that. I don't want to ask about them all. Remember the hydrants. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's a whole Shout bunch outs of to water. And only one job. Shout outs to Harry. Stressful for me. That's why I developed a revolutionary new hiring. Oh, process. I miss word art. I'm going to interview you all at once. Word art. You to I love it. Oh, I feel more relaxed already. Deborah, clear my calendar. It's time to get to know our candidates. Oh yes, My there's so much word art. Always oh, to get, get the J. <laughs> and I expect us to be best friends. So let's get started. I'm gonna send some icebreaker questions to your device. Answer them any way you want. There are no rules except this one rule. Chicken. You gotta use at least five words, okay? If you're no good at chit chat, you're no good to me. That's my first rule of management. Oof. There's two prompts, by the way, don't forget. There are three prompts. <laughs> um, why was there a fish in the water machine? Did... Or we were drinking that. Water. Don't question it. You 
should be halfway done now, okay? I'm all the way done. I'm just it's... sitting here. Fire I'm done too. I'm done. Free. <laughs> Impact, learn from your view of. <laughs> Me when <laughs> this is honestly me when your mom, <laughs> me when your, mom. <laughs> your girl with your you me <laughs> me you me me yo me, oh yo oh me, leaky ears me when your mom me when your mom yeah what's you. she water wait, wait 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 is she in the water or is she yes. Don't ask the Kool Aid Man. Like, if you feel the Kool Aid Man with, like, lemonade, would he still be the Kool Aid Man? No, he wouldn't. He would be the Lemonade Man. So that implies the Kool Aid Man is the Kool Aid inside of the Kool Aid glass that moves. So he's just a man. Oh, so it's a board of Yeah, he's just a man now. Without the Kool Aid, he's just a man. Yo, that's the part. That's the ship captain from an earlier Jackbox game. Raider head free up. Do you just get fired immediately if you don't answer her questions? I got it. I got it. Great. Let's put these in our filing system. That's my filing system. I own the place now. I'm moving Shredder. up in the world. Why did you get such a horrible filing system? Experiment That's what we do with the bad jokes. Uh, look at that clip art. Interview questions to your device. Yo. But instead of typing your responses, you'll be using words from your fellow interviewees to answer the questions. Impressed? Oh, oh someone's gonna get some very fun ones. To add it to your oh. response. If you make a mistake, tap the word again to remove it. You can also drag words around to rearrange them. I think whoever got mine right might have a good time. You say, then quit complaining. I give a baby this bottle. <laughs> the first thing you manage is go with the baby. I get this. Okay. This is fun. Oh, that's a lot of words. I did the that is a lot. Oh. Uh. Have? Uh, an entire minutes. minute. What the fuck? Yeah, mine as well. I, I got kicked so out. Now, okay. You can rejoin because you already have a slot, I think. Okay. Yeah, you got 80 seconds to get back in. Okay, I'm back in. Oh. Oh, okay. behind the slaughter. <laughs> oh, there's more than one question. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I think I got some stuff from the Shays. <laughs> Yeah, you could definitely tell. Time's almost up. The clipboard of shame. I just random words. 
<laughs> Show me what you got. How do you normally oh, start the sales pitch? Hey, hey, hey. I don't want to be better than either, but as a test, why don't you You're empty, bro. Vote on your devices. Yeah. Oh. oh no. Hey, 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 you're happy, bro. You're gonna die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's kind of universally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so whoever gave me A is a fucking bro. That's like the best word you could use in any situation. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm not answering this as a good outlook on careers, because career yeah. success is their most exciting goal. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. Both That's a good co-worker. Oh. Cool. We're not here to be good co-workers, though. We're here to be... Hey, we're here to be bros! Hey, hey. Three separate people earns you an extra bonus. Chicken. Chicken. Make a run bird without an esme. Rainbow bumps. What's the worst Rain place bonus. safety tip you find most important? <laughs> Tornado. <laughs> no, neither of these fit the prompt at all. No. <laughs> Just like burr, burr, burr. Burr, 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 burr. Burr. Burr, tornado. Torna burr. <laughs> tornado of Ami Girl Fall. What's the biggest thing you'd bring to our Tornado. <laughs> <laughs> I like this game. This is my favorite this game on the so pack. I like this one. It's pretty good. Game so far. Good ones. Hmm. I'm good with hook shoes. Period. Period. HR department at your last job say about you. Oh no. Oh, they said oh. Cute with round glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want someone that's cute or someone who's gonna be chill if it's a pizzeria game? <laughs> right. I really like the accent of the last one. I know you're in a game. In <laughs> children's pizzeria oh, yeah. or something. None of mine have been voted for. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I appreciate the answer you put, though. Thank you. Children's pizzeria game. <laughs> Children's pizza for you. What do you like to listen to? Chuck E. Cheese. Alex, I was Chuck E. Cheese treating you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Everyone should pass out. I only just want to watch. Garden Hose Noses sounds like a fucking album. I was out of words in good album. 10 seconds. I was just uh, Garden Hose Nose. <laughs> Self critics die. I really like the critics die. How would you end a meeting that's gone on for too long? Oh god. Oh. I dance and tap around. I tap on and on and. <laughs> Bro, 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 unless you were Yaxin, it's vid A. You just, you just walk up to the other dude and go, bro, bro, bro. Unless you're Yaxin, it's vid A. Bro, bro, bro. bro, bro. bro, bro. No. 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 Come on, bro. Oh. Come oh. on, oh, dude. Bro. How's it going? Hey. How's it going, bro? My name is. No. It's an underappreciated skill, and today. I did not speak his name. Hmm. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> I like the idea. <laughs> what? Corporate hustle for game money. Giant scuba gear tornado. Scuba gear tornado. <laughs> wow, that gave a lot of points to Nesman for one yeah. vote. I see you rated the question for some extra words. Just about any text you see on your device is fair game. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> that actually would have yeah. been really helpful. <laughs> that was a truly brilliant display. Let's see who's my current That favorite. was an amazing killing spree. <clears throat> By the other team. Oh, no. 
Jeez, yeah. All these numbers oh, are I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> Let's cool up with some icebreakers. That's only round one. Oh, it's like three see, rounds. Never know what will happen. I managed to make a comeback from dead last last uh, game. I don't like the idea of a pipe with muscles. I kind of just want to put pudding. funny words you know and see what people can do with them. I don't have a red book in a long time. Answer, he knows I want more of this to answer. I want to give more words just as like options. Mm -hmm. That desk just Fair enough. something. Everything in this place is alive, so yeah. But I supplied some fun words for some people. Thank you. I think I did too. <laughs> I'd hope so, at least. Boldness be the butter. What? Boldness, be the butter. I will, I will be the butter. Be the butter. Be There's all fishes there. Be the butter. butter. I don't realize that's a half dozen eggs. Bigfoot Barrow in chat says the disc is lo fi. This is exactly mm -hmm. what I hoped each True. of you would say. Provided. Good, uh. <laughs> Round two of questions. I don't know. This time, I want to know how you would handle some tough workplace scenarios. Remember, you can use any word you see on your device in your answer. Try to get more people watching if the so, math test was not also going on. It's fine. Tap it a whole bunch and use it we again peaked at like 30 when I announced it, and I think everyone was like, me. Okay. Yeah, oh shit. god, this is a problem. Oh my god, there's like. 40 words. There's like so many smiles. I got things. hardly any words, and most of them are in all caps. <laughs> These are scuffed. Oh, I think I know. Okay. Oh, this is so scuffed. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, this is scuff. Okay. <laughs> This is fun. It's hard, but it's fun. This is cursed. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Oh. Oh. They have oh, replacement like heads. Oh. Yeah, what flavor is this one? Um. Grape. <laughs> the flavor of this one is <laughs> chemicals. Oh, flavor. Grape juice. Gerb. Gorp. 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 I'm really, really proud of one of my answers. I'm... Oh, the eyes are attached to the glasses. No. I hope I would have submitted my last one. What do you I didn't get to finish it. Them know you're off the clock. These are so good. <laughs> Yo, who wouldn't want to kiss Eric? This round yeah. <laughs> oh, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to punch Rumford? That one is so good. It's so good, dude. Oh. The new hire seems super cool. Eric Smith. What do you do to make them the beautiful man, this? Rip. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Fuck training. <laughs> I, I want you drunk. Disappoint me. <laughs> hey. Um, <laughs> it's literally ending. Thank you, thank you. God sent you whoever put quotes in there. The office holiday party is getting a little rowdy. What do you do? Oh. Oh. Your mom. <laughs> Luigi party. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> I like why NFTs. <laughs> Luigi party. <laughs> Luigi. Luigi party. <laughs> Luigi party. No. Aww. I'm starting to not like this game. Synergy. I'm Aww. sorry. No one has a way of knowing whose it is until after they. The company has enter. laid off the custodial staff and implemented a chore wheel. How I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, though. <no. laughs> <laughs> Adele. <laughs> This is very, very good. That's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> like an insane person. <laughs> was that the one you're proud of? No. I was oh. just I forgot I said that one in. <laughs> Not my lasagna. Lasagna. No. Lasagna cat. I hate Mondays. Your girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a train. Oh my gosh. Just take the lasagna out the carpeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, your girl. Your girl take the lasagna. Me. Drag. Say you need extensive training. A crime. How do you evade the authorities? Well, why is this happening in the workplace? Chef Boyardee's anything but a crime. Remember that. I like how it's a threat now. <laughs> that that remember the thoughts. <laughs> You should have gotten Batman to bail you out. <laughs> it's bring your child's birthday and Jerry's son won't stop bothering Jerry? you. What do you do? I really hope there's punch, Jerry. Who <laughs> 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 the fuck is Moon Moon? <laughs> <laughs> do you not know who Moon Moon is? Did Jerry name his son Moon Moon? <laughs> Jerry, no. I'm gonna support industries. Just really love you are punchable. Yeah. Synergy. <laughs> oh. 
I am comedy. It's me, man. What's got you so angry? <laughs> I'll never tell. Oh no. Why is that related to work? <laughs> 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 Where is everyone dying? <laughs> oh my god. Two tons of me. Is that implying the furries died with everyone or that they're the only ones that lived? That'll be fucked up. <laughs> they are the ones uh, that decide the fate of humanity. They're, they're suits. Uh, Hell yeah. Explosions. I was proud of India. Yeah. Aww. Synergy. Synergy. Perfect. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Absolutely synergized. Really well. Just kidding. Let's look at the scores. Wow, it really feels like a oh, workplace. Rude. This is the grind set right no. here. No. Sigma. Boy, if I were you, I'd be real nervous now. How about one more I'm icebreaker? I'm gaming. Keep things light. <laughs> They're not icebreakers anymore, Bethany. Don't overthink it. Just put down whatever enters your mind. Oh, the Unless word art's coming out in full strength. Stage actor oh. Henry Irving, not a fan. Henry Irving. Oh, you only get to type one thing. This could be the game-changing moment. <laughs> I like the smelly face balloons. Half your time is up. Think outside the... the, 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 the <laughs> periods. <laughs> I mean, thinking outside of the the, you have to think outside of the the, the they put in the 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 because you're thinking about the the the, not inside the the the, the outside the the the. Okay, how many edibles are you on, Flippy? I only had half an edible. Damn, that's sad. Wisdom, work hard, death big. We got seven dollars from Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. Yo, shout out to Christopher. Yo, Chris. Thank you, Christopher. Yo. I don't know how long ago that donation was. I haven't been watching, but thank you. It was just now. I can't believe Christ donated. Yo. Yo. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Gaming. Okay. It's the final round, and it appears final we're missing round. something. Your resumes. Oh, this is new. I tried to print them out, but Greg oh, was this is gonna be so bad for me. But you know what? I don't need resumes. Just finish the personal statement that's already started on your device. No pressure, but this is your last chance, and there's a I lot of I am cringe. I want based. Gave me words, gave me a lot of good content <laughs> words. <laughs> I hope it wasn't me. Thighs? Oh. Oh dear. really was unhinged with this one. <laughs> I think that might have been mine. Were there, were there a lot of capital words? My resume fucking sucks. Versatility and power potatoes. It's got a knife. What's that you have? I got like five ants. Power so potatoes. 
potatoes. Do these... Are these? If you can use all five hands. Are these like randomly generated, like motivational posters? I would fucking hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> oh, what is this guy? Bro, the heck and he even click on him. Hi. I had click a lot of options. Easter, right? is Chat, click this is very hard. Right. Run, 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 run. Butter. Coming big. <laughs> All right, we're already winning there. <laughs> oh, uh, on the lens. If only you could have flushed emoji. Oh. Butter, knife, juice. I don't like I don't know which one. But uh, I, 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 no, no, a no, dragon. No, no, no. I, the fact you got to use it, ooh, ooh, kind of wins it. I like the dragon. Yeah. <clears throat> it should be unless you donate to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Thanks. Good one. It's the final uh, round, so I'm upping the point bonus even oh. more. Whoever gave me a woo. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then oh, speaking no. of Kelp crying in Taco Bell? <laughs> oh my gosh! Perfect. I These are both so good. I'm fuckable really good. and I want head thighs. <laughs> head and thighs. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell- I really hope no one goes and actually makes a fucking cow crying in a Taco Bell NFT. Please no. I- oh, uh, no end. The so audience so is called. Cool. The audience is horny. Oh. <laughs> right, donkey. Oh, right, donkey. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean... Yeah! Story there. No, this is a story. <laughs> Who are you hiring, though? Kiss furries. Fuck, help! Fuck, help. Kiss all furries. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, Nesbin, why were you writing furries? I was just writing fucking words. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I am a kid. Jesus. <laughs> girl or drug? I am German juice! German <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a kid! Oh. <laughs> I'm a kid! Jesus! I heard him all say your girl or drugs. <laughs> German juice! Yeah. Uh, German I, juice! I, I, I feel that first one. I also want to go to bed. <laughs> Shit. I declare this interview. Oh. But, I, but I won't. Honestly, I could see myself sharing a cup of toner in the break room with any of you, but we got A cup pick of toner? One. What the fuck? Yummy! Oh! Gotta get the work day and going. Oh, oh, just oh, out of nowhere! Yo, oh. I didn't move. I didn't get last. Job goes to. I didn't go up at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knife it. Officer of urges and mergers. Urges? Welcome urges. to the Is that a good sound? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm managing. I'm managing what now? Six, sixty thousand eight hundred. That's a. Uh, that's pretty good. That seems pretty good. <laughs> well, it depends what the time frame is. I had like a good you first will. round and I failed. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Oh man. Now that we was fun. I like this game. one. This one's my favorite. This, yeah, this has been my favorite so far. Yo, shit. Yo, please send that in.
should have gotten mine. We should have swapped. Yeah. Uh, there's something I need to show on screen right now. Please. <laughs> Just the most beautiful arrangement of words. Josh or I have ever seen. Gonna <laughs> 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 go burn some bullshit. <laughs> oh, Georgie, I loved you. <laughs> I loved you in Oh Brother, We're Hot, though. I can't remember any other movies you were in. <laughs> what would be in my life? Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> the Germa Juice one goes off the screen. <laughs> come, yeah. come to of a mostly fucks punch or game for <laughs> That is just... I uh, okay, I need to see what the... Oh no, yeah. I didn't get to read. The prompt asked me how I would propose to George Clooney. The of the world's <laughs> most like, brilliant detectives, who, as yeah, that's happens, were also the world's most devious murderers. They had devised a unique competition where they earned points for solving crimes and points for committing them. Is this an Among Us? The detective was like equipped it. with two murder weapons. Look at the prompt on your device to see the first one you'll draw. But be careful. As a murderer, you also have a calling card. A letter from your own name that you must <coughs> include in your drawings. Do oh, your that's best cute. to oh. hide the letter as part of the image, like so. If your calling card is too obvious, your fellow detectives may spot it and trace the weapon back to you. Oh, okay. Oh, that's probably the only thing that's like a good drawn now. line, too. Oh, wait, how much time do we have? Oh, never mind, we have a lot of time, holy shit. Does the letter, like, appear in black or something? Oh. By the way, if you've played before, you can turn off tutorials in the settings menu. I promise not to take it personally. Some of these can probably just be traced back to some just because of how good the drawing is. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago playing this one uh, at home that you kind of want to draw bad, otherwise it completely gives you away. At least in my family, because I'm like the only person who can draw there. Yeah. So everyone's just like, oh, it's you. As you were. This is weird. <clears throat> I got such a. Sh I'm not creative enough. Oh, I didn't yeah. realize there was a prompt. <laughs> there is. There's a prompt. I'm so fucking dumb. Oh my gosh, there is. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay, even with the prompt, I still don't know how. <laughs> I'm the master artist. We've got a lot of time to draw this. I, I, had to go go back. I had to go back and make my drawings worse after the uh, <laughs> recommendation. Oh, you get a lot of time to draw these. I've... <clears throat> what the fuck? I just remembered I have Pepsi. And Zoom. Your 
Eureka! Eureka! I, d I don't know. <laughs> Your time's half gone. You should be starting your second drawing. <laughs> it's only halfway done. There's a second drawing? Yeah. Yeah. It's really atmospheric. This is like. Finding of Isaac main menu. Oh my gosh, Alex, you're still in the first drawing? Yeah. Oh, what? You know, I, I, mean, got, I, I got such a dumb thing. You've got like two and a half minutes, but. It's okay, I did it, I think. can't tell from the stream quality, but does my character just have, like, really red lips? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? That's some intense lipstick. Yeah. This is so bad. <laughs> Alex, you don't look like a killer. <clears throat> I'm not a killer. Wait, how does the how does the accomplice thing work again? What's the rule with that? Don't leave any clues to your own identity. Oh, just ask for your ridiculous name. Okay. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so if anyone sees Rumford. <laughs> Oh wait, Nesmo left. That joke doesn't work. Yeah. Crap! The one person! You think he left. But what if he's the accomplice? What if he's the imposter? The among I like my purple hat. I want your purple yes, hat. That will do nicely. And I'll be two buds. In time for the party. Hey, Everyone, Among Us. Your attention, please. Please welcome <laughs> our honorees for the evening, the world's greatest detectives. He wouldn't be so thrilled if he knew you like I do. I'm your host, Lord Tippett, and yes, this is my mansion. Oh, you brought gifts. You can set them down anywhere. Looks like one of your drawings is in the What the fuck? Just well. I wonder. These gifts represent every type of weapon you'll see this evening, and no detective draws the same weapon twice. It's a sassy oh, banana peel. Welcome your esteemed guests. Mm. Oh, hey, Nesman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Yo! <laughs> Sapo Goblin. What? Oh. Oh my god, the dev team's here. <laughs> the whole dev team. I remember Taco Bob. Taco Goblin. I'm much too rich for this sort of inconvenience. 
At least oh, wait, Potter Plane, plane is on the dev team. Sure I forgot. Any foul play. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. The janitor did it. Time to make your move. Choose a guest to murder on your device. Then guess which detective brought them to the ball. Use your knowledge of what your fellow detectives may have written, or simply take a stab in the dark. If you're the first to figure out who brought a guest, your murder is successful, but your weapon will be left behind as evidence. And be quick, the lights could come back on any second. <laughs> Oh. I'm starting to wish I hadn't sold my collection no. of fireflies. <laughs> I keep getting this wrong. Yo. Oh my god. Holy shit. I didn't okay, I didn't really know how to do this. Oh my god. You have to yeah, kill the guest and figure out who brought him over. This dance animation's kinda sick. I I oh can do it. God. Oh my god, they're all dead! Jumping Jehoshaphat! Six of our guests <clears throat> have been murdered! I'm giving each of you secret points for every successful murder. <laughs> and the longer you get away with it, the more you can earn. Mm. Well, at least the world's greatest detectives happen to be here. What a stroke of luck. To the crime Oh god, is this where the murder weapons come in? Aha! We found the murder weapons. Let's start by looking at just two of these instruments of death. If we look the machine? we can tell how many vicious attempts were made on each guest's life. And if you brought one of these guests, each of those attempts earns you points. Oh, those are some cute banana pills. This is odd. If I didn't know better, I'd say these <laughs> so weapons are the same as some of the gifts you all brought. How ironic. Unfortunately, we really only have time to solve one of these cases. That means the other murderer will get away, for now. Examine the evidence and talk through your theories. Choose the case you have the best chance of solving. Ah. Uh, oh. I'm going to investigate the murder of Dario Casali. Yeah, I want to avenge Dario. I don't know who the fuck Watson is, so... Watson, Apex Legends. <laughs> but I thought or their Watson. picture would be easier oh. to find what I'm looking for. I mean, probably. But or Dario. perhaps it's Watson, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Actually, I don't know. There's a bunch of different Watsons it can be. I'm more interested in that. I know Dario is. I don't know who Watson is. I can't go back. Yes, I can. Wait, does that extend the timer? No. So any any uh, murder that gets skipped now, we get a there's like a lightning round later. I'm letting you borrow where we go through all those. So we'll get back to the the uh, claw machine later. Device to move it over the evidence for a closer look. Now everyone hurry and vote for who murdered this guest. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I I can actually like inspect the art. Well, what part of the freak, like what part about this looks the most awkward? Like, why did they put these lines here? It's that it's got to be that line across the bananas, right? It's like they're. That, wearing that's what I feel like it might be. When time runs out, we'll be convicted. Oh gosh, it's, they didn't get a cursive letter, did they? Oh no! Can you get a cursive letter? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so... Why is that banana so... Z shape? Can we... If can a, we... Can we if vote? A banana in, were... That banana's sussy. <laughs> if a banana yeah, were... Yeah, can we vote next game they're, they're looking sussy? Wear them like this or like this? It, it doesn't have to be the same oh, color, by the no, way. It could be no. something else. Yeah, it, it, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a... 
XP or Flippy. Yeah. What are some similar similar yeah. shapes here? I'm also going with this. Wait, that's me. I can't. I shouldn't look at me. I'm, I'm seeing Alex. You should. You're Alex. Your own has a big curvy shape. Alex. Alex. I think it's Alex. No. Alex has a big curvy shape as well. I'm, cur I'm just curvy. Alex. I'm just Oh, shit. I, it's totally Alex. Yeah. You suspect one of your fellow detectives was the murderer? Fess up, detective. Also, your hair is guilty of funny looking. Crime. You have mustache hair. Probably false. Oh, no. Uh, dang. Bad luck. Still, if any of you did vote for the actual guilty party, I'll see to it you're rewarded with points at the end of the night. And as for our escaped murderer, keep lying low and there will be even more points in your future. My suggestion for this round is to do a better job. Oh, wow. hey. Oh, senseless violence. Oh my god, who killed Among Us? I think I think I know the Among Us. The, the one looks really easy. Among Us. Exactly. I would. Uh, or at least your sterling reputation. I think I know which one will be easier to investigate. Hmm. What's this? Yeah. Yeah. Tonight we avenge the murder of Moneyface. Or else we'll never have money again. Mm. <laughs> oh, you can make the timer hurry up. Saucy. Oh, that's the hurry up. Since you brought this guest, you get control of the magnifying glass. Mm. Let's take a closer look, shall we? I hope you all know who did it because I am mm. totally in the dark. Mm. Well, we can have a mystery. Saucy. <laughs> for this weapon, he's right in front of us. Hmm. Oh, but use this thing. I wonder. Perhaps. I wonder. I wonder. It's just like. Just a bit sussy. What? <laughs> I wish you could just zoom in even further on the text. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> As punishment, I'm putting you in a time red until you learn to stop murdering. I'm out. Solving that case, I'm keeping track of who votes for the man killed money face. Point when you're right. Unfortunate. I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't regret it. You sure that's money? Eat me. Oh. I've got a brilliant theory about the one on the right, but I'll let you all handle it. Ooh. All right. Oh, the yes. orange one and I feel like the shape both have the people in them. I feel this is like what makes me sussy. I just like the shape of the orange one. It's easier to look at and compare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the I feel like the one on the left would have an easier time figure out what the Wait, letter is. Yeah, that the banana's the is a little threatening. Plant, the plant is literally just Alex BSPs <laughs> rotated. Well then. Hmm. Wait, the potted what? Wait. Look, like, look, look at the Wait, killer potted plant. That's our only rotated. staff member. Hang on. <laughs> like rotated. <laughs> and they what both smiley faces. Yeah. What letter is that? Yeah, what? It could just be a similar shape. It could. Be. That's sounding a little sus. Let's take a little closer. Yes. <laughs> no, look at look at like the fucking. Ah, uh, there's like an indent that's exactly the same between the two of them. It's got a. It, that seems. It seems too convenient. But Although, oh, the face, yeah, right? it is, isn't it? It's the same thing. Up? In the banana? Don't be afraid no, to Alec, uh, the banana Alex, peel. Okay. Alex. Yeah. Just to make sure, that was the one I clicked first. Oh. All right. I'm gonna keep looking, but like... Yeah, it's that little notch there. On with it. Let's see. Come on! What letter is that, though? That is a very good question. Is it like a really weird S? The suspense is killing me. 
<laughs> oh, damn. I would call the police, but the storm took out the landline, and I threw my mobile at a rude swan. <laughs> Why? The noise. As for the the murders, earth is so weird. To. I don't I we'll understand. To now, all of I think you... I fucked up by adding both and smiley faces. Oh. Mm. We need some more weapons to keep this party going. Draw two more weapons using the prompts on your device. You'll be hiding the same letter, but it may look a bit different than before. Have fun. Is it one more weapon or two? Oh, two. Two, two. two yeah. Two again, okay. I guess it doesn't just keep going until there's only one left. This one's really hard to hide. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what was going on last time with like how what we're drawing actually plays into the game. Yes. Yeah, it's a weird one. This game. It's done. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really hoping there aren't like cursive letters in some of these. There are. There are, yeah. You can uh, absolutely get cursive. <laughs> wouldn't like, that be wait? But wouldn't that be advantageous to the person that gets a cursive letter for one of theirs? I just got a cursive letter. This, this thing doesn't make, make any square. sense. I think like, everyone gets a cursive letter at some point. Ah, uh, just imagine you get a cursive like Q, and it says that your prompt is draw square. But like, uh, oh. like, if you get a cursive letter, that means it differs from your calling card, right? Imagine or can you get it twice? Someone. Imagine murdering someone with a square. Imagine being a square. Couldn't be me. Yo! Orb. Uh. In body, I am an orb, but in mind, I am a square. <laughs> Are you there, be square. Wait. Because a square is like a dork or something. I actually, what does it mean? Let me double check. I cannot imagine being murdered by a square. It's called a flop. Square <laughs> Square is slang for a person who is conventional and old-fashioned, similar to a fuddy-duddy. 
Yeah. Fuddy duddy. That's a fun word to say. A sense if you're the word square. You the wear. sense of the word square originated with the American jazz community in the 40s in reference to people out of touch with musical trends. I see. I did not know that. Can't believe they invented squares. Jazz invented squares. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematicians before the 1940s. An accomplice that no one tries to murder doesn't do you any good. Give them a name that stands out. Oh, right, the accomplices. There you are. I swear to gosh, if I see another Among Us. Among Us. I think we have some newcomers. Please join me in welcoming our new guests. Oh, we got. Let's <laughs> go. Mm. Yo. <laughs> no. Yo. <laughs> oh. Dunk Walker has a target on his head. And I was worried I'd have to eat all this pate myself. Yeah, now you can't eat German burger. Yum. Pick one of our remaining guests and guess who brought them. If you're right, the dark deed will be done. If you have been murdered, try not to collapse on the salmon. Will be quite the story to heavens to Betsy. Another pile of bodies. Uh. Oh, Even my famous bone marrow tarts will save the evening now. I thought this said farts first. Oh, they're all no. farts. How do you get killed by an arcade claw machine? Honestly, Doug I Walker don't would, like though. Any of these gifts. Hmm. I'm sad about Nespin. What are we? Well, who's gonna keep the side up? Oh, the claw machine's got a knife. <laughs> oh, that's how they, they draw claw machine dropped the knife. <laughs> Remember, we're looking for um, letters, not we gotta objects. Investigate the sussy claw. Yeah, we are looking for letters. Though. Well, Which I think I see. Easy I feel like you could find some letters. In I see segment. something in mountaineering disaster, namely whatever's going up with that the head. I think of the second knows. figure. Yeah, some yeah. The fact that he has a hat is the sussy part. <laughs> well, it's a rock falling on his head. Oh, I I see. Hey. Okay, that trying ledge to defend on the side that curls around is what. You're trying to defend is. yourself? No, the ledge on the side that curls around. That's why I'm voting clearly. for it, you dummies. I thought it was like a JoJo pompadour. I said to investigate Nespin first. I think it's flippy, and I see the resemblance in the banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see it too. Do you know oh. what happens when you are shooting? Oh, you I, okay. Like, like mountain, like the banana. circle, the line, the extra part. I think it's flippy. I also, I'm convinced. That's all it took. I'm convinced. You're free I'm to convinced. be wrong. Hey, hey, hang on a second. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, what's it, counter arguments? What are your counter arguments? Yeah. Who else? Counter arguments. Right. Who's the who's the lead investigator here? What he is as solid as as the one in the banana. These all stem from the middle. It's the, the little loopy. Ah, uh, the right? little, had... the little like guy's spinal column there. Yeah. Oh, it makes a good point. Ah, uh... there's. <laughs> it's sus, in my opinion. I don't think it'll be the same color. I don't know I though. Feel like I Jeff, I am really confident. That this is my guess. Loopy. No, they aren't the same color. Hmm. 
They don't have to be the same color. I was I was fighting my tablet turning off, and I had to like switch my windows while trying to defend myself. What? My apologies for the mistake, detective. So you were very adamant it was me. You know, that's kind of funny. Bespin will never rest in peace. It's not. It looked so similar. I'm sorry. Uh huh. He's looking a little sussy now, aren't you? Oh, I made a mistake. That doesn't make me sus. Nobody makes mistakes for perfect. You can't just put writing here. <laughs> Arcade. <yeah. laughs> okay, wait. It's a big brain move. Someone machine. hit their letter in that. Look at Look that claw machine. It's like Look a the M. That dynamic action in mountaineering disaster, though. Oh Look at that wait, hang car. on. I think I think a piece of that claw machine might actually be an H. Oh shit! <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, there's, I there's see three it, people. I see it. There's I three see people it. with an H in their name. Yes, yes. Interesting. What's this? Interesting. Come on. Wait, the only problem. Okay. No, we'll see. There might be other letters hidden, though. I see. Hang on. Well, besides the obvious ones. <laughs> I can see the H. What does a mm. cursive H look like? Can cursive I look that H? up? Cursive H. I don't like remember a... cursive, so I say you can look up what a cursive letter a looks like. A lowercase okay. cursive H has like a curl in the back. I mean, I I got a cursive version of my letter, and it looked nothing like what I know a cursive version of my letter to actually look like. Yeah. So... Uh, cursive, hmm. cursive letters are a scam. Okay. Does anyone see? Does anyone see an H in the the cards of like? Can, I think it might be the ha the the guy hacking. You can use the hiking, hiking. Take a look at that. Maybe an H. An H. How do you know it even is an H in there? Just to double check. Look, look at the claw. Like, yeah, the claw is very, the vertical awesome. line, and then the uh, the second claw bit. This, it does look kind of clean. Like, that's how I would, uh, what's it called? Hide my H. <laughs> that, that sounds wrong. <laughs> what? Who voted me? Hmm. For what? You're kind of sussy, dude. Okay. I didn't it, do it, shit. It, it can't be someone else who has a claw machine over there, because everyone only gets the same weapon once. Yeah, what the... Well, fair enough. Hmm. Let's continue. Oh. Sure. Out with it! Oh, it is. Oh. Bruh. Oh. Falsely accused and yet still so gracious about Where's the hidden letter in that one? one way to get to know one another. No, this I game kind of sucks. Hey. Yeah. I love this part. Everyone stay completely still and alive. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Does anyone else need a man after midnight? Does anyone else need a man after midnight? Yeah. 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 It's 1.02 a.m. for me. You all very hard. Well, wait, something looks weird about the memes. <laughs> that ain't it a does, it doesn't it? <laughs> Why does it have a suspiciously toto-shaped head at the end? Oh. Um, what? Sus. That's weird. Does he? That, I feel like. I feel okay. Interesting. That's hilarious. At once. Yes, yes. Why'd you vote for Joe Mama for a second? Because it's a. That's a funny name. I, I support that, that decision. 
You broke from the pack. That makes you sus. I... I'm just going with the pack because oh. I'm honestly still oh. not sure what we're looking for. Oh, yeah. I, I think I know what the letter is for the banana. Someone's metaphorical fingerprints. It's so random, but this crime. I think I figured it out. What is, what it? is it? I think it's either a P or an upside down H. Mm -hmm. On the like, on the, on the very, on the very though. right. Let's just try to figure out what the most similar thing in this one is. I just realized I have the thing. I don't think it can be a uh, yo shirt. Is it yeah. an A? What even is the letter in this? The uh, fact it, could, that no, wait, it could be an A around the side because there's like a small, small ring. What if it's a T? Well, think about the handle. The handle looks weird. Why would it be like that? What yeah, letter could be hidden in that? Is... The handle is weird. Uh, it could also be a couple A's there because it's like. Oh, spiked. yeah. I see an A there on the left. Hang on. Yeah, they look at Alex's. Look at, the, look, at the, look at Alex's again. They could have done fake A's Thanks. in the spikes. I have to find Alex. I think look at like the tail of the thing that has the smiley face. That looks similar. You see that? Oh, it is it's the same curvy oh, bed. Oh. I think it might be a C. Let's extrapolate. A C? It is not, but that is a very close resemblance. That is a very close resemblance. It's, it's, it's literally in the same position too, yeah. but it's not. But it's not. I'm sure. Stop detectives. I. There we'll certainly see. was a better way to hide that than at the the head of the mace. It looks. Okay, I'm, all I'm saying that if it was mine, I wouldn't put it in the same like spot. What the? F Dang it! Are we not good at this? No. <laughs> I think we suck at this. There's so many like good connections though. What the? F okay. Like that one. I refuse to point or clarify. That one, that claw machine is clearly a cursive B. It is very obvious. Can that someone is, is it? B. It is. Don't you see it? Right. It's a flipped over B. What does I don't where, it, but I where in the it. picture? In the center. In the center. In the center. In the center. Oh. Like the yeah. You see it? Oh, I definitely want to take a closer yes. look at that. Yes. Yes. Can someone explain to me what's happening in this mountaineering disaster? <laughs> it's a mountaineering disaster. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Are they shooting arrows at me? Wait, did they just hide their letter just inside of a, a shape on that one? Wait. They just spam everything. <laughs> it's, it's like hieroglyphs. They might as well have just scribbled over the letter at that point. I'm counting on you to save my party. You know what? I, I straight up am going to say that I think this was a uh, radar hit. Why? Do you? And I say that oh. because look at the smoothness of this uh, drawing here, and then the smoothness of this one here. Oh. Like okay. none of the others have this level of smoothness, oh, except Flippies. Th it might be Flippies. Wait. Uh, but okay, for me, I think the what is it? A bear with like a fucking balloon attached to it. We've very quiet. The claw machine. Oh. Yeah. Wait, what? I've been quiet. Oh, my headset. Game. My headset okay. turned off. Never mind. It That's why I couldn't like... hear you. Mm. But we didn't have. There was a letter here. Someone saw it. Yeah, um, we can't. Yeah, it was B. Much. It's a B in the center, right there. Oh There's yeah. I see. Wait, but well, we gotta vote for someone. Wait. Shit. Well, I no one has B in, my name. in their name B. except for Alex. And it can't oh. be Alex. It can't be <laughs> Alex though. No, X. X. Beeman. No, it's, it's not possible. It's not, he was clearly in the Wait a minute. It might be hidden in the sussy somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Oh my god. This is so <laughs> fucked. This is stupid. This is so <laughs> dumb. Well. No, no. <laughs> We didn't solve a single murder. <laughs> so bad at this. Actually, we didn't solve one. We solved two last time, <laughs> I think. <laughs> we solved the Among Us murder. And I'll give murderers extra points for every detective they fool into voting for someone else. Time is running out. Please hurry. We've got a lot of cold cases. All right, who killed what? <laughs> 
Uh, what's the most similar thing? You, you voted Flippy. No, I. I feel like mm. who has an E in their name? No, oh doesn't. me. Never mind. E. <laughs> it could be the letters up top. Who puts the letters in? I think it's an A. Oh. Wait, where's e. the A? Where's the A? Next to the claw. Well, I don't have an A in my name, A. Um... Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's Flippy. There's... I don't... I'm not I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't see a single resemblance to Flippy at all. I think it's fun. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just going with someone. I'm just kidding. Fuck it's it. It's not flippy. It's not flippy for sure. I'm gonna attack the TF2 maps. No! <laughs> I'm going down fighting. I can't even tell what that image is. Oh, that's a mountaineering disaster. Oh. Oh, it was it wasn't E. Oh my god. E. Brutal. Gotcha. That is a smart way of using E actually. What? Okay. Oh god, I this one from earlier. Who did we vote on? Oh yeah, the the pants. We voted for Alex, and it was wrong. Yeah. Uh. Why? Okay, so why do all the bananas have like a little thing at the top? That's that's, that's, that's bananas have that. that. That's what okay. bananas. But I like... oh, yes. Did X oh? XB man? Did you like cloud up your letter with the just <laughs> how much you filled in the emojis? <laughs> no. I don't, I don't- it's not me! <laughs> I feel like that would be something you would do, though. I do want to give you bonus points for coloring and- It can't be the- it can't be the same thing, though, can it? It's n- It can't, It's no. not me! Uh, I'm going with the group, because I don't know It's not what doing. me! <laughs> okay, it was me. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. I couldn't- That's I, what it was. That, fucking... Oh my gosh! Oh, what That's good! Was okay, next. That was good. That was good. Among us. Okay. Among us. I, I wish. Wait. This, this has it's... to be an O, right? Is it flipping? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's flipping. Are you sure? It's flipping. No, 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 no. It's flipping. It's flipping. It's flipping. It's flipping. No, it's flipping. It's flipping. It's flipping. It's flipping. It's flipping. It's flipping. It's How do you. I see the P. I see it. Look. Oh my god, yes! It's flippy, it's flippy. Oh shit. In our names, though. I can't remember myself. Yeah, but both of the P's are the same. They also have like a little nub where like you. Put the P, the line. I don't know how to explain I it. I can't for myself. Oh, so I know. It's also weirdly like straight there. It's really straight. You could just maybe be good at drawing. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, what? it's smooth. It's too smooth. <laughs> you could just do it smooth. <laughs> good catch on that P. Oh, there it is. It didn't look like that in my screen. Guys, Taco Gob. Taco Man! <laughs> Taco Colin is dead! <laughs> Did it. Okay. I feel like it's hidden in one of the people? Or... Shit, highlight the- Look, highlight the image. Wait, wait, we can't. Wait. I don't think uh, anyone's highlighting it right now. Yeah. Is this an A? Or like a Q? Is this like, Flippy again? Uh... No, look. The, it uh, can't the first be Flippy. Person. Look at the first person's uh, head. Oh! They got things oh. reading on. Like, oh. the arm doesn't connect right. It could be a Q. It could just be a mistake? I don't no know. No one in here has a Q in their name. Oh. Except for, I don't know. No one. Uh, I'm gonna, this I'm gonna one pick and radars right. have people in them. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Well, wait, radars, radar, the, the dude on radars has a cap. Maybe that's hiding the no, extra line. Radar's letter, letter, radar's letter is an E. Is there an E anywhere in here? Maybe? Probably. It could be an O. Oh. What's this? Interesting. Let's see. Oh! I was right! It was an O. Oh no. Oh, oh no. That's not, what I, That's not what I thought it was. Quite clever. I thought it was radar. Up to like, saw that. Okay, what the okay. glove is she picking up at night? I could not make the connection. Rest in peace, Doug Walker. I love uh, Doug's mangled <laughs> carps inside the machine there. Oh. <laughs> Where does okay, it what's... end, like, abruptly awkward? Like... I feel like it's in the corpse. The corpse... I feel like they just put it in there, and then they just scribbled it. I... Is Maybe? that an I? I don't know. There's... That could be an I in the upper left, but I don't know why they no. put it so obviously. That yeah, does look... E a Wait a minute. That looks oh, yeah. just as scrungled as... Suna's. 
that's why I picked you, Jess. I was like, that's a lot of scrungly in that claw machine. That is the scrungle. You can't I'm judge me for my own scrungling. Ah. People judge me for being smooth. <laughs> I'm allowed to go the other way. So no, was it you? It was me. <laughs> <laughs> also, who else would be Doug Walker but TF2? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Ents? Oh, that F oh. was so fucked. <laughs> How did you? Yeah, like I, had, I That's why my drunkers were scrungled because oh, no. the F was scrungled. I was like, okay, I guess this is what I'm doing. I this one, I, I think, was. Oh, never mind. I forgot what I was gonna say as soon as I started to say. <laughs> I think this one might have been Radar Head. So Maybe. why? Is it can't be Radar Head. It's an okay. engineering disaster. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ignore me All then. Right. I think it was you. What? You already right. found me. You already found me guilty. You can murder like, multiple people. I think what? It was, fucking it, it was not me. Stabbing one person uh, wouldn't satisfy you. You have to go for the entire party. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that also, is not that, true. the rock hitting the dude's head looks like the blimp holding up the claw machine. I think it might be. Yeah. <laughs> that is what the fuck? Where is the resemblance? That's not me. <laughs> it's not me either. <laughs> It was XP. What? It was an A. Where's the oh? Oh my God! Did you did hide an A? It was the rock. Then oh three, so my clearly God! Clearly an H. 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 Or an N. Yeah. H or N. H. I think it's H because it's really straight. Hmm. H. Who? Oh. Was was it? It? Wait, did we already vote an arcade machine? A completely different arcade machine? They're really that was popular a... murder weapons. Yeah, I had an arcade machine earlier. Like three people died to arcade machines a day. Have you heard? I don't. I don't think this one is true, but I don't know. Wait, we voted for Radar Head on this one last time, and they were innocent. Aww. So yeah. I don't know. It was a different. It's arcade. going with H. Yes. Yeah. No. I knew it. Yes, yes, let's go. Why did I pick the I picked the wrong one completely? That Your personal so biases funny. are getting in the way. <laughs> That's not true. They hit the letter really well in this, and it's so simple too. All of the lines are continuous. I know, I'm trying to find something that like- Are you sure? Splits. There's a non-continuous line hidden there. I do uh, see some splits. There's a P. There's an upside down uh, P, isn't there? I see a P. Yeah, but it like- Yeah. Maybe, or actually, hmm. I um, think. I can't even look at it, I'm high! Either a P or B. Aha. Wait, it's you smooth. It is flippy. It's smooth. It must be flippy. Interesting. It's smooth. Like it's it is. smooth. It flippy should has be busted flippy. out the drawing tablet just for this. <laughs> I mean, it's on my lap, but I couldn't remember my <laughs> password, I so I couldn't. Drawing tablet. I really don't like I... smooth oh. being. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I would have well, used my tablet, but I couldn't log in on it. Oh, well, that's a P. Forgot my Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Who could it have been? Is that an a is that an L? Like a cursive L? That's definitely a cursive what letter hidden in there. Yeah. Who is doing this? It's a cursive L. I think it's a headache. This is fucked. <laughs> I want to be me. I already oh, did not get claw machine. Only, this is me. Up. I think I think I see vaguely the same shape in the upper left of Alex's. Interesting. As in the, this one. Yeah. It's yeah. so. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it can't be just... a... Oh, it's a flip. I thought it can't be a... Or Wait, it there's our pretty a... yeah. party. Why are they so yeah. similar? It's two, two uh -huh. It can't be Alex again, because it's already... They're not owned. It's not me. A... I'm telling you right now, it's not me. <laughs> Please, <laughs> believe me, I'm no, not it's... the imposter. I'm not among <laughs> us. <laughs> I was the imposter, no. that's me. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh, that doesn't look like that. there's an A at all. God so damn it. it. Oh my god. There's a fucking <laughs> Here's the dildo. Oh god, Again. I got this. So I got no. too smooth too. It wasn't no, Alex. This is smooth. We know that. Yes. Oh this is insane. Do you think it's radar heads? Out of spite. Where's no. the Adam's spite? 
Well, there is actually there is like the weird backpack thing going on with radar. So there could be a connection. What's if, what if it's an F? Who the fuck just voted me? Oh yeah, I think radar is might be an F on the backpack. I can see that. I think it's an F for his backpack. Yeah. Let's see. It's not okay, me. I don't think it's radar. It's not radar. It's not radar. It's not radar. No, no, it has T. Looks at me. Yes, thank you. It's hundred percent not radar. I don't know who it is, but it's. Wait. Vote for... What's this? I just wanted to be even. It's not me. <laughs> That's what you always say, even when it is you. Th what? That is, that is fucking. Oh no, radar is easy. I tricked you. <laughs> oh, I knew it. <laughs> I told you. Look at this if. I hate this if. Oh my god. I knew oh, someone was sus with the handle. By this one again? Oh my goodness. Do what we have to keep one? going through it till we solve all of them? Yeah, we have to now yeah. solve all of them. Oh my yeah. god, that's... Oh... Uh, I'm gonna be voting gonna... last time. I think... My I brain's think we... melted. We Shit. voted for... Was it radar hit uh, last time? I think it might be sooner again. No, it's not... No. <laughs> I had a claw machine. You guessed that correctly. Because uh, uh, there's an option. Can you get more than one? But is wouldn't like what letter is it? Because I said it, I believe is a B, but I'm, it could be something. Else. I'm going with D because mm -hmm. of all the like bouncy, I don't know, circles. He's like nuts. at the bottom left of the claw machine. Are you voting yourself? Wait. I don't think you can vote yourself. You can't. Can. Wait, then what? I don't know. I'm just going with X Demon because of the B at the bottom left. Maybe it is. I feel like I got tricked doing that. Oh no. Yes. Oh, you got a little tricked. <laughs> Flippy, where, where well, I got it wrong both times. What, what letter is that? that? I don't fucking know. I just saw this little Among Us butt thing and just stuffed it in there. <laughs> what am I even looking at? <laughs> it's like all the same shape throughout. This is why I was asking us to solve this last time. <gasps> That's an L. Okay. That's a curse of L, isn't it? Oh yeah, it, it looks like whoever did this one tried to put as many cursive looking shapes as possible. <laughs> Where? Just everywhere. The upper left, oh, the bottom L? left. And it can't yeah, be flippy again. You wanna find the L? You're about be. to take it. No, I think it's, I think it's a curse of G. Interesting. Fascinating. Just no. There's no G here. Why not? Uh, okay. I'm right at the last. Why did you trick me, Flippy? God damn it! Wait, but the, you, you weren't even detectives. guilty. Wait, he doesn't have a what? Uh, did I say something? You did. You said you're about to take the L when oh, the timers were gone. So I thought it was you. Where's the L? I'm about to say. Wow. Yo. Find it. Yo. Nice. Radar head is a good detective. Okay, but who's good? Uh, kill him. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <I killed Joe. laughs> no. oh. Can I just get a trophy for what, like playing? I kept getting spam with like Nesman and people kept wanting to kill Nesman for some reason. <laughs> Doug Walker was just immediately killed. Oh, I was number two best murderer. If only my lines weren't so smooth. <laughs> that took way too long. Yeah, that one took very long. Yeah, time. I was number yeah. seven yeah. best that's, detective. That's the Apparently big I long game. Do what? I was doing really yeah. good in the hey. first round, and then I could not f figure <laughs> out who brought what guest at all during the other rounds. It made me very sad. Yeah. Oh my gosh, those are. weapons! Seeing the, the banana letters, peel. My my terrible banana and mace that never made the cut. Gosh, seeing the hidden weapons drives me nuts, or hidden letters drives me nuts, because they're so bad. <laughs> okay, I'm a little sus. It's <laughs> <laughs> so obvious. <laughs> That's fucking incredible. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just got loop between us? Oh. Okay. It's sure that you go so well else. Dude, that banana peel one is so fucking good. I never would have thought. That is good. Alex. Yeah. <laughs> it's the it's it's, different. It's why there were so many curves. 
Oh, it's an S. It's, it's an S, but I was like, that's a wanky S. And I tried to go along with like the L thing, but then I realized that was not with L in my name. Yo, H. Yoshi, what is that top right H? Oh my oh goodness. My it's us. That's cr I Holy never would have thought H in the mace. I was right about you the H in the like arcade. Wait, did already? Oh, it's only showing the top ones, isn't it? I think it's getting through all of them. It's just really oh, like it's showing. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever programmed yeah. the scramble for this is just should be fired. I should just it's go in order. The server scramble plugin. <laughs> no, I think it's only showing some of the top ones. No, no, no I get to see my beautiful smooth drawings. I want to. No. I want to see mine. Mm, yeah. Come on. I mean, you oh can click. God. Oh my god! Uh, I mean, you can click on like look at your evidence or whatever, but it doesn't show you what the letters are. Oh no, it does if you hover over it. Yeah, it only shows you the ones that got murdered. Murdered with though, it doesn't show you the. Uh... Oh, here we go. Fucking banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely s's. The S is so dumb! Yeah, I think it's just looping through the top oh. ones. I had number two best accomplices at some point. I'm, like, really proud of literally throwing the first round and still being <laughs> the best killer. <laughs> That's just... Oh my gosh. Well... That's <laughs> wild. So what's wrong with the, um, the other game? Is that a known problem of the particular drawing tablet you have? Not that I know of. I think it's just old. What was the uh, code? I was looking. Oh my gosh. I, S, I think it was SWMO. You just did that on stream, by the way. 
No, I guess Damn. I just show it. I mean, I mean, we only have six people in here. Yeah. yeah. If so they caught that, way. like I don't even know who that is. Who's I three green? No, oh, Baptists. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. that's what we get. Okay, yeah. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I get. Who's missing? Alex. Oh, Alex went to get a snack. Leave a space for Alex. I think you can kick people out, though, so that Alex can get in. Uh, I cannot. I would need to what? make a new lobby. Uh, they didn't think that far ahead with the technology. How did I... Why would they not have such a basic feature? Uh, my, the tech isn't there yet. In like 2018 or whatever the fuck this game came out? Yeah, it hey, doesn't exist. Jackbox. Jackbox is a small indie developer. They just don't have the time. Don't, you don't need no man. <laughs> that too. Yep. Oh, I'm back. Only 12 and a half hours left in the jam. Oh, joy. My map is like basically finished, but I have to do all the boring release stuff. I don't want to. I'm not gonna finish mine before There's the deadline, but I got way that more reminds done me than of I that thought Western I would. That's a shootest. victory in my book. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. Beep boop boop beep beep. Engage. <laughs> I hate this narrator. He's a little annoying. He's As if some of the other narrators are annoying. I'm fine. Can get the worst though? <laughs> They should just get the funny Hi, I'm your host, Todd. And yes, that rhymes with bod. So yes. feel free to call me Todd the Bod. Here's a quick tutorial before we start. Get the guy from hey the guys, game. what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here oh to my gotcha. God. Let's get right Party to Boy it. Seven. Let's start things hey. off at uh. Want to listen to Party Check Boy 7? Site. Oh. Wait, why do I get to skip? Because you're the. the, the like, you're the one that got in first. Yeah. Uh, so you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. Man, those beeping noises are gonna drive me nuts. You know, I kind of miss, like, 2000's internet aesthetic, where we had, like, the 3D icons in the top left, instead of just, like, flat. Yeah. Everything has been simplified, because apparently, um, Another player's comment has like been it. sent to your device. Blah. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Oh, I don't like... I don't like the answer I'm about to give. I don't like the answer I'm about to give either. No one is gonna like what I wrote. Everyone hated it. <laughs> <laughs> you got Everyone so disliked that. I am going to get cancelled for this. <laughs> if it's really that bad, bad, I am ending the stream. Minus three billion social credit. You really think I would write something that's actually cancelable? Come on. The thing you wrote is gonna be the reason that other social media platforms remove dislikes. <laughs> oh no. Do you regret your decision? They already it's have. It's too late now. Oh, okay. I just realized something. Yeah. <laughs> the ruins. Alright. Grim. <laughs> <laughs> the queen? Maybe sure she's not British. Ah, uh, no! Oh, adoption symbol. <laughs> no! 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 no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> 
No. No. Oh my god. No. Talk about No. I was saying talk about Did he take a massive shit in the declining Chuck E. Cheese? Who looks the most ridiculous oh, yeah. here? Place your vote now. <laughs> Should take very long to vote. I was expecting based on all I got was great. <laughs> Let's see who got the votes. And here's how the I'm audience sad. felt about things. <laughs> here's who burned you. I'm sad. Did I get points for getting points for them? And you, the victim, get some pity points. There's some pity points. Dang, you got played, son. I mean, I think Nesman's the one that got played. Damn, you got played, son. Got played, son. He says Here's with the no order emotion who I in think his is voice cool whatsoever. From top to bottom. I suck. Jeez. I'm so sorry. Jumping. You think Great. people listen to the OSTs well, let's go to, of these uh, games? I would. Job networking site. I did it. Yeah. You're getting another it. prompt. Yeah. Go ahead and this be is candid. TF2. This is our safe space. <laughs> Usually. Monster Seeking Monster, and then uh, we'll, we'll end something the stream. Else. Not in the stream. I have a time for another segment. I'm not sure what we would do oh. that. It's not the TFT related. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Oh my god! Is anyone else heart okay. racing right now? No clue. What? <laughs> Less favorite. Um. <laughs> SpongeBob. That could have been so many people from the server. Germa? That could have been Lofi. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Who the hell is Steve Jobs? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my god! No. Oh! That, that's a clip. <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> sexy Spider Man. Why did you have to clarify? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. What a celery man. Here are your candidates. Two now place your vote. Steve Jobs. <laughs> Who is Steve Jobs? <laughs> the hell is what Steve Jobs? Jobs was. Yeah, the person had no idea who the hell Steve Jobs was. Why did I click that? I completely fucked. I missed. 
Why did you click that? Let's see who got the points. <laughs> I meant to oh. Oh my god. Okay, I meant so to vote for the other Steve Jobs. The audience likes sexy Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Yo. Ultimate sacrifice. Let's see what that round Ooh. did to things. <laughs> that did a lot of things. Yo! 69! Nice. Let's keep this party train moving and go to a... Of all numbers video could site. have been. Why that one? A video site. Oh no. <laughs> it's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. the drill. Go again. <laughs> Wait, Shiloh Buff and Coast Hardcore? Fuck yeah. Yo! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Gone wrong. Sponsored by Ray. Unplanned. Unplanned. They're raided by the CIA. Just a ch no! <laughs> no! <laughs> that seems like something they do too, which makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping whoever got that just put Crash's mapping tutorial. <laughs> Oh, there's still his dislikes. Uh... No! <laughs> chicken fries. Apology video. Yeah! <laughs> Go ahead and vote. I'll give you a sticker afterwards. Oh my god. He totally would make an apology video and a mukbang video in the same video. <laughs> he would. <laughs> oh, that's such a sad case. I just... Uh... Here's what people think. Yeah! 
Joe Biden. I, <laughs> I said the funny president name. I get all the points. You look too you. You look foolish. A lot of people keep owning me. It's time for the scoreboard. Oh. I have not moved at all. In our last stop of the game will be at a uh, photo sharing. The, photo sharing one the points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. Points ahead first is it's kind of busted. Bust. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do. Oh. It's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. See how you grown his right. I can't wait. <laughs> no. Okay. Stinky shoes? Ew. The frick? Oh, Would you well. piss on the shoes? Uh, oh. No. No. <laughs> no. I'm walking to No. I'm walking to <laughs> We know which one is Alex's. Dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> Who remembers? I remember. Balloon. Yeah! Hi, it's me. Hi, Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. Good luck. Fair. <laughs> bear. Oh, my oh God. yes! Oh yes, bear team. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yes. Wow. Oh Please. my gosh, these are all so good. Okay, time to vote. Let's see how everybody voted. That's a pretty even spread. Oh. Uh, the audience <laughs> chooses. Whoa, that's a lot more points. I hope you weren't going to run for political office. <laughs> Ooh. Cancel. Oh, hey, the ticket. <laughs> Canceled for a voting Oh man, CTF it all comes games. down to this. <laughs> what the yes. fuck? A oh. creature. Yeah. yeah! I am the internet. I'm going to hell! We have a champion. Now enjoy your special prize. I mean, I'm going to Hades! Oh my god, there's 12 hours, 12 minutes, and 12 seconds left. Oh my Yo. god. Make a wish. Chicken in. Okay. I would chicken. Now we go to the next game. <laughs>
way. Uh, I wasn't looking. I keep forgetting we have to open a new tab every game. Yeah. yeah. Can somebody inform me of the funny digit and sweaters that I should perhaps put into the code box? Can you just reveal the code again, whoever? Suna? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why the seven people for this one? That's very weird. Because uh, it's supposed to be an odd number, I guess. I guess it plays better with an odd. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, the, the music for this one is funky. It is. What is the check? What? Sorry. No, I. It's just telling me to sit back and relax. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure VIP just means I get to skip the tutorial. Wait. I think it's on soon at the start. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think we only have time for this game. Yeah, we're doing this game in the next segment. Hello there. Next segment. I don't know what the next segment's gonna Monster be, but I'm taking Monster. suggestions. I'm your host, Felicia the Teeth Nasher. Uh, yeah. I, have this I do. Oh, it is about time I'll be to wrap up. Isn't six it? nights of yeah. creepy co-mingling, where you'll try to convince other players to go out I guess we can have a look at uh, what people will be making. Them secret messages. Each night, yeah. you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you I want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins usually did i mention you're all secretly monsters check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use oh and you can take the audience which is collectively controlling this player by voting on everything they do this is going to be so much fun and in no way gross or weird <laughs> no way gross oh or yeah weird. they don't I've, the this is one of my favorites okay, so played it a fair bit Good luck to whoever got that. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. Oh, yeah. Audience's first message is automatically sent to everyone each night, and it shows up here on the screen too. Isn't that fun? I probably should have mentioned that some of your conversations will appear on screen during the date. Oh well, I'm sure it won't be incriminating. You can only send so many messages, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think I just up all my messages. So, I think everyone gets like four messages or something. It's three, I don't know. Maybe it's like you can split a message into two if needed. I don't know. <laughs> 20 seconds until any unsent messages are lost forever. Hurry up! Wait, can you ask multiple people? Yeah. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. You only get four messages okay. total, so you gotta be careful. Uh, now, on the device, I see, pick the that's one why. person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. <clears throat> oh, love. So much potential for disaster and heartbreak. Holy fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. 
The B. The B, you gotta go. You know what to do. The B. Okay, no. who wanted to date who? And if you don't get a date, don't worry. Maybe. This is just the first night. Look, he's gone. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Oh god, did I take too long? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I had to grab something from the door because the package just came in. You had me get puppies? Uh. Stay right there. There's more. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> Chemistry. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> this is so uh, <laughs> feel weird now that I see it. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh no! I'm pretty sure. Didn't pick you anyone. Didn't react huh? in time. That means I'm going I to have to take away a heart. I came back to my room and I hit a button. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I I rejected you for my McDonald's order. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, food is more important. McDonald's. Food is more important. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll go yet. There's more. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Have you just been putting uh, on? No, what? <laughs> no. Hey, if it works. Wow, what an exciting first night. It would be weird to have a scoreboard at a dating event, but we do have a scoreboard at this dating event. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> It looks like you are currently doing the best, and you're temporarily in last place. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Oh. What? What? Puzzle. Bum puzzle? We all know how this works by now. Message away! Oh, do we have to pick up where we left off? Uh, mm, kind of? Did you just start another conversation with someone else? By the way, if one time someone says bum puzzle tonight, uh, there'll be lightning. <laughs> Hey, if you need to block another player, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, there's a block button in there, and then you won't see their messages. I forgot the D. Any more seconds? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm to keep Time's the same up. Puzzle tonight. Once again, it's time to pick your date. So, did we learn any useful life lessons the first night? We'll find out. I hope I hit the button right this time. <laughs> hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. You'll be severely penalized. No, don't. No. Okay. This is a charity stream. No more McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Poggers. <laughs> Happy Poggy. And this means rejection. Well, yes, oh, extra lonely heart this over is there. Again. You can uh, join in the audience by going to jackbox.tv. No dates picked. I told you what uh, would happen. Code H -G -Y -U. Aww. Aww. <clears throat> Sad. Hmm? 
What is the joke with bum fuzzle? Bum that was the secret word of the night. If you said it in a message, there'd be lightning on the uh, in the game. Oh. <laughs> oh. Double dip. <laughs> what does that even mean in this context? Chicken. 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 Let's see what's what now. Ooh, things Oof. are moving. Don't forget, at the end of each night from now on, Don't the highest-ranking secret monster will up. have their identity revealed. You're currently at the top. I'm Let's see to your monster bitch. power. Serial killer. The serial killer steals two hearts from a player the second time they date each other. No, if you need to read that again, oh, you can no, only see the monster no. power rules for a revealed player by hitting the info button on their chat screen. Oh no. What a betrayal. I trusted you. Oh, oh, by the way, there's a full moon out tonight, in case that affects your monster power. Interesting. Get to messaging. If no one has messaged the audience in 20 seconds or so, their messages start popping up here on the screen. We're down to 20 seconds. Okay, time's up. It's All time. right, it's time to pick dates again. The excitement is almost bringing me back to life. It's the simple. Okay. Hey, I know it's hard to choose, but if I don't you even don't know if there's like anyone, a, a strategy, severely penal. Like any legit strategies to this game, or if you just do whatever. No, I'm hot. And I hope think it works. I three get green by default asleep. I three just green. Just like your life. <laughs> no. It's this is going to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got <him>. oh? <laughs> I did oh. not respond at all. <laughs> well, you tried, I, I guess. I didn't even know you were sending me messages. <laughs> no! I sent like three times. Wait. This one didn't go well. Looks like someone had the same idea. Let's see how this works out. <laughs> Uh, Hello, mate. Oh. Uh, you are a pelly. <laughs> Where's oh. my love? Ouch, neither of Rip. you. What? How could you? There's no way. <laughs> God, flippy. <laughs> There's no burger. Wait. What? A later round <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, you're popular. Oh. I have a chance. Oh, I see. Yo, you 
It's time. Oh! Wow, they had a lot to say to each other. The audience. <laughs> All of TF2 maps in the audience, OTP. Ah, didn't pick a date. We've been over this. Oh my god. Hey, wait a minute. I wonder. I wonder if Let's not see if dating that is part of their power. I mean, oh, there's a fun. Power where Things are happening. Every time you get rejected, you get like. I You're think, two the hearts. highest unrevealed player, so let's see it. The audience. Mother. Oh my god. Mom. The mother receives a bonus heart every night their child does not get Excuse a date. Me? There's no way this gets weird. <gasps> Wait a second. What? Wait His a mother? But oh, who's the L3? child? Oh, that's weird. The thing? What if Keep your eye on that full moon. What if L3 is the child stacking I think, it? I think he is. Maybe no, you are. No, time. it said I was the child. It said they're Mache the Ferret's mother. Oh, that's so weird. Seconds and counting. Oh, that is cursed. The audience is thinking about dressing as Flippy for Halloween. Oh, it's a oh good sorry. Time's up. Once again, it's what? time to pick your date. The mother can get the child. I've been nervous oh, since I ate Cleveland. No. to choose, but if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. I threw green as... Okay. I threw green as throwing us. Penalized. Severely. I wonder who it'll be. It's date time. <laughs> you didn't okay. pick anyone? You know the oh rules. Oh my god. Oh. How many times did... Oh, maybe they just dipped out. I don't know. No, because I think I got a message you, Yeah, if you leave the game, it just does this. Oh, hi, Maid. Maid in the audience. <laughs> yeah. Owned. I wish it was a good piss on the floor. Yes. Alex, Someone's lining Alex, up, Alex, hoping no. to be next. Let's see. <gasps> Owned. Oh. Oh. Alex tried it. He so tried bad. it. I can't even see the context. <laughs> <laughs> The previous Sorry. message to that was got a bucket of Badlands Spire. Want to do it? Real Dario Casale moment. Dario Casale moment. Yo, bump fuzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Emoji. Now that's bottom text right there. <laughs> and I thought I spoke bottom text. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure. <laughs> what? The mother is evil. Let's see if any of that changed the social pecking order. Well, well, well. Some stuff uh -huh. definitely happened there. Okay, Literally let's see your that. secrets. Werewolf! Oh. On a full Three. moon, werewolves get a bonus heart for dating and then oh, no. turn their dates into a werewolf. But. If a werewolf is rejected on a full moon, they lose half a heart. Oh. A oh, wolf. Wow.
Congratulations. Get to messaging. Only 20 seconds left. <laughs> okay, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. Oh, I'm so lonely. This is the sweet, hopeful part before the subtle anger starts to creep in. Oh no! <laughs> now we wait. <laughs> oh yeah, mate. Absolutely. Not pick I know a date. it's hard to choose, <laughs> but if you don't pick anyone, you'll be severely penalized. You'll be severely penalized. Severely penalized. This get, <laughs> this man will never get a date. I'm he trying to see the date. Uh-oh, no dates picked. I told you what would happen. Golly. Oh. I'm just gonna get booted again. He's getting I smaller. Get... <laughs> <laughs> if no oh. one messages the audience, the audience can't date anyone. Oh no. Oh, he's... Break. Stick around, there's Arr. another one for you. Wow. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Creatures together. Oh. My metal. <laughs> Scrap metal. Oh my god. Classic. <laughs> How'd you get so many messages? Stand on washing machine. <laughs> Looks I think like they someone just, like, was hoping this day wouldn't work out. I used oh. the whole one. Owned. Let's see what's what now. Definitely saw some movement in there. Oh. Time to see your oh, monster power. I'm about to give up the ghost. Are you a ghost? Vengeful <laughs> ghost. Good. The vengeful ghost starts the game with a bonus heart. When the vengeful ghost asks someone on a date and gets rejected, that person loses a heart. Be careful Ooh. around the vengeful ghost. <laughs> oh. Oh my. It's our oh. last night together. Make it count. And you get two hearts for dating tonight instead of one because it's such a special night. Not to mention Ooh. there's a full moon out too. Message time. Chance. Let's make some trouble. 
Once again, it's time to pick your date. It's times like these I love being a matchmaking monster. Oh my god. Anyway. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's hey, I know, it's hard to choose. But if you don't pick mm. anyone, you'll be severely penalized. You'll be severely penalized. Severely penalized. We're gonna send the police to your house. The penis lies are gone. <laughs> okay, let's see him. Didn't pick anyone, huh? We've been <laughs> over this. It. Oh. We've been over this. Oh. We'll find out what they are eventually. Oh. Call me yogurt. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Looks like someone else wanted in on that action and failed. Owned. <laughs> Sigma Wait. dating. Looks like some other people have the same <laughs> idea. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh, the werewolf got rejected on a full moon. Cringe. No! Ooh, that's not good news for you, sorry. No date for the child means a bonus heart for the mother. That's Rejecting gross. the vengeful ghost means losing a heart. Owned. Oh, fuck you. I wish. should have remembered that. Got him. Let's see the almost final standings. Oh, One last the thing audience is winning. Time for the after party. Gross. Time to reveal any remaining no. hidden what? monster powers. Time for another reveal. Oh my gosh. Vampire. vampire. Everyone the vampire dates becomes a vampire, and then so do the people they date. At the end, this vampire receives half a bonus heart for every vampire in the game. Glob. Every time the Glob successfully dates three new players, its heart tally doubles. Bro. Oh, wow. wow. The one you abandoned me. Sad people love puppets. The ventriloquist puppet gets a bonus heart every time they date someone that was rejected the night before. Oh. Rip. Invisible person! The invisible person started the game with two bonus hearts. The invisible person's score is invisible, so they appear to be in last place until the oh. end of the game. Bruh. Time to tally up any after-party bonus oh. hearts. Let's see how many of you were turned into vampires. Most of you. Damn. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. That sucks. I fell for Let's that. Let's see if anybody became a werewolf. Furries. That doesn't affect the score. I just keep my eye on werewolves. <laughs> How does that affect the oh, final really? standing? Oh! Yes! Suna stole it. It's only fair that TF2 Maps wins. Very fair for the final game. This game has like two others. It has like mummy and zombie, which have the same thing where like if you infect people, you get heart for it. And it's low-key kind of dumb. I have owned the audience. No. I kind of wanted the audience to win. Yeah, that would have been nice. I think that's gonna be it for me. 
Yeah, well, this is the end of the sequel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go then. Oh, actually, well, depending on what you're doing for the wrap up, I'll stick around a bit. Uh, I think we'll have a look at what people have been doing after the jam. Uh, well, thanks. thanks for having me for the jackpot. Yeah, that was really fun. I'm glad it we could make fun. it. Yeah. I'd play Job Job again. I would love to play Job Job again. That play Job Job again in a heartbeat. Anyway, see you guys. Have see ya. Fun. Hey. Have fun. I returned to Jeremy Burger. <laughs> to be negative four. Jerma. Jerma? Jerma. I am sure of my juice. Anyway, I'm gonna put a bit of BME. What are you talking about? Uh, okay, yeah, so... there was some, uh, some gamers on the test today, apparently. We're just gonna go through... So, uh, we're gonna go through... Here's, um, several of the 72-hour entries so far. Uh, we're just gonna go through these and have a look at what's been made. Some soldier art in Fallout 4. Are you guys uh, watching the stream right now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ooh. Soldier pixel art. Yo, it's a soldier. It's cool to see stuff made in another game. Yeah. I didn't know you could make pixel art in Fallout 4. <laughs> With the report, we we know this one. We've played this a bit. Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, it's it's pretty simple, but it was fun. Yeah, this was like one of the first things I uploaded too. Oh, it was because they yeah. did the jam earlier. That's right. Last updated five minutes ago. Why have you, we been playtesting this? <laughs> oh no. Is it uh, raining frogs? Uh... I don't. I don't think so. Not on this map, it would be nice. This is sick. This looks spectacular. I'm glad I did not submit my map because there's a stupid error. And we've got some signs here. <laughs> Asbestos is safe. <laughs> Respirators are prohibited. DDT is safe. That's neat. Pretty n nicely designed signs. Yeah. Uh, Spleep has made a Test it for Portal 2. Hmm. Oh. Wait, it's the first point of Dust Bowl, but it's a Portal 2 puzzle. Bro. And there's cows. Oh my god. It Wait, is. Did you do that in Puzzle Maker? Wait, click on Beautiful. it. Did he make it in Puzzle Maker or Hammer? I need to know. And Jack Espinos has just donated $20. Thank you, Jack. That's like the uh, extra wide. That's like the that's the normal, not puzzle maker size funnel. Room. I think this was made in Hammer. Yeah, looks like it. Um, Holy shit! I gotta play that puzzle now. Can you send me the links? No, we're not. We're not doing it in like sections. We're going on like uh, most. Yeah, like most recently uh, updated. Zombie escape map. What is the zombie escape game mode? Uh, I think for TF2, it's engineers uh, with no yeah. sentries 
Wait, or maybe with sentries. I can't remember. I think without. It's versus and medics. sentries versus melee only medics. Yeah. Okay. Because like I had someone message me asking if they could make my map into zombie escape. And it's like a surf map. So I don't know what they're doing. Oh, hell yeah. For, thank you for confirming. Oh, this one doesn't really have many images. So we'll need to check that out another time. Single stage payload base. Uh, didn't we see this at one point? Oh, uh, I like that finale. I th think it looks like something. Wasn't it the one that had the elevators? Oh, it's Pale Race. Nice. Hardly anyone makes Payload Race. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, Bade. Uh, Ooh. And we do have just 11 and a half hours left. That is cool. On Copia. Wait, that had a, that had a, okay. I was gonna say that CTF had a um a Steam Workshop link, I think, that might have images. No, that's their Steam profile. Oh. Coral Rock. Play Destruction Map. Oh yes, we, we tried to play this once and it was uh, a lot of errors, so we skipped it. Ooh. A lot of errors? Errors. Errors. Oh, there were okay. the there was the error model, but it had missing textures on the error model. I don't know how yeah. they managed that. <laughs> I'd like to play this properly. Because the layout seemed alright. Oh yeah, man, go for a map test. Not really give that one a great look. Uh, engineer portrait. The screen. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this one's quite. I quite like this. Oh! He's got he a looks, big face. He kind of looks like Quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> Quagmire and she. Oh no, it's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, that has a link. That has a... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Ooh. I think you get what this is a reference to. If you don't, then I'm too old, I guess. This is a uh, Counter Strike thing. Yeah, Counter Strike uh, 1.6 main menu. Uh, this is nice. I like train game. I I really like train gameplay. I hope this has a good amount of it. Looks as though it was. Was does. Arena annex. Need the arena map. Looks very junction-y. Better than junction. Oh, I'll finish the detail entry. Nice. I'm seeing everything on a delay. I am as well. <laughs> <gasps> that is quite the load time. I'm going to come back. I'm going to watch Fault for a second. Train stream. Oh, train stream. Uh, this is real nice. Really, really nice.
remix of Soundsmith's Demo Pan song. Hello, we've already got 13 pages of, two, of 72 hour entries. Wow. This is nice. Is that for this jam alone? I believe so. We can see when stuff was uploaded. If I, okay, we, we've just started on the second page. If I go to the last page. Yeah, it's all this year. Uh, yeah. What the hell? That's so crazy. Oh. We've actually had a, a few new things just in the last couple minutes. Um, oh boy. Arena Alex, let's go. Payload pixel art. Can't see it very clearly from this, but neat. The pixel jack. Oh, sick! Yo! Wow. Minecraft power jack. And a payload race map. Oh wow, that's a bold decision. Having both the cards <laughs> spawn right next to each other. <laughs> the best way to get violence. One is very small. Oh boy. Arrows are gonna like that. F2 Seahorse skin. I don't know what this is. I see the seahorses. Oh, this must be a war paint. Huh. I would like to see it on a weapon. I would as well. mansion. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a whole lot of a mansion here, but 72 hours. Don't really have a lot of time to do a full mansion. Yeah. Maybe in future. Also, the, the clock is currently covering up the author. Oh. You gotta upload images, people, please. Oh yeah. Oh this one's I'm oh, time we got the one image. This was by Stackman. One second, I wrote it. Oh yeah, I remember it. This was the one with the payload elevators. I haven't played this. Or seen it until now. Looks neat though. It was on, I think. Yesterday in the map test. Oh, <laughs> cooking! I, I didn't mean to go here. Why? Why am I here? Hang on. <laughs> ah, here it is. Here's the overload. I oh, that's what the name went with. Okay. That's a pretty good choice. I I really want to play this. Oh, and they changed up the layout here a lot as well. Wow. And this was the second stage here. Wow. Amazing job for 72 hours. Like, jeez.
But so there's, there's barely any pickups in the map. Oh no. Uh, I'll buy a house. This is a nice little scene. Oh, that's nice. Great lighting. Here's a ball paint. Ah, uh, yo, that's great. That's really good. Uh, don't don't worry about it, Red. I hear you've got the next like twelve hours to finish that up. Um, upload it once it's ready. A sticker wall paint? Uh, maybe, but I do quite like the stickers. Very festive. Victoria Cal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that, that's that's pretty good yo that's an animal that's pretty good off coal yard egypt theme oh it's got a whole video i won't watch the whole thing but I said they, they uploaded these as, like, as proof that they made this all within 72 hours. I think this... Yeah. No one would believe them otherwise. Very nice. Oh, man. Jimmy I'm Jimmy so Rex. close. Yeah. I like this. This uh, could be my last compile if I don't find something I don't like. I don't have time to do my original project to do personal problems, so I have to. Well, <laughs> it's this stupid shirt. Oh, yo. Uh, honestly, next year's jam might install this as a mod. <laughs> nice. So we just see the scouts running around with that shirt on. Nice illustration, very similar to the concept art. Very cool, very, very cool. I like the uh, the gradient they did on the sky. Oh boy, hang on, we're on page three, but there's more stuff on page one. We've got TFT Park D2. You gotta stop going back, or you'll never get to the ones on the pages after that. We'll get to it eventually. This is going to be like a fucking three hour segment. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Okay, this is a this is a video, like a YouTube video made for the jam. Three whole days of footage. I, I won't watch this all on stream. Wait, where's where's the stuff gone? Where's my window gone? Hello? Hang on. You fucked up. I couldn't, uh, I wasn't really able to tell because my stream is, like, more than a minute behind. I don't know what's happened. Uh, hang on. <laughs> you got a boost in viewers now that your screen is black.
Okay, I got it back. Cool. And TF2 Party 2. Yo. Quite a logic setup. Uh, but it's pre alpha. Just some uh, logic, essentially, but it's cool. I've, I showed a video off of some of the things here uh, yesterday. I'm excited for this. Uh, let's see. Multi duo map. Nice. I do need to kind of get through these quickly because they just keep getting uploaded. Oh, you uploaded a map, but uh, you didn't give screenshots. I can't show it. Cringe. What was Emil thinking? That was another alt duo we just went on to. Uh, Koth Oropesa. Oropesa? Whoa. <laughs> This is something. Yo, what's a prop that the red team would have on their porch? On their porch? Uh, a flower pot. Okay. Sweet treatment. And it does have a Steam Workshop link. Nice. This is so stretched, though. This is cool. Floppy disk. This is what Backscratch did. He made some floppy disks. Very nice. Uh, even <laughs> Bobus is very nice as well. This is cool. I can definitely see myself using these. This is like a, a disk prop. Uh, here's some Noma's entry. This is a... Yeah! This is a remake of that one like super popular... Payload Minecraft map, but it's with TF2's standard detailing, which for 72 hours, they did a pretty damn good job. Look at this. It's not perfect, but wow. All right. If I keep making like little tweaks, I'm never going to fucking put this out and I'm never going to go to bed. So I think this is going to be my last one. Last twist. It's gone blank again. Why is this happening? Do you have a keybind that does that? I don't think so. Here's Koth Caves. I'll try and keep an eye on it so I know when it's actually happening. There's certainly a lot of caves here. Did you actually see the, the Minecraft one, chat? I'll go back to it in case uh, you didn't see it. Let's do a quick, quick look. Stand. Nice. Oh, we can almost see this one, but not quite. Here's a uh, 14 bits robot destruction entry. I still haven't seen his arena map. 
but this was on stream as well a little while ago. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Seaside. Version 0 0.1. Whoa. Okay, yeah. that That's quite empty. I need something in there. It would be nice to have some more pictures here. Oh, well. Called Seaside, but there's no sea. That's okay. A video? Song used? I just realized you can't actually hear this. I'm going to play it again with the uh, audio on. That girl is a real crowd pleaser. Well, yeah. Small, old, old friends know of me. Young blue living like an old geezer. Are we? Quick release the cash, watch it fall slow. Please slowly. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Tab first. Spy only final destination. No guns. I would like to check that out at some point. I need pictures. I need pictures of these maps. I need them. Here we go, here's one with pictures. Slowly loading pictures. Again, rather flat, but that's okay. 72 hours. Yes. We'll probably end up playing a lot of these tomorrow. Uh, oh, clay sculpts. Yo. This is super cute. I love the sentry. Tiny little wrench. Oh, that's great. I had two ratings. Yeah, of course, five stars. Of course. Ooh, a cosmetic item. With promos, too? <laughs> Yo. That's great. This is great. Uh, I'm going to go vote for this in the workshop. I can't. Unfortunate. Models textures by Big 12. Concept and promos by Terry. Okay, so group effort. Very nice. Oh, West Cliff. This one looks like it's got quite a bit of verticality going on. Wow, yeah. That's a lot. Always good to have some, but I feel a fear that this might have a bit too much. A lot of screenshots, though. Love to see it. 
for kid style Lego soldier. Got quite a few Lego entries. Um, overall, you like this. Oh, made. Do you have the screenshots? Yes. Well, two screenshots. It'd be nice to have some more. But I'm excited to play this. This is payload? It is. Neat. Rust ball. No images. But it's been on screen, so whatever. Gold wrapper. Oh, Ramkin, you do have images for this. Why are they not here? Heavy. Very nice. And spy. I like this. This is good. Oh, this is a great style. Very, um, what style is this? Um, Not... you'll have to give me a minute for the stream to catch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Is it like a JoJo thing? No, I mean like the the use of colors in this. Like that's a specific um technique and style. It was popular in the nineties. The JoJo technique. It's not the JoJo technique. Oh, you also made some more particles. Oh, quite a few as well. Uh, embers, sparks, spray, steam jet, and wind. Nice. Oh, they're gifts. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, and there's a whole library too. What a gyro. Well, this one's been in the, uh, image folder for a little bit. Not a whole lot of images, unfortunately, but it looks nice. Oh, it's Arena CDF. Okay, okay. Cool. Oh, we got some missions here. A normal difficulty. So not very hard. Shiver Peak and Siberia, two different maps. Nice. A sniper duel map in an outhouse. <laughs> okay. I, I like this one already. Um... Call map. Nice, nice. Most definitely. Ah, oh, still no images.
we'll play this one a little bit. Uh, I think it's pretty good. The first point's uh, a bit rough uh, with how or like where blue spawns. Second point gets rolled, uh, but they they were like iterating on it, uh, iterating on it pretty quick. So I could see those issues being solved pretty soon. Oh, we got a map from R. Uh, still no images here though. Off the jet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the look of this. Uh, best of five. Multi-stage arena. Nice, cool. So they made five different arenas here. That's really cool. I'm testing it's going to be a pain though. Uh, not for not for like not for us but for but for you codex because uh you're gonna have to try and uh get good feedback on all five stages a video Is this animation Kind of. It's like individual SFM scenes. Okay, I'm not gonna play that all here, but nice. Ooh. Jailbreak map. Almost made completely of solid colors. Neat. A lot of mini games. Wow. Uh, this one, I heard this one on stream before, I think, but it's a really nice bit of uh, pixel art. I mean, it's cool. It's just cool. Uh, Roni has done these variations on the squat shot, which are pretty nice. I prefer the pipes. Shift to L's for Unity. Shift to library slash loaders for Unity. Yo. We must collect money. I thank you for the five dollar donation. I am six syllables. I saw you in a test very recently. If you're here, again, thank you. How are we going for donations right now? Uh, we are at $8,255.47. Oh. Which we is a lot. nowhere left to go, but... Uh. Yep, and we do have a final kind of mystery uh, donation incentive at 10000 But... We're not going to tell you what it is, not until we hit it. Uh, this is cool. I don't use um, I don't use Unity, so I'm not sure how big of a deal this is, but it looks like a pretty big deal for those who actually like do this often. Oh, Riverside. I like how this looks. Some good displacement work. Oh, we got another MVM mission. This time, expert. Rocket launcher made in Blender. It's chunky. Ah, uh, here's 14 bits arena map.
I'm wondering how this will play. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is really good. This is really, really good. Please, the doll portrait system. <laughs> Everyone, go go upvote this on the Steam Workshop immediately. The punched portrait. This looks wacky. It looks clean. I have no idea what's going going on here, but I am all for it. I don't know the game mode. Uh, we've got multiple points here, but I only see one on this. So... I don't know. This one's pretty nice and simple. I like it. Circus Town. You've got quite a few screenshots here, but not a lot being shown off. Unfortunate. A uh, three CP apparently though, and you've got the the middle point, the thumbnail, but not here. Mercenary hood, interactive detail map. Okay. Bunch of in dev. You've got subtitles. Yo. Great collection of images. Nice. You took screenshots of your map? Okay, I'll finish up this page and then I'll hit back. Roblox, CP Orange. You're getting a Roblox. Retail. Oh, it's a mall. Cool. This is pretty nice as well. Right now, here we go. Here's Maze. More screenshots. Thank you very much, Made. Ooh. This looks like an interesting segment. Jump heads. That's particularly interesting. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool finale hit. Cool finale.
you get open case. I, need, I don't know, I need to get metal. I feel like I'm going to go to BRB here. I'm going to have a look at this. Кстати, вот, э вот этот эффект, он самый распространенный, но он самый классный. Я ему, я сказал, это так работает. Мои кейсы открываешь, упадает Аюшка. Это сто процентов. Это сто процентов. Ты знаешь, что это команды для тестирования Нет. Также, это... Люди на стриме не могут это слышать, но... Это uh, music video. I probably should have expected that from a title of Mega Open Case. Oh, you could still hear it in the AFK or the BRB. Oops. <laughs> Empower a Merry Christmas spray. Cool. Lemon. Longest yard. Oh. TF2. Nice. Medieval v MVM made in under 72 hours. Oh boy. Okay, okay. This doesn't look bad. Hot flags. Uh, I joined right at the in. Oh no, wait, I spectated this. Yeah. Pretty simple layout. But it seemed to play pretty um, somewhat well. Oh, it's better than it was. It's got an extra. Um, got an extra route there, I think. Cool. Buster truck. Both frozen country. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Oh, that's what we've got. I wanted to have a good look at mid. Uh, I guess this is like a pretty direct shot, but it doesn't show off a whole lot. thumbnail here though. Ah cool, good. It's been posted with an actual image attachment. Nice. I hate blue team. I hate blue team. Oh sick. Cool geometry. Uh, if this is Scurly, is this another steel type? No, it's CTF. <laughs> Wait, no, it's... Oh, it is Capture the Flag, but it's only one team has the flag. It's... Oh, that's... I haven't seen this done before. 
So red team has the flag and they need to defend it for five minutes. Yeah, AD CDF. Move to get in, get this intel and get out. Oh folks, I've been seeing the, the work in progress screenshots of this. This looks really good. Uh, visually at the very least. Don't know how it will go gameplay wise, but it, it looks pretty thought out. You go Norfolk, you finish this. Rocket jump waltz cover. Bell Studio. Ah, Sonic 1 and 3 styles. Cool. I'll take a Genesis style. It's neat. Real neat. I say neat and cool a lot because I think this is. I do think that things are neat and cool. This is really small. <laughs> Unfortunate, but uh. Land peak, this is Far Cry for adventure. They uploaded it three times. It's devising a shovel IRL. Oh, real? Insane. That's black. No. You missed it. I can't believe this. Well, how much of it did you see and what, how much of it didn't you see? I'm going to play it again. Only twenty seconds. Amazing. Oh, I saw this. This is a large image. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show it in this side. Real cool. Real, real cool. Oh, a jump map. By who? By Vera, the first map. Epic. Pretty simple stuff. Is it demo or for soldier? Soldier. And here's Cloud Topped by Freya, uh, which is pretty good. Did they actually add cover to mid? I don't know. I so. Yeah, that. Those sight lines got me a little bit miffed. Some sussy sight lines. I like this art style. Really like this art style. I made this. Vitreous glassy. Nice work. Memphis Blue. Oh, here's another wall point. Ooh. 
Very snazzy. Very 90s and early 2000s. I place particles by exacto. On chimney particles to go with it. Artwork for TF Connects Jam. Uh, what? Wrong, <laughs> wrong fundraiser, but I appreciate the effort regardless. I'm sure someone at TF Connect was jamming. I'm sure. We had some people who were in TF Connect here. Yeah. So they were jamming. Campaign game mode prefab. Okay, what do you mean campaign? Similar to TC, taking over the map non-linearly. Campaign is one round to capture the final point or hold the most points by the end of time. Uh, uh, raccoons, I appreciate the effort, but I'm not reading this right now. Oh my god. Uh. I don't have the time. I'll come back to that tomorrow. I'll like... I'll do a proper interview with this because I am interested, but not that interested. Bound by Lacry. Got the nipple point. Some nice clean brushwork. I like this. I like this already. I want to play this. Another jump map. And it's got a video. Very festive music. Alright, again, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but we've got this wall paint, which I've showed a few times on stream, which is <laughs> very psychedelic -y, uh, but very fitting for the theme. Oh, it's sandwich. Not very high res, but so this is neat. Again, I say neat a lot. Minecraft starred classic by Dude the Ninja. Alrighty. Oh, it's a modern game? Yo! Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is great. Dot MD made a little detail entry based off of this concept art. It's pretty accurate. Tiftu's colors don't quite match, but it's pretty accurate. Uh, if you are able to, I would definitely recommend doing a skybox uh, before the end of the jam. They generally don't take too long to make, and you could really up the quality. Anyway, we did we did play this a, a little bit. It's a marina map. It's huge. Here it is, there's the, there's the pogging town.
I didn't get to play it a lot though, so no strong uh, feelings about it. My poster, I'm pretty sure we'll on that one. Very Bond esque. Um, Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin's pretty good. Pretty good. Has issues, but pretty solid cough map. Nice work to Mache. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like I like this. Oh, this is a nice little po oh several posters. Okay. Oh, just two. Okay. But I like these. There's a really nice lighting on these and good use of um volumetrics. Really nice, really, really nice. On the hat house. It it fits in. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna use the hat house and didn't make it look bad. Wow. Another wall paint. This one's a bit more basic, but still not bad. Nice little simple poster. Oh, this. This is really cool. This is really cool. I would have never thought to do anything like this. This is really, 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 really cool. So much detail on this. Is this a JoJo reference? I think it is. Usual effect. Cool. Neat little piece of art. This is this is this is pretty great. Oh, you got several variations of it too. Nice. I guess you really like Hellfire. Voxelized Gerardi from Levi. The deer from Star. We showed this off um day. But here's some more images of it. It's very accurate too. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we've ever seen anyone actually just do a, a straight up meme uh, as an entry before. This is uh <laughs> good reference. Good reference. Ski backpack. 
guessing this is a cosmetic. So many of these don't have images. I guess this will paint. This is nice. Some backgrounds and custom TF2 logo. Oh, what map is this? I have no idea. A medieval high tower. Uh, this is this is Halloween Mercenary Park. This is Halloween Two Fort. And ah, oh, no. No, sorry, no. Uh, this post is really cool. This is so good. Oh, you don't see, ah! This keeps happening. There we are. Back again. This post is really cool. You haven't missed much, thankfully. Um, just I'll check back at this whole paint. This is nice. Bad apple, but it's an unusual effect in TF2. Don't tell me this is the whole thing. Oh my god, Ronald DD, are you serious? I'm not going to play the entirety of Bad Apple, but I am trusting that it does actually go that far. Yes, it does. That's insane. Uh, this will paint here. It's pretty good. I know that they made a other vert like uh, an actual like gold version of this as well but it wasn't for 72 hour i don't think i'll look at that one actually if you had an intro movie I won't show the whole thing. I don't, I don't think I'll show you any videos in full unless they're like 30 seconds or less. TF2 music pack for Left 4 Dead 2. Okay. Gmod render. That's pretty good for a Gmod render. Need. That's surprisingly readable other than the T's.
Well, I guess there's some more stuff on the first page. Engineer Retro Gaming. And particles from Exacto. So Exacto made multiple entries. Cool. Catfish made a nice dust devil particle. Very stylized. Very oil painter. Good use of perspective. I'm running out of things to say now. <laughs> so sorry, I'm kind of just trying to blaze through this because I am tired. Say anything for that one. Generic ad. And is this Batif 2? Oh my gosh. I did not know this entity was supported within TF2. Wow. I'm almost there, so no. Oh wait, no, generic act. Yeah, that's that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little SFM render. Sorry, I've gotten really quiet. Oh. That's actually a pretty nice rocket launch idea, but I feel like that would take up a lot of the screen. Uh, another map. Ooh, this one was uploaded real early. I haven't played this, but I would like to. We got some more maps now, a lot of artwork. BCP AD, nice. I don't want to say the images don't show that much. Scout stating in a cool way. <laughs> Spent three hours making this. I believe you. I believe you. TF2 train is a scale model. Yo! I want this. I really want it. Do you paint it as well? Yo, shout outs to this cat.
Hell yeah. Day two. Okay, so you were going to paint it. Oh, it's my fault. Ah, oh, I want to see the rest of this. Uh -oh. A dubious prop jump. Map is darling. Testing in progress. Hello, cross. What others are here? Area under construction. Alpha test. Beta test. Um, bombers are hit. Build zone. Building food zone. Choke point areas. Debris are hit. Dev textures are hit. Don't look into it. Don't think about it too much. Engineer hot. Entering construction zone. Map hazard ahead. Map work ahead. Map maker at work. Mercs at work. New area. New route. New traffic pattern ahead. Nothing to see here. Move along. Please disregard. Please. I don't know what that one says. Structure under construction. Terrible brushwork. <laughs> Testing in progress. Under construction. Work in progress. Oh, then that one's a release candidate. Okay. I like these. I might download them and use them. Nice little art of pyro. A lot of pyro artwork, it seems like. Nice. This is a nice little scene. I like this. Little palette. Ooh. <laughs> I like the watermarks. Very nice. Good message on that one too. And here's Maple Falls. Lacry put this one together so fast. Um, although they did their jam a bit early. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's not this year. Yeah, this. Uh, oh, this one's just one image, fortunately. And then Will Alfred's interactable 3D city poster, which we showed on stream. This page has some new stuff, yes. Wait, Maple Falls was made for the 72 hour? Last year, apparently, yes. Oh, okay. No, no images on any of these. And I'm going to leave it there. We have been streaming for a while. And I got stuff to do because tomorrow is kind of a big day. Uh, we're not really doing all that much, but it will take a while. Uh, because a lot of it is relatively unplanned. We do have one planned interview, which I need to do some stuff for, but everything else is public. So we will have the planned interview first, and then we will go straight into the public interviews. People can show up their stuff, and then we will we'll, uh, move into map tests right afterwards. And this time, hopefully, there won't be any technical difficulties delaying us. So, thanks everyone for tuning in. And, oh, Tuplis, that's great news. Uh, hopefully you will be able to submit that within the next 10 hours and 18 minutes. You just got to do entities and clipping and uh, Logic 
and uh, do as much detailing as you can and try and maybe get a map test in before uh, the time's up. Bug fixes, optimization, you know, just the simple stuff. I finished my map just in time for the end of the stream. Oh, nice. You want to give me an image? Um, or a stream on Discord? I can send you a screenshot I took to use on TF2 Maps. Perfect. There you go. Ah, yes. We did have it on stream before, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, the um, dodgeball map. It actually has a fourth wall now. And it's like in mostly 3D skyblocks. There we are. Pretty nice. Pretty nice at bound series. Did a good job. And Skybox too. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, there was a moth. Uh, that's going to be it for this stream. Uh, but we will see you tomorrow the end of the jam and the bonus day it doesn't mean you can make stuff we're going to start the stream right as the jam ends or actually maybe a little bit before uh, and then we can get that first interview out of the way no i think it'll be right on time but anyway thank you for tuning in and we will see you all tomorrow or Later today, depends on your time. So we'll see you in 10 hours and 15 minutes. Goodbye. Oh, actually, hang on. Is anyone still streaming? Probably not. We can go raid someone. I'll see if anyone's actually streaming. Um... Hey, since we're on. I'll see if anyone's streaming the jam that isn't us. It's a bit late. It is a bit. But no, it doesn't look like anyone is. But we can raid it anyway. I just need to get someone here to raid. Just the, the bottom of the TF2 page on Twitch. There is someone here with zero viewers, but I am not hosting them looking at their <laughs> preview. Sounds like you're being a coward. Uh, I'm going to send everyone over to Rihanna, not the musician. Uh, I gotta get to my dashboard so I can do this. Here we are.
Let's go. Raids, right. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to let this time down for a little bit, like 20 seconds. But yeah, uh, looking forward to the next jam. Yeah, I'm already starting to plan for the next one. It's going to be real big. I'm telling you that now. Um, like, compared to a lot of uh, charity stuff, this is pretty small, but we're, we want to make it bigger next year. Anyway, bye-bye. We're reading. Let's go.